You got a 
Okay, tune to Spoon, of course, uh, Spoon Television, Spoon Radio. Um, we're here again live on another edition of the program Spoon Talk. We're live on Fabric 101.1 FM. We're live on Super 95.5 FM. And we're also live on Spoon 107.5 FM. We're also live across the world online on Facebook. We are there on um, Spoon TV. We are live on Fabric TV. We are live on Super TV as well. On YouTube, we are live at Spoon Talk Live. I want to say welcome to all of you across the world uh, joining us on this edition of the program. This is Liberia's most informative uh, talk show on radio and online. Of course, this is Spoon Talk. Uh, we are coming live to you as well across several radio stations um, in Liberia. Uh, we are live on Trust FM in 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 in, in Bowman County. We are live on. A Gibi FM 90.9 in Kakata, Gibi County. We're coming to you live as well on Premium FM uh, there in Bone County and other radio stations across the country. So welcome again. Thanks for joining us on this edition of uh, Spoon Talk. Um, you can share the program as you come on. And of course, uh, let's have a great show here tonight. My name is Nelson Collette. As usual, we're going to move straight into... Uh, the phone in segment of the program, we're going to take your calls, uh, hear from you. This is the time for you to speak out on whatever that issue is on your mind, be it um, political, uh, economic issue, whatever burning issue it is that you have on your mind. You can call in now and speak out on those issues. So the numbers to call tonight uh, is uh, 0 Zero triple five one zero one zero seven five. You can also call on uh, the WhatsApp line that I'm going to be pinning up on the screen here very shortly, and uh, be able to express yourself on those different issues of national concerns. So it's an open discussion. We're turning the the microphone over to you. We are giving you the stage to talk about what those issues of concerns are to you. Okay, so. Again, the number zero triple five one zero one zero seven five, and uh, I'm also gonna pin the WhatsApp. I'm going to pin the WhatsApp uh, number here shortly that you can use to call as well. So um, let's move ahead now and take our very first call here uh, today. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, we lost that person. We take another one. Hello. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's good to have you on the show. Your name and where you call from? Oh, this is your friend and brother Mohammed M. Kanichino, and I still do to you today from Balasa Dominicana. It's good to have you, Mohammed. Uh, what's on your mind? What would you like to talk about quickly? Well, thank you to to you, my good friend and brother, uh, for your Tuesday evening presentation on on or 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 
what is Oma Madonna a half of the issue of of the ongoing president of the of the ongoing far president of this nation, Manajua Otelo. Okay. Uh, I want to appeal to the incoming far president of this nation, Honorable Jeremiah Kwan Kung. Mm -hmm. If he can take over Zimbabwe, definitely uh, uh, for the lesson. Uh, the Honorable Kung should definitely audit the office. Of the far of the ongoing far financial audit. Thank you. Including or take the director of Manasuma River Shafa from the group of the one. These people receive phonies from that institution and then they completely turn their back to that institution. Or nothing. Thank God or uh, 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 the CEO will be or uh, 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 giving donation, donation to that institution. They will go and do a presentation to that institution. And the building is falling on our coding position. Thank you. Someone about one or two years since the far president came up. Like she, she and what? She and what? Director. See this? See, our coding is there. Someone then made. Thank you. Yeah, Mohammed, let's hold you, you there and take other people. Yeah, uh, you, you need to be very brief in doing this so we take others on the line. But thank, thank you. you. Thank we you. appreciate you. Let's take another person here. Hello, your name and where you call from? Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Your name and where you call from? I'm calling from Delaware. My name is Marie Fukui. Okay, what's on your mind? Two things on my mind. Mm -hmm. Two things on my mind today. Number one, when this government takes power, I really want to let them know that they have to bribe this system with everybody in the offices. When you have a document that you need that you need to sign when you go to that office, you gotta bribe the person. You gotta put small thing here, small thing here. It's too much. They want. Why should they, well, are they taking pay? Number okay. two, they visit campus. Why do they have civilians, not students, living in the buildings? At least they should give it to, to students who deserve it and they pay a little. But they got these people living on the campus, they're raising money out of the buildings and they are not repairing the campus. Thank you. Something really got to be done. This government got to do something. Thanks Thank a you. lot. Thanks a lot. Let's hold you there and take another person here. 0 5 And uh, we have the WhatsApp line on the screen as well. Hello. Your name and where you call from? Yeah. My name is Ernest Zoka and I call up on this way. Ernest, what's on your my mind? Con yeah, yeah. Concern have to do with the audit. Okay. I want to just about, just about the government to start off auditing of the Dorian Lair government. Okay. Yeah, that would be the beginning. If he does that, I mean, they will, they will forge ahead with the development of the government to do they will do it. But as soon as they fail, that's the beginning of the the just about the government failing. Okay, thank so you. That, that's my concern. Call for an audit. Let's take another person here. Hello, your name and where you call yes. from? Hello. Yes, you are live. What's I your name? Sanya Logan from Alabama. Okay, what's on your mind? Yes, I just want Dr. Borger to please get rid of that Lusa Bini Lusa Bini. You know, I think that always they serving people. The loans are many, the loans are there. The microphone in the streets? Yes, it's not good to lose civilized society. Okay. When people want to buy, they will come to buy. You don't have to disturb everybody. Thank you. That should be on the list. Thanks a lot. You want the bread? You want the bread for some people more? They begin in the how they can put bread on that table. We will stay by. You don't have to disturb us for us to buy. We we want them, we will buy it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's take another person here. Hello, uh, we lost that person. Um, zero triple five one zero one zero seven five. Hello, your name and where Hello. you come from? Yes, sir. Yeah, how you doing? Yes, uh, you're live on the show. What's on your mind, sir? Yeah, my name is Abraham, and I do call from Bananzil. Okay, Abraham, what's on your mind? What's on my mind has to do with the expectations of the librarian people, most besides. Uh, the, the 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 people who are thinking that Ambassador Boaka will just jump and begin to give people big big job. Mm. Their expectations should drop. Okay. Let them drop their expectations or indications, and they should know that this is government that is coming to work for the people. And whatever they will, they will give you to do, you might be able to do it efficiently and Thank adequately. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Thank a you. lot. Let's take another person here. Hello, your name and where you come from. Uh, my name is John uh, Nelson. How are you? Yes, sir. I'm okay. It's good um, to have you on. 
Okay, I'm calling from New Jersey. Okay. Um, I hope you guys are taking into consideration concerning the rice. There are some people that call from long, uh, you know, far distance, mm-hmm. and you know, transportation to come from where they are to Spoon Network. It costs a lot of money, so I don't know what you guys are going to do about it. We got monitor the program. There are some people who call from all the way to District Number 70 and uh, coming to Congo Town to pick up the rice. Some of them don't even have the transportation. So I don't know how you guys are going to do it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Um, let's take another person uh-huh. here. Okay. So let's come back to this line. Hello, your name and where you call from? You want to step away uh, from a radio, just walk away a little. Hello? Hello? Okay, we lost this person. Hello? Hello, you're live. What's on your mind? You're, you're coming very low. Okay, you're calling from Dixville. Okay, what's in your mind? Let's hear you, sir. Yeah, well, my man, and tonight is a day just issue. Mm-hmm. Send to. Hello? Hello? Uh, another one. Hello? Hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? Yes, sir, your name and where you call from? Yeah, okay. Um. Let's go to life. I've been trying so many times to get home. Okay. Right. One of the issues, or the new issue I called tonight, and that is something when I'm calling from Johnsonville. Mm-hmm. Yes. One of the issues I have on mind tonight is for the expectation of Liberians to calm down because if the expectations are high, pretty soon we'll soon have discredit. The government okay. let us give a new administration or a new president to put this in place and to do everything possible for the, the, the mechanism in place to be able to adequately run this government. Thank you. One of the issues that we are expecting is that for export to come, everyone can be employed by the government. So okay. we want to stress that and flag that to you. I want like great people and also the administration. So thank you very much for the opportunity tonight. Thanks a lot. Let's take another person here. Hello. 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 Yeah, hello. I, my name is Ruth Davis. I'm I'm calling from Trenton, New Jersey. Okay. And the reason why I'm calling, I just want like great people to give uh the new the incoming president time because open we are then they looted this country for over six years and they left the country in in a in, in a mess so i just want people to understand that this is a new government are coming in that they don't have money and we all as liberians got to come together and help this country to be rebuilt thank you thanks a lot thanks ma'am thanks for your contribution we take another person from this line um hello your name and where you call from Hello? Yes, my name is Mohamed Kuruma and I'm calling Kaijin. Kuruma, let's hear you. What's on your mind? Uh, so what is on my mind this night is to actually tell our incoming president to actually look at our level. We know that the government can I incorporate everybody in the workforce. Okay. But uh, these companies that are in our country today, the way they are doing things, the new level minister really need to take a critical look at this. To see if we can get like brains out of this because most of the companies bring so many other people and they are doing the brain jobs okay i think they should not come but they need to come and check not the ministers don't have to stay out there and come and check in the field and see that those jobs are meant for librarians should be done by librarians thank you we really asking because we know that the government will now incorporate everybody so the private sector will have to take up people so that librarians can get work thank you thanks a lot thank um Let's talk to another person. Hello, your name and where you call from? Hello, caller. You want to walk away from your monitor, please? Okay, too bad we lost that person. Hello. Yeah, good evening. Your name and where you call from? My name is Jamal. I'm calling from New Jersey, North Island. Jamal, what's on your mind? 
የማቆፈዘር ብዙ ወይስ ባይክ የዋክ ሲስ እሁም ፍሪት ወጃል የኤፍ you going to be on the new government or the wax in the free tuition policy whether this government is going to continue with it right yeah okay thank you let's read and take another person from this line hello i'm nursing hi how are you fine okay. my name is afrida going from philadelphia okay afrida what's your name yeah for me what on my mind is I want a legislator mm-hmm. because of senior representative to please try and pass the law that no president should ever appoint election commission. That a be of voter position, like the way we vote for representative and senator. Let them pass it. If you really want signature, okay. the Latvian people who will give it. Thank that you. That it be passed into bill. I will be voting for our election commission. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Um, let's talk to another person here. Hello, Yanime, where you call from? Um, so we'll go back to this line. Let's take this one. Hello. Yeah, hello. Let's hear your name and where you calling from? Okay, my name is Elijah Lima and I'm calling from Jersey Bay, Liberia. What's on your mind, Elijah? Very good. You see, my appeal today, incoming government, but uh, we, the Liberian construction people, and uh, if, if you are down there, or your government, no NGO, no company, they even when you go to the people, they say you know, get a file from where are you at? Where you the contractor? You know, for what to do? You mm-hmm. get a file from where are you? Where you start where? So the incoming government, they must be a change. At least, uh, even the public when minister. The minister when they get contract to all, so we will say only do to be able to help the government to build a nation. Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah. Let's let's take another call here. Hello, your name and where you call from? Yeah. Hey, Nelson, this is Hashim from uh, calling from Allen Town, Pennsylvania. Okay, Hashim, it's good. It's, it's, it's good having you. Let's hear you. Yeah, what well, on my mind is that uh, it's about Bon County. One of the representatives was. Charge and filed that we could. Okay. The city representative Marvin Co. Yeah. yeah. So that's right. that's what's on your mind, right? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The <laughs> law is working. The law is the law. <laughs> uh, the law is the law. Yeah. So um, yeah. the CEO and the team will will uh, discuss that uh, lengthily today. They have all of the details uh, surrounding that. Plus other important issues will be discussed here tonight. So yeah, just keep following Spoon. Um, this is Liberia's number one uh, media outlet, uh, media network, and uh, the Spoon Talk is Liberia's most followed uh, talk show on radio and online. So just keep following. Let's talk to this person. Hello, your name and where you call from? Hello. Yes, let's hear you, ma'am. Yeah, I want for when the government, our new government, when go there, the U.S. race. The U.S. race happen now. We want the, the, the market here for us to get market. It's not easy for that U.S. race. That U.S. race too high up. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I want with my mind. Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot. Let's take another one here. Uh, sorry, sorry. Well, hello, your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hello. How are you? Okay. Go ahead. Let's hear you. What's on your mind? Congratulations to the spoon family. Our incoming president is in camp. I want him to please put a law on the minimum plastic water. Plastic bear water. So you want the incoming president to make sure that no plastic bear water will be in the street? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, let's hear from another person. Hello, your name and where are you calling from? Oh, we lost that caller. Let's take another one. Hello. 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 Hello, how are you? Fine. Okay, your name and where are you calling from? Uh, this is Stanley D. Young. I'm calling from 
Stanley, what is that issue on your mind that you want to talk about? Yeah, one really on um, one really on um, mind is a uh, honorable just a human worker. On make sure the drug issue in this country that getting the youth hmm. be all in the number. Please let us make sure that if you are being arrested with drugs, hmm. you must pay the penalty and be prosecuted very seriously because we don't want our children to be going the house that we are looking to be. We born them to benefit from them. That when we start, it will be the new state of Liberia. Okay. Thank you. It is very serious. We want to, to get rid of drugs. Okay. okay. Let's hear from another person. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Your name and where are you calling from? The comment I'm speaking from on the screen. Okay, so what's on your mind? What do you want it to talk about? It is on my mind tonight. It, the government to be early, but our new government to say you want back. Let it be early because it's true on all. Mm. You think the new government yeah, should be audited? Tonight? Okay, thank you. We take another uh, call. Hello. Yeah, good evening, Nathan. Good evening. How are you, sir? I'm going you. Yes, uh, good. Let's thank let's you hear you. what's on your mind. Okay. My name is Leon B. Lema. I'm calling from Pinsville, where like. Mr. Lima, what's on your mind? Oh, on my mind, like, is a serious security threat that is in this country. Okay. Serious security threat. What is that security, yes. uh, security threat? Serious security threat. I mean, some time ago, there was a cache of arm that was discovered in a port in a container. I think you're aware of it as a journalist. Okay. Since then, since then, we don't know where are those arms. And they put IG for in our post, they say no arms talking about they don't they have, they have weapons. Okay. They have they have they have they have some weapons. They have some weapons that are very, very dangerous for, for human life. Okay. So you won't know what happened then, to the to the arms, right? Then we are not heard anything about those arms. Thank you. And so as I threaten our our incoming government to be to be to, to be protesting constant, constantly. Thank you. So maybe when a when a crazy message I will talk you will write get it right in your hand. Those are things that they are depending on. We saw what happened a few days they tell you. So the arm they to investigate the, the, the team that to get a video they got to investigate before our president say over. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yes. Uh thanks for uh weighing in your thoughts. Uh Mr. Dwalu, good evening. Welcome. Uh, hey, hey Nelson, what's going on, man? And the guy that just called, I just want to make sure he remembers this. Um, the, 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 the justice minister says, uh, and the IG himself said, have all those weapons under control. They do have them in their warehouse. That specific question was asked to him. So don't worry about it. The, the arms are under their, their control. They have to locate them if Honorable Parker asks for them. But everybody, man, you're welcome to the show. Let's take more call, bro. Yeah. Um, hey, so we'll hey, go back hey, to the line. To okay. So uh, hello. Yeah, hello. Yes, your name and where you calling from? Yeah, I'm Mr. Agosta Dittore. Calling from Mount Barkley. Let's hear you, to, uh, Mr. Tiria. What's on your mind? Uh, now, well, on my mind, I'm already. Thank you. Harley, firstly, I congratulate everyone you both that work with it. Folks, for your bro, and your sanitation to us. But really, I really want the old man to do everything in your own way, so. Mm -hmm. That's why can say this one, that one, whatever. But you know, he in Liberia, he know everything that's happening. But if any of the city, one of the problems on my mind. Thank you. And also, Mr. Collette, I want on the, I want on the, uh, uh, stage, on the station, $20. I would have a lot of that test on it. But for that time, they Which, which, which that. test on it you talking about? Well, yeah, like, and then anybody. Uh, uh, okay, okay. So, so what you do? What you do? Call this. Uh, call the number after the show. Um, the the um, the orange number. Call call that number after the show, and then let's 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 see if we can track that record. Uh, because as 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 far as we know, all of those people who won on the call can place anybody. They received their their prizes. Yeah. 
So uh, yeah, yeah. maybe there was an we error with your own information. But thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So call call on the number. Let's 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 talk about that. Now we're taking calls. All right. Thank you, sir. Let's take this person. Hello. Your name and where you call from. Hello, Mr. Fuller. Yes, sir. Let's hear you. This is Jojo Bishua calling from Wokiam. Okay. What's on your mind, sir? My main concern is the situation in real life, my man. The way they, the, the migrant cares are very real life. Very careful. So I'm asking the incoming mayor to really look at that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Um, we go back to this line. Hello. How are you nice to Yes, sir. Your name and where you call from? I'm Charles M. Delight in the from Pinsville. Charles, what's on your mind? Well, my mind is that uh, if you want the rat to eat a bullet, don't let it bullet to smell. Okay. The this is very hard. If I didn't want to clean up the door and put it for him, he shouldn't stop paying people millions of dollars as Joe did. They should have no six kids and five thousand dollars. Okay. Let the government be for the laboratory people. Thank you, Nelson. Thanks a lot. Uh, we go back to the line and talk to this person here. Hello, your name and where are you calling from? Okay, good afternoon. My name is Ali Kaba. I'm calling you from Italy. Ali Kaba, what's on your mind? I'm very fine. Uh, thank you very much, first of all, to you and the entire Spoon family for bringing the whole election into our bare rooms. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. My message is to the new enemies of the state who just sitting waiting to carry out protests against the government that are not even be set in place and uh, this is not Buka government you know they need to give the government chance for the government to put their say into order they have already spoiled our country and damaged it and destroy it to to ground level so let it sit down the wait. if anyone feels say liberia belong to you now liberia has been open to every one of us Whosoever that have been afraid to come in that country is willing now to come there okay. because we know very well the country is open to everybody. So if you get in the street there, they are the one that started beating people and naked them. Whosoever okay. that will want to step the government of the people, we will beat you too and put you in the street. And naked thank you, you, and thank, you, you and thank you, you thank you, media. thank you, thank you, thank you. That other thank thing that on your mind, that small thing there. Thank you. Anyway. Thanks a lot. Um, it's, the flow is yours to express yourself um, as much as you can. Uh, just try to be safe enough as you do that. Hello. Hello. Oh, okay. This final person, go ahead. Your name and where you call from. Hello. Go ahead. Your name and where you calling from. Wow. Hey, this is wow. Richard. Wow. Yeah, Richard, go ahead. Let's hear you. Go ahead, Richard. Richard, please go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah, sir. Uh, you are live. Yeah, please. Uh, this is Diamond speaking. This is Nelson. You are live on the show. Please let, go let, ahead. What's on your let mind? Me, let me beg you. I want to get a number. So you can beat my number. I want to talk to you. Okay, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That's what you did. I beg you. I'm going to pull. Okay. Thank you, sir. And uh, see you. We, uh, should we take more calls? No, 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 we're we, I'm here, Dwalu here. We're going to keep Angie Mama in the back for a minute because she's going to come and give her her turn. We're going to keep her in the back for a minute. We ain't winning yet today. Today is not an easy day for us to, ain't no something. Today is is is, is, is too much for us. Uh, can you show the, the video, the people, they brought the rest in and people want to see it, and you know, the distribution. I'm not hearing you, Nelson. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, okay, you said yeah. the video for the uh consignment You're of right. rice that came in. Brother, yeah, when the brother rest and the people are going for the rice tomorrow, and we get another oh, coming yeah. in. Yeah, Dwalu, I mean, how was your vacation, Dwalu? It was great, the family was great. We went up there, hey, Dwalu went on vacation. So, so eating. Hey, God. Oh, my man, hey, what I eat is so eating, my man. We have a kid. Everybody was asking up. for you, Sarah was asking for you, she misses hey, you, and everybody. We thank God, we thank God, we back. We back to service the Liberian people, to serve them. We have a job to do. This country must develop by fire, by force. Some kind of a way. Some kind I mean, of a way. Listen, 
that there will be no way we, you know, listen, 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 listen. Folks, welcome to the show. This is the Stanton and Dualu presentation. Everybody <laughs> coming late. We'll keep them in the back for for another oh, sorry, three yeah. hours. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, yeah. 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 Hey, fuck yeah. How you doing, man? The Dualu is back. Look at Balo. Look at oh, Balo. Let me recognize a few people, man. Look at Balo. No, why you can't recognize yeah. Angeline Gali? No, Angeline. Angeline always, I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. That one is serious. You recognize Angeline always with us. Yes. She always. Where Peter? Angeline. Hey, Angeline. I said, no more equipment. They're making cherry pick those you want to recognize. I'm not going to do that today. Uh, you recognize only Sarah and all family members. I don't know what's his interest. Hey, he just got back Philip from Holland, vacation with a wife and a family. Anthony Jella, Celine Parker, Daniela Namwe, and Asus Susan Tuma. Tuma. Yeah, that's my namesake out there. Uh, Judy Marvi, I believe, Abraham Sano. Everybody, man. Philip Bala, welcome to the show. Um, they think it's going very fast. We get them. Toure, welcome to the show. Prosper Sharon Mason. Welcome, Yaya Kamara, Martha Doki, Faith. Faith, I think I called you in the twelve times already. Lisa Wu, welcome to the show. Thomas, Davis Boker, Baron Taylor, um, Lucinda, Jalau Rare, welcome to the show. Kiata Wea, Famosis, we got Baron Taylor, Common Man, welcome to the show. Tan and Kali, Hawa Boya, welcome to the show. Lofale Sa, Bomble, Augustine Bailey. Um, Benedict, uh, no, Joseph, no, 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 no. Ray, Samson, um, Mentor, Emmanuel Bass, Trust, Something, uh, Andrew Wieser, Elizabeth McCauley, Ronnie Kamara, Yaya Kamara, uh, Deborah Yetor, Favor, Goodwill, Moba, Ambassador, Andrew Wise, Something, uh, Uncle. I'm going to help you because you're moving very fast. Yes. <laughs> Shirley Sna, you know. But I tend to do on my phone. Emmanuel something, Lobo Ziga, my own Ju Ziga, Elizabeth Bobby, welcome to the show. Um, everybody, man, welcome to the show. Let's talk Liberia. I just saw Linda Lugon, welcome. Ruth Samuel Doe, welcome to the show. Zayi Bay, Robert Hill, uh, Rose CD, Wonders Morris. I mean, just say the entire Liberia, by just say the entire oh, Liberia. He's yeah. like cherry picking. I'm trying to get everybody in. Yeah, you, you did. No, today, part you did well. King. Welcome to the show, bro. Stevie Morris, welcome to the show. Today, you did well. I just want to you. welcome Rose CD, yes. Robert Hill, Lawrence Sumowu. Uh, let, let's bring in again. Oh, hey, uh, Angeline Gale. I wish I can bring her on this show one day. Robert she follow us every day. Sharon uh, Doe. I believe, Tina yeah. Manet, don't forget Tina Manet. Hey, Tina, Tina, Tina. Listen, guys, we want to welcome you the good, the bad, and um, the ugly. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm -hmm. We want to welcome you because this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Whenever you find yourself, trust mm -hmm. and obey. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with your soul. It shall be well with your family. It shall be well with your job. It shall be well with your going out and coming in. Because God is still on the throne. We have won the battle. Oh, yes. But we're still going to fight on. We're going to fight the out of the massive corruption in our country. I come to you today to tell you nothing but the truth. So help me God. Here comes Mr. Dualu. Jamama Wolo Kodi. Here comes Dr. Francine Chinua Richardson Special, a former Minister of Information, Deputy Minister of Information, Eugene Lamin Fagon. Don't forget Mame, Abula Mame, Prince Maxwell, Gerson Jeru, at Remy Gray in the corner. We will present to you nothing more, nothing less, but just the truth because Liberia deserves better. So today, as our first guest, the assistant minister at LRA, they call him James Afi Japa. He about to say it all, tell it all, and allow the Labrin people to understand the massive corruption that is happening at that entity LRA. Understand that the LRA commissioner, his name is Thomas Donan. He is massively ill in India or somewhere in the world going on a serious treatment. I heard that he has some liver problem, but
But we pray to the good Lord in heaven that he must and he will overcome. We pray for healing and we pray that God can see him through because his family needs him. But having said that, what's going on with our ear? What's going on? You pay your taxes, your home, your property, your this, your that. What's going on? Why is somebody what's... eating the money, Dwalu? Well, you can't you can't say what's going on. This is how you might ask the question. Why have they been lying to the Liberian people? Over the last six years, the LRA, in collaboration, as it has accomplished, so President we as crocodiles in the country, they said they were collecting 800 million, 700 million. We all know this was lie because Liberia does not have the platform yet to collect 800 million dollars in taxes. They were lying. So what's going on with the LRA? They've been caught up in their own lies. They didn't have budget surplus as claimed by, 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 by Minister Samuel Twer. These were all lies. So what's going on is a reflection of the truth. But even if the, the even if the daily, Twaru, Twaru, let agree with you, Twaru. Okay. That they collect, I mean, you know, they exaggerated uh, the total budget. Yeah. But even the little that they brought in, uh -huh. somebody will decide to eat it or give it a job right away. Because we have documentation. Yep. People are inflating their homes to collect more taxes. Yep. Businesses. Goods coming in the country. So when I ask my question, what has been going on and what is going on? Because John Weir is still the president. Yes. Though he ran away to go chill in Dubai, but he's still the president. I hope it's not for 48 days. I hope this time around, he can go for a few days or maybe a week. But let's come back to the issue. And our Liberian people want to know what's going on with LRA, the place you pay your taxes, you give money, the place that's supposed to be the place for the people. So my people, you need to listen, invite your brothers and sisters and share this program. Another issue I want us to talk about, Dwaru, before we bring in Java. You know what's happening to Minister of Health? I'm, I'm gonna share with you guys. We had a hearing today. I watched the whole hearing. Forget that nonsense of hearing. It's part of it. You know what happening to the Ministry of Health? The amount of money these people took home and they continue. Hey, man. Why do you think our people dying? Do you know, do I have a sister name? No. What's her last name? Howard? Probably. Minister Jara? Deputy Minister? Assistant minister, everybody have their own clique. The Senate dubbed her the, 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 the workshop minister today. The workshop. All day she's going for workshop. Because when they go for workshop. I understand. That when the leg can take place. Thank you. They will leg and they will reach to the air bowl when they go for workshop. Reba, reba. I mean, this is bad for our country. And the woman used to say, I'm the vice president's sister. You don't do nothing to me. That's a Liberian way. Oh, oh Nancy, Nancy, find her picture for us. Find no how a picture. Oh, we forget we work on that riches. What that riches you work on? Yeah. Nancy, find no how a picture. I dig in the glasses, Dr. Richardson. That Dr. Richardson, clear kidding up with these different glasses. Man, Ooh, this thing is hot. Hot of the press. And, and uh, Dr. Richardson, you cannot stop me today because I've, I am rejuvenated. I told when last night I said I was going to take vacation. Minister Wolo called you say, yeah, go. She looked at me, she said, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take vacation. Because the best way I can introduce Minister Wolo Kori, the mother of the deputy finance minister, Samara Wolo Kori. The proud mother of the deputy finance minister, Samara would have called it. The man that took the government money based on allegation and built all his property, home and abroad. But this is not what I'm here for tonight, my fellow Liberians. So before we proceed, we want to say thank you for your contribution. We have received the first consignment of 250 bags of rice. Nelson, show it to the Liberian people, and they're going to be receiving the rice tomorrow. Nelson? Drum roll, let's go. There you go. This is the first batch, 250 bags. And this rice is, you, want, you mind me talking to you for a minute? Live, so you can come in front of the, yeah. yeah. 
Um, afternoon to you. Your name? Okay. Uh, Mr. Dennis, I, I see that you on board this truck. What role are you playing, sir? Okay. So this is a produce of agriculture Liberia. And this, this is produced in Liberia. High quality. Mm. Now, uh, what do you make of, you know, a Liberian entity, a Liberian business being supported in such a manner? Uh, first, but before you answer that question, what has been your highest order received so far? Uh, uh, normally, all right thank you very much nelson uh it's on the spawn page this is just information we just want to share with you that uh we have received the first batch and you know the consumer came in 250 bags we will be distributing this right tomorrow uh, everything all 250 bags Please come with your cell phone. Call your name. My name is Minister Wodo Cody, and yes, my cell phone number. They will call that cell phone, it should ring, and you should answer, and they will get your back arrest. If you call your name and your number, and they call, you don't answer, that's not you. It means you took somebody else's name, okay? We want to give all 250 back arrests tomorrow. And on Saturday, by the grace of God, another 250 back arrests. And we'll do the same thing again next week. We will be given by the grace of God, the people send their own contribution to cash app. So we must give you 1,100 bag of rice. So if you are from the group of 77 and the other place, uh, Minister, what do you call it? Talk about LPRC, right? Minister, what do you call it? The LPRC, right? We will be taking rest there. Don't come. Just stay there. The group of 77, you don't have to come. We will take the food to your, we will take bags of rice, bags of rice, a lot of them, to both ends, okay? This is the way the librarians home and abroad decide to appreciate you guys because it's the best thing we can do, all right? So again, we're saying to you, come and get your food. If you are the first caller, your name is on the list, come. If you don't have it this time around, you come back Saturday. We already get your name and your phone number. No fretting, no fretting. We'll be peaceful. We have asked AB, okay, Chroma, to provide security, and we have asked the Labra National Police. Who knows? Probably they're going to bring in security. Who knows? But we will be there, all right? It will be live. And we want to say, again, just understand, this is for you. You will stand online. You will enter the gate one at a time. Nobody going to rush. One person come, we lack it. If you're rushed, we we'll like it and say you'll go home. We'll be peaceful. And thank God tomorrow is a holiday. So the traffic will be less. And on Saturday again, we will do it. We want to do it on a holiday because, you know, it's weekend when traffic not too heavy. So don't forget. We want to say thank you. And don't forget a happy, happy pre-birthday to the president-elect Joseph Yeman Boyka. Thursday will be his birthday. We will talk about it before the show is over. We will wish him well. My papa, Jose Yeman Buaka, his birthday is coming up. Happy, happy pre-birthday to him. We'll talk about it on the downsides. Folks, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Spoon Talk. Let's have a wonderful program tonight. Dr. Richardson, where are you? Talk to us. We'll be bringing our guest for tonight, Mr. James Alpha Jabba, Assistant Minister, Assistant Director Commissioner, I believe, Assistant Commissioner, LRA Republic of Liberia. Dr. Richardson, talk to us. Just want to say hello to the Liberian people. You know, I'm thankful that they will get at least rice for the holiday season. And also want to just tell them for voting correctly. I think, you know, that's a token of, of our appreciation over here. They did well for the country. And I'm willing to listen. I'd be glad to listen to hear what the LRA board has to say today and then uh, make my contribution. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Duaru now, he's here. He's coming on. Let's hear from you. Then I will bring in uh, the assistant commissioner. To Liberians, the issue of continuing to grow your democracy does not end after elections. I will say this from beginning today. I've been thinking about this all week. Your responsibility to see in the Liberia you won does not stop with voting. It only starts with voting. 
99% of what it takes to build a society involves agitation. You have to hammer the government or and or or and or for the government to get your way want. The government are coming in. I don't want to say now you go to church. Nothing in the church. That means Opa talking. Nothing in the church. God said you only go to church one time a week. Hmm? The other time... No, God didn't week. say that. My man, I'm true. God said you go to church on Sunday. Y'all going to be spending all the time. Y'all going to be talking. You'll be working. You'll be forcing the issue. Let me tell you something. There's an article in the broad constitution and they call it Article 8. In that article, it say, if the government don't get a job, and the government don't create environment in your in your in your country where you can get job, you can sue the government. The inside your article, I want you to go inside. You are more the government. They will create jobs so our people can get dignity. That the only thing my own here it can help me for. Because when men not get job, they not men. When women not when men not get job, women can respect them. When women not get job, she can do things what she not want to do. So we gotta fight. So we can get job in the country, in the private sector, plenty of way to create job. Now, what the papa told me is, Oba, we will fight and we will create job. That the job I want, but you will be fighting. If you live in second period, you get job. Go to your core room, you get tape where you get together, you sue the government to create job for you. And is that a government uh, a letter? What they read to the Labrain people? Jobs, jobs, jobs. All of more talk, we must fight so you can get job. Thank Let's you. Do, do you. Thank you, Minister Wadokali. I want to say good evening to the Liberian people. You see, she can start slow, then in the evening she's get hot. She can be in slow, but she will be on fire again. <laughs> <laughs> and good evening to the platform, yes. And also to the uh, panelists. Good evening. Liberian people. Let me just say a small thing to you in your Liberian English. You don't let anybody lay your scare in your country. In America, Germany, all around the world. Every one of you people won't come for JMB and JKK, that is Jeremiah Kuhn and President Joseph Baca in the Corrigan. Y'all come. Y'all come. You don't be afraid. Because the little yellow pepper bird, who is a carrot bird, he's trying to make everybody afraid so they can't come for the inauguration. That is the strategy. They will demonstrate, they will do that. Y'all come to your home. This is your, your home. This government belongs to the people. So the people will not sit there. I don't know who's going to follow him. Because Liberian people, everybody in Liberia around the world falling behind uh, 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 our our president Joseph Yuma Baka. So I one of the things I want to talk to you about. You don't be afraid. The inauguration, the stadium will be back to capacity more than even the one who did in 2017. So that my advice to you and I beg you, you should hold your heart. You all hold your heart because no money, all the money that in the bank, that in everywhere, they don't clear all. So, President Joseph Yuma Baka and your vice president, including the Liberian people, will put all hand on them. That is, will be patient because they, go, they got to go outside, they find investors to can create a job for you. And they, so, you don't worry, it will happen. I beg you, don't, don't let the people spoil your brain or spoil your mind. They just want trouble so they can laugh at us. So, I beg you, my Liberian people. Thank you very much. You heard what uh, Minister Woodcock is saying. She back you guys, Liberian people. It is important for us to know. Let me play this because uh, Nelson didn't play it right, and we'll bring in our minister. Let me play this real quick. Thirty seconds. So that's the rest issue right there. Uh, the reason why I'm playing it because I want you guys to see that's the truck, that's the rest uh coming in uh as you can see uh 250 bags we appreciate uh we received the 1000 donation from someone in liberia a senator but he said don't call my name i'm begging him that i can call his name but he's saying no did i say he i should say he or she right there yeah he said if he if i call his name he will not contribute next time but most people know him he's a popular senator and that's my friend should I continue till I get to his name or should I? 
Hã? Do Aru. Mas qual é o meu nome? Senton, ele tem na hora em tudo. The new Liberia must be done in the open. My man, but I want for the men to donate again. I call the men here, man, when I contribute. I yeah, so where yeah, are we on the one? Like true, like true. Yeah, but the men don't call my name. What am I from? Where are they hiding from? Send them. Huh? Give me huh? five seconds, I'm begging you. I'm a what? Give me five what? seconds, I'm begging you. But take it, what are you asking me about? I'm going to go in church, in a fair. Let me tell you something. No way in the bowels, I'm going to go to church seven days a week. All the cocoa jeep parts are in like, bro, we more reduce the end to no more nonsense. We do zero one, less than one percent. The young fucker in a play. Why did you pass the business? That was young. I'm a nonsense. I get a work for a lot of problems. But what is what is Donna hiding from? I want to know. But any other people don't know how they say. What my owner don't know again how they say. But then you expect the other people to know. You say that attacked on you or whoever. So let us do not. <laughs> oh my god but again let me say this to everyone it's very important for us to know we appreciate that one thousand dollars uh you know great imagine how many bag of rice one thousand dollars can you get at the rate of sixteen dollars sixteen dollars um uh fifty cent uh it's 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 red red more than hundred bags so we want to say maybe fifty bags or maybe twenty i don't know hundred and something bags we want to say uh we appreciate you a lot sir again uh, before the day end, maybe I will call your name. I don't know. <laughs> but we appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we want to say thank you for sharing this. We got very, very important information from you from the LRA. Information coming in from the Ministry of Health. Again, a foreign, foreign, foreign agency is reporting on the Ministry of Health. The amount of money Joe Manor, where people took from our ministry is bad. We will be discussing it tonight. Some of it is weakness in high places. Clinics in Magibi, in Bon County, Grand Paso, Lofa, Nimba, Maryland, Sano, Grand Cru, Bapolu, Grand Kipma, Montserrado, Bomi, places that are not Nimba, Grand Jida, all the counties, the people ate the people money. They eat the money. They will receive the money. And last say, they're going to implement. They will not even travel. They will be having Zoom meeting and saying that they're in those counties. They will be having meeting on the WhatsApp and saying that they're in those counties and they will eat the money. The money for malaria, the people ate it. The money for TAFO, they ate it. Hey Amen. That's why we're people dying for little, 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 little sicknesses and things. So the international community gets so mad. All the money they put in. The people that are eating the money. So after Commissioner Jabba, we will be discussing this issue. And I want you to understand, Minister Wedemina Jala. And I want you to hear the name. No. Howard, the sister of Joa Howard Tedo. I want you to listen and listen well. The names on the paper, they are on the paper that you cannot touch them. Because we don't mean no jara for personal we are. No Howard for Joa Howard Tedo, that her sister. Now nobody could touch them. But this government must touch them. Because they broke our healthcare system. They broke it down to nothing. They broke it down to mano zero, 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 zero. Let's bring in Commissioner James Afe Java. Welcome to the show, uh, Assistant Commissioner. Welcome to the show. It's good to have you. It's good to see you, as always. Thank you. I uh, hope you can come again. But you are welcome to the Spawn Talk for your very first time, sir. Thank you very much. And thank you to the people of Liberia. You are here today because you reached out to me. And you said that you have some information you love to disclose to the nation. Liberians home and abroad. You said there's a reason why you must speak. So now everybody listen to you. Why are you here, sir? I'd like to say thank you special to you. For granting me this opportunity so that Liberian people can know exactly what is happening at the Liberian Revenue Authority. It has been an unfortunate situation in our country 
wherein when people try to fight against improprieties and corrupt practices, you find others trying to keep you down. They go after you, they lied on you, and they carried your repetition to the people so that they can believe that you are wrong. Today, I'm here to provide the librarian people so they can exactly understand why Honorable Samuel Bennett and his team decided to suspend me for one month without pay. Wrongly suspend me for one month without pay, with effective immediately, and then use the social media, vowels up, to send a communication through a lone star number to provide wrong information to the public about me. For those who have known me over the years, I've worked endlessly for our country, dedicated to duty, and to my utmost surprise, my character have been ruined to the extent that I had to come before the librarian people to provide clarity so that people would not see things the way it was being said out there and that I can provide a clarity to protect my own image. I've been trying since I joined the Liberal Revenue Authority family and this year making my third year I am the Assistant Commissioner for Real Estate Tax in the Real Estate Tax Division of the Domestic Tax Department. My name is James Afif Chibi. I've been trying to refine the Real Estate Tax Division with the support of the Commissioner of Domestic Tax, Honorable Darling Stonewall Tallery, who have been trying to ensure that domestic tax is more effective to generate the required revenue for the good of our country. While trying to make sure that real estate tax division is more effective in providing the kind of services required for our taxpayer and to ensure that the right things are done, I managed to uncover some improprieties and corrupt practices being carried out in the real estate tax division by some of the officers that are, in, that are within the real estate tax division. It is unfortunate that when you try to uncover corrupt practices, instead of people supporting you, then you realize that the people who should be supporting you are the ones who are trying to cover up. And I had an unfortunate situation with Honorable Bennett, wherein I was invited to a meeting. He harshly talked to me, intimidated me, insulted me, and said to me personally that he was going to ensure that I was going to be suspended and PED, the Professional Actors Division, were going to make sure they investigate me and persecute me. And I asked him, under what condition? He said, no matter what, I know what you and Commissioner Tari is trying to do is to carry one of your staff, Victor, see it, and send his name down to the Professional Actors Division to be persecuted. And I said to Honorable Bennett, you are already aware of some of the corrupt practices that are taking place in the real estate tax division. As assistant director for real estate, as assistant commissioner for real estate tax, it is my responsibility to ensure that the division is running effectively and that whatever revenue that is being generated is legitimate. 
<coughs> not knowing that Honorable Bennett has been trying to, to protect some of his people of interest. And it was clearly seen in the meeting. Mr. Bennett is aware that the Professional Ethics Division has been conducting investigation of some of our staff who have been corrupting the system. 11 persons are on the list for corrupting the LRA system. Some of them increase the taxpayer value not to pay tax, but to give them high value such that we use that value either for loan or for some kind of security or to use it in court. Perhaps the court may ask them for, for to provide a bond and the value being required by the court may be of a huge amount. And so the, the use of an officer to go into the system and increase the value of the property. I also discovered that some of them go into the system and reduce the value of some of the properties. And the reason why they do that so that the taxpayer will be able to pay less tax against their property just to put a few dollars into the pocket. I also discovered that some of the receipts that were in the system were fraudulent. No payment were made and the receipts were in the system like the taxpayer paid. Fraudulent tax clearance certificate left LRS system without any request for tax clearing, but unfortunately, those tax clearing left the system. And these are all impropriety, unscrupulous behavior carried out by some of the staff at the Liberal Revenue Authority, specifically in the real estate tax division. So can we hold the you right there? Yeah. yeah, can we hold you right there, please? Because, I mean, because we got to operate on time. Uh, let's just draw me. Can you point to those staff members, call their names? Can you give us some information as to receipt and document you may have that you want to distribute for the public to see? Not just verbal allegations, you know, can you give us something to see? Uh, receipt, individuals' names, transaction, document, because you call it on the commissioner Samuel Bennett, but do you have any other individual you like to call their names that watching you since you've been so open, sir? There's no way that Commissioner Bennett name is called and the Deputy Commissioner General for Technical Affairs on the room, Gabriel Montgomery is not a part. Gabriel Montgomery behaved like he trunk the stool and had his hand. He has been directly involved in some of the corrupt practices. And the reason why I speak to this, there's a case with Councillor George Calando. Jo Councillor George Calando property was placed in the system with $2.5 million as the value of the property. There was no supporting document, no appraisal document, because that property came in the system as commercial property. And it was also discovered that a fake receipt was being used like the made payment. Also, fraudulent tax clearance was being provided. And the meaning it was uncovered, I informed Commissioner Tallery, and then he revoked the tax clearance. We have document to show. The Professional Ethics Division investigated that matter. In the meeting, we had a hearing, the administrative hearing. One of the staff, uh, uh, Thomas Tido, made reference that Honorable Montgomery was the one who instructed him to act. Another staff, Felicia Dennis, also made reference that yes, the instruction came from Doe, but Doe said Honorable uh, and Gabriel Montgomery gave the instruction for them to proceed. 
And then Avin Kula also was the one who also participated in the process to ensure that the system was being fraud. These were the three who collaborated with the support from Honorable Gabriel Montgomery. And then Honorable Bennett were trying to support them. The decisions that should have come out of the findings from the professional ethics division headed by the assistant commissioner, Sumo Kalabi. The finding shows that these staff were investigated and they admitted to the ARC. Management should have dismissed them according to the HRMP of January 2015, section 12.6.2, that says that staff that are found in illegal activities, theft, staff that are involved in fraud, that serious violation of the standard operating procedures, conflict of interest, and also violation of the code of conduct, they should be dismissed. Unfortunately, management under the direct supervision of Honorable Bennett and Gabriel Montgomery decided to warn these staff. And then I responded to them indicating that I strongly believe that they should kind of relook at the decision because they were in violation of the HR MP of January 2015, 12.6.2. Instead, they responded to me indicating that there was a guideline, disciplinary guideline, that requires for them to warn these staff. And I see this as unfair, unjust to the Liberian people, that people will be involved in corrupting our system, and then you warn them. And this is a situation that I, who have not done anything, you call me to a meeting, you insulted me, you intimidated me, you said a lot to me by disgracing me in the meeting. You asked me to leave your office and repeated it twice. And I had no option but to leave. And then you write me and said in your communication that you are suspended effective immediately for cross insubordination and misconduct. My people. The Liberian people, I want you to look at this carefully. How possible will Bennett decide, working closely with Gabriel Montgomery, to suspend somebody who has not done something, anything at all, or because they feel that I'm trying to unearth these improprieties that are taking place at the real estate tax division in the Liberal Revenue Authority. It's sad. So, oh, so Mr. Mr. We will get to this story and we understand you are here because you want to speak out against your suspension. But I want us to take it easy for our folks to understand us better. On the 12th of June, 2023, 2.30 p.m., you may available to this network that on that day, there was an email circulating within your system, and you have shared this with us from Sumo Calapli. Calapli, I believe I'm pronouncing the name right. And on the document, the email, you will CC Thomas Dona. All right, Nelson, can you put up the information you should have it? You, Bennett, Chupi Howell, uh, McGrenan Collins, James Jabba. Uh, this from Sumo, uh, James Jabba, Ahmed L. B. Kumen, Hensley Lomi, uh, subject recommendation for action due to compromise of real property value. And this was you say, importance high that's what Sumo says, very high on your agenda. And this was in reference to the George Calando property. Am I correct? Correct, correct. Okay. 
Let's begin this story with George Calando property. Who valued the property? Why the property were valued so high? Did, I mean, talk to us about George Calando involvement, sir. What was said so important to value his property that high? Then we will talk about your email. For those who carry on the act, violated our standard operating procedure, George Calando should have written a communication to the Assistant Commissioner for Real Estate Tax Division to bring in his property in the system if he wanted to bring the property in the system. The valuation, we have a valuation office with valuation officers who, who have been sent to his property to assess the value of the property. And then they will have requested for him to do an appraisal of his property since indeed that property was a commercial property. Unless we're in, he's unable to determine the value by going to a satisfied tax firm. He can also request LRA to assess his property and determine the true value of his property, of which he did not do not. Equally so, instead of doing that, he decided to pass through Honorable Montgomery. And Honorable Montgomery spoke with the enforcement manager, though, that was not the channel. And Doe went to Fifi Evan Kula, who works in the accounts and record section, worked closely with Felicia Doe, and they put that 2.5 million value in the system. And the reason why they did that was established because Kalano needed to go for a bond, and he had his case with the bank, and so he needed to put out a $2.5 million collateral as a, for, for a bond. And this was fraudulent affair. They breached the procedure. They had to, they, had, they needed to, to speak with the assistant commissioner. And also, we have a procedure of doing that wherein I will instruct the, the valuation team to assess. I will also make contact with accounts and records to collaborate and ensure that that property is brought in the tax net. And still, they did okay. that on their own. So let's stick with the George Calano property values and one of the allegations that led to uh, the, this big email. Folks, it's in the chat room. Tomorrow. You can go through it and we'll be putting it up shortly. And I'll also ask you our first two questions and we'll move forward. Are you accusing George Calando that he was involved in this scam? Is he involved in this scam, sir? I will say yes for the fact that he didn't pass through the process. He did not write a formal communication requesting to bring his property in the tax net. And he passed through staff who never had the right to do what he did. And so in another sense, he's parted to what happened. Uh, how much value is his property? Which property are you talking about? Because he got so many properties. So the property around the ministerial complex, gold and green with the glass bedding. And immediately I sent my valuation team to assess. We wrote in a communication for a joint assessment. He did not show up for the joint assessment. And my team appraised the value and that property is worth around 700,000 and not 2.5 million. Okay. And that's the reason go why. Through? Go ahead, sir. And that's the reason why I forwarded the complaint to my immediate boss, Commissioner Dallinston White Tallery, who wrote a communication to the HRA and copy the professional ethics division for them to proceed for the investigation. And the professional ethics division started the, the, the investigation, they completed the, the investigation, and then the staff were found guilty of the act. Those staffs that were involved. Thank you very much. You answered my follow-up question. Let me go to Dr. Richard Sain, Mr. Duadu, Minister Wodokori, and Air Remy Gray. Air, are you with us? All right, so Dr. Richard Sain, please. Mr. Chapa, welcome to Spoon. 
my question is, is this the only remedy you have to resolve the issue of Mr. Bennett suspending you without pay? I'm wondering why you didn't take him to court. You seem to have um, evidence, uh, especially the decision of the ethics committee. Uh, let me make it clear to the public, at least so they can know that when this situation started and all other uh, situation in terms of my practices in the real estate tax division, the Library Revenue Authority. Over the period, I wrote several communications to my immediate boss, Honorable Darlingston Ward Tallery, who also wrote similar communications for all those that were involved at different time period by corrupting the system and those staff information have been sent to the Professional Ethics Division. One of those staff up to now that have not been sent to the professional ethics division is the issue around Victor C. And that was the one that trickled my suspension. And currently, in fact, when I wrote after I was suspended, I wrote the letter to my lawyer requesting for his intervention to represent my interest. My lawyer, uh, Councillor Jolinto Masikwe of the international law firm, wrote LRE informing LRE to retract their letter and indicated to LRE their failure to retract the letter. We will have no option but to proceed to court for slandering and the abusive words that he used against me and mm -hmm. bringing my integrity to the mm -hmm. public. And that on that basis, the deadline for them was money. And up to this time, they have failed to retract. And my lawyer is preparing the issue, the argument, and his, his documentation for court. And we are going to pursue legal action against on the rebellion. Thank you. I have another clarifying question. You said that um, Mr. Kalando needed to bring his property into the system. And there's, uh, you know, that's how people, when they want to either increase or decrease the tax value, they contact LRA to bring their property into the system. Um, are there other ways that properties get into the system? I, I'm just curious to, you know, how do how do you guys assess property values? So the law requires that owners of property are required to register their property. Once they acquire the property within 30 deeds, they are required to register the property with the Labor Revenue Authority and begin to pay their taxes. If for any reason you have acquired property and you have not registered your property, LRA has the right to go and identify your property and bring it in the, in, in the, in the tax net. And if for any reason, Honorable Kalano, uh, Councillor Kalano, intended to bring his property in the tax net, there are procedures. He needed to inform LRA. He needed to inform the requisite authority to bring the property in the tax net. And then we also have to inform our evaluation team to work closely with him. You have to make sure there is a satisfied tax firm of a, a document appraising his property. Or in the event he failed to do the same, you have to inform LRA that you are unable to get a satisfied tax firm to do the same. And then our evaluation team can work alone with his office to ensure that the property is appraised based on the fair market value. He did not do none of those things. Instead, you work along with lower staff to bring in the property illegally and increase the value of his property to 2.5 million in terms of value. If the property were been assessed and based on the team that I sent to assess the property after I discovered the legal value of 2.5 million in the system, 
the, 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 the feedback from the team assessment shows that the value of that property is around six, there's around 700,000 US dollars and not 2.5 million as what was done in the system. Thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Jabba, for joining us this afternoon. This is Dualu. I got a question for you, and correct me, and please forgive, um, disregard my ignorance, but I've been trying to get some clarity. My guesstimation is the, the properties located in Mozzarella County maybe give or take 200000 total property. I would say maybe 15% of them are in the system to pay taxes. Is that a fair assessment before I ask my question? The usual can you repeat your question again let me get okay i said approximately other. two hundred thousand structures in mozzarella county i'm not worried about the other counties is it fair okay. to say less than 15 percent of those people are paying taxes in mozzarella county is that fair to say very fair okay good very fair the reason why i'm saying this is this because you mentioned people are actually going into the system and possibly changing documentation. How is this possible for such a small amount of property to in the system? Is that versus a small is it a central location where actually verifies and posts the document in the system? How is it possible that somebody can change the documentation? How is that possible? So it's almost like a Seneca. And these things have been happening even before I joined the Liberal Revenue Authority in the real estate tax division. And a lot of a lot of corrupt practices not only taking place in the real estate tax division, in custom and other areas in LRA. And interesting to note that staff have their rights. And some of the rights in terms of breaking property in the system uh, has to do with some of the staff, the officers, where they have to register the property. Other staff have rights in terms of increasing value and decreasing value of property because it's possible wherein after five years, the valuation team can go and reassess the property. And as a result of depreciation, the value could change. And sometimes as a result of uh, new construction taking place and, and, and you have new buildings being constructed, when they assess, the property value will also increase. And so we have special staff who are responsible to 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 determine the, to put in after the valuation team have conducted valuation to determine the the increase or decrease on, on, on the value and not the assisting commissioner for real estate tax division so whenever those information are sent forward the assisting commissioner for real estate tax division has to approve it and send that communication to the accounts and records manager and my accounts and record manager is uh, manager Scholastico Nimle, who will then act upon the instruction that I've been given to her by my office as a result of the valuation team assessment. Okay. Anything other than that, yeah, a complete violation of the SOP. Excellent. So the reason why I asked that question because there is a structure there and how the documents are inputted into the system. So it is also equally fair to say, if something changes within the system, it must be that small group of people who have access to the system that are changing this stuff. Is that fair to say as well? Exactly too. Okay, excellent. Here's my second question. And this bothers me because the way our society works, for example, you value a property at $500,000, half a million dollars, for example but the property is only capable of generating $10,000 per year. Let's say it's an investment property and that's a real estate in terms of rentage. Why does Liberia not grow, in, I mean, improve the system or modernize the system where people pay taxes on the capacity of that property to generate the revenue is capable of generating? Let me repeat the question another way. You have a two bedroom apartment, right? And the rent in, in, in Gaytown is $35 per month for an apartment. But the apartment is value a hundred thousand dollars. There is no freaking way anybody can pay tax on our property with what the property is capable of generating. Why haven't we modernized the system to the point where it's reflective of the generation capacity of that property? Do you understand the question? And because you're breaking in as a result of the internet, so I'm not getting the question well. Okay, let me say it this way: I get one horse. I get one horse, right? And the horse can only generate $50 a month as the income of that property, but it is commercial property. You follow me so far? 
but you right. value the property at 50,000. You want me to pay rent, I mean, revenue on 50,000, but I can only make $50 on the property. Why haven't we improved the system to reflect the income generation capacity of that property? Good. So the determination of value is not based on income. It is based on the value, the appraised oh. value, the worth of your property. Correct. And so once the, your property worth that, it, it doesn't matter whether you decide to even give it to somebody for five dollars. But the value of your property once it is assessed, and your property becomes, for example, hundred thousand, that's the worth of your property. So you can decide, say, okay, I want to rent my place for whatever. But we the determination of property value is based on the current market value or what your property worth. And I'm really saying that. Yeah, but, but let me the clarification I'm making, guys. I'm saying rentage because this is what our people understand. It's not about the words, it's about the understanding of the word. You got to understand the context of words. But let me say this: I'm not worried about the worth of the property. I'm saying our property is worth hundred thousand. I'm being very specific. But the property can only generate fifty fifty dollars for me every month. That means the value of the property is way more than what it's capable of generating. You follow me so far? But you want me right. to pay taxes on the hundred thousand, even though the property doesn't have the capacity to generate hundred thousand tax payment capacity. Do you follow me? Mm -hmm. How? To you. Why haven't we modernized the system where to be able? Because the reason why I'm saying this, a lot of people say, "I even ought to pay that kind of money because the property said the, the rent in the area at twenty five dollars per month, but it's my property at ten thousand. How I will pay the tax?" In most developed countries, or people that actually pay taxes, it's based on the income of what the property is capable of generating. So the determination at the LRA level based on our, our, our law is not based on income. Yes. It's based on value of Why the property. So that's the difference between the two. It's not based on income because your your your, your value or your, the, the income is not the determination of the value of your property. The determination of the value of your property is based on the worth of your property. And so the, the once your property worth ten thousand dollar, that's that's what your property uh, 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 value is, unlike what your income is. So property valuation is determined based on the worth, based on current market value and not income. I and agree. So you can I'll give it to the other guy, but what I'm saying is a flawed concept. People cannot pay it because the value is way more than what it's capable of generating. That's the point I'm trying to make, guys. So what else if let me let me turn it around. Yeah. What else if that property worth ten thousand yeah. and a young man decide to lease the property that even worth more than ten thousand? Yeah, you will that's realize hard. that you will hear more. Yeah, and but so that's that's hardly unlikely. Our, in fair, our fair determination is based on value and not income. So income is not a determination of the property value, but rather what the was the worth of the property based on current market value. Thank you. Thank you. Minister Water Cody. How are you doing? I'd like to welcome our guest. I really don't have a question for him because I've worked with him before and I know the kind of person he is. He's a man of integrity. He's a man who is straightforward to the point. And he will tell you what he can do and what the law says and what he's supposed to do. I work with him over the period of time. So I know the values and I know what he stands for. And not because he's here tonight, but I know because I worked with him before. So I have no question for him. Everything he's saying is right. But the question of what I like to say to him is that do you intend to go back to work because you know in Liberia it is so true that when you try to actually be straight for or to do the right thing um of course you'll get suspended if I were in the same case so I don't I don't I don't I don't know what are you so you got a question back? for him minister what call it correct you want to ask him a question or you just making a statement I made a statement that I want to ask him whether he will really, whether he really intend to go back to work, because um, by him coming on the air, they might not just like that, you know. So that's the only question I want to ask. But I know of him and I know what he's staying for. Like I said, thank you. I do intend to go back to work and serve the librarian people. I just be honest tonight because. Uh, I have to provide the information because I've been pushed to provide the information. Why is it so? 
because my integrity was brought to the public. And I need to clear the air to the public. You cannot take me to the public and I cannot provide a clarity to the public to know that I did nothing. If I sit down and, and, and don't provide the reason why people wrongly suspended me and to know the consequences behind it because they were trying to protect person of interest, then it means that people will see my integrity from a different level. And because they took me to the public, I need to come to the public for the public to understand. And thank God you have admitted I've been an honest person and I've been trying to ensure that the right things I done. I believe in the principles and procedures and God in heaven know that I was wrongly suspended and because they know what it did was wrong in violation of our HRMP and the Professional Ethics Code of Conduct, I'm certain they are ashamed. And let me be honest to tell you what is happening in recent time. My life is even threatening. Uh, yesterday, two vehicles were telling me I had a request uh, wherein a uh, voice of my DB decided to call me. They wanted to, to hear the sound of my story because they watched the Spoon TV. And then I, I gave them the opportunity to, to meet me. And when while, while we were discussing, they decided to do an interview with me. Close to the interview, two vehicles, one SUV, SUV Toyota, white, and another pickup, white, decided to tell me. And the minute we completed the interview, that's when we saw the car approaching our direction. The guy, the two cars slowed down and passed by my car. They went in front and turned around and parked behind the car that was in front of my vehicle. Before we were trying to get into the vehicle, immediately my colleague got in the car. I got in the car, they came closer. We had to wind the glass up. The guy came and stopped right opposite our vehicle. And like somebody, if they had intention of speaking, then they would have brought a glass, their, their, their tinted glass down. But it was not so. It was almost like somebody coming to shoot at you. Just right opposite your, 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 your door. And then I had to speed up with the car because it was something that was very afraid and saw that there was somebody trying to kill me and in my life, I saw it I'm being rescued. Immediately, I drove out. I watched the guy in, in my center view mirror. He decided to park on the side along with the pickup. I decided to give my right signal, like I was going to the next avenue to turn. And so I gave the signal long range before I could reach the intersection. So he decided to drive out and to go to the to the to the next avenue that I, you knew that I was turning. And then I decided to make a U-turn and follow him. And then when he turned, I followed him and stopped to the intersection just to realize he's turned to where I initially decided to turn. And then I decided to use a different avenue. And that how come I escaped the scene. Last night, just about around 9, 10 to 10, two other vehicles decided to go in my community and park right in front of my gate from the side I usually enter. Another vehicle to the to the front of my gate where I usually enter with the vehicle. So the side gate I usually walk in to enter. That vehicle was 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 was, was parked right in front of that gate. A black vehicle SUV, unknown vehicle with unmarked less no lesson plate at all. Another one was parked to the intersection observing my front gate. This is this is very bad, wicked. That people will be going after people to get rid of them. Why should it be this way? This is this is something that Labrador people need to know. And my life is at risk. Did That's you report to, to the Labrador National Police? Did you call the Labrador National Police and report this situation? I I plan to inform the police. And I'm, I, I, I have to inform the police because I feel my life is threatened. And honestly, I know that after my life, I'm taking uh, due professional care and caution, but I think the police need to be informed. And I'm using this opportunity to inform the police openly so that people can know that my life also is at risk. And let me tell you what has happened. I received a, a call today that, okay, it's, I don't know whether they're aware that I'm coming to to spoon 
And so they say, okay, we want to, to have a peace pipe with you. But in the same vein, about the day before yesterday, they had a meeting. And in that meeting, they said, okay, we will bring him back. And then we will write at the PAD, to the PED, which is the professional ethics division, to investigate him and fire him. If for any reason he goes to court, we will pay all we can to the judges to bribe them, to compromise the case so that he will lose, and we'll work with the United Party people to ensure that we tell it as a vacancy and to replace him. What is this? What is this? Is this the kind of country we so want to be? Trying to get the story in? straight, uh, Mr. Java, you said who wrote a, a letter? Where is that letter? Are you just saying this from years ago? Do you have anything to show it. us tonight that they said it? Uh, it is written on down on paper. They discuss it in the meeting that they're going to dismiss me. They have planned to call me back. And when they call me back, they will send me to the professional ethics and division for investigation. And they will fire me. They okay. also indicated in the meeting that they if for any reason I decide to go to court, of which we will go to court, they will pay it all they can to ensure that I lost the case. And if for any reason they will work with the ruling party, the unit party, to ensure that I'm being replaced and will do all they can, no matter what. Thank and you I very just much. Want to understand so, this because is. we have to go on, let me bring in Ed Gray, please. Connor Gray, your two questions. Uh, Mr. Jabba, of course, uh, you're no stranger to me. I'm no stranger to you. So we've worked before together and I uh, concur with uh, Madam Wolo Kali that you, you're a guy who stands for the, the right thing. But, you know, um, property valuation are based on comparative analysis. Uh, some of them can be clearly personal opinions, but they're, they're, they're insinuating um, circumstances surrounding the valuation of property. So when you say the property is located near the ministerial complex, uh, it seems as though that area is zoned for high commercial properties. And that said, the worth as it appears, 2.5 million. Could have um, anybody doing property valuation could have a reason to say that. Now, do you have other uh, agencies that 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 are engaged in uh, valuation of property in Liberia? Yes, they have satisfied tax firm that that gain appraised property. And, and and then when they submit the appraisal document to us, we have a valuation team that will work along with them. If they are not satisfied with the appraisal that has been submitted, they will have a joint assessment uh, to actually do the calculation around the property and determine the true market value of that property. All right. Uh, my second question has to do with character. You know, in Liberia, when you stand for the right thing, you're considered the odd man out, meaning everybody else one side and you on the other side, so there's no cohesion. Could you consider yourself as the guy who just don't compromise with anybody? Not because of what happened at, on your job. Are you? Uh, would you consider yourself to be a... Uh, a people person or you know someone who work with others uh you know without any you know any confusion or anything as we call it i work with all of my staff and every day i tell them they need to learn to be honest and they won't take anything out of anyone to enrich themselves at the detriment of the librarian people I come from a development background of which you are aware. And working in the counties, you have a you have a hands-on of the way people live and to what extent they are suffering. Let's take a common example of the Southeast. We all know the road from Grand Gile passing through 
River G, going to <coughs> Maryland, Grand Cru, the Sino, River Sess, and Grand Bass. How difficult that road is. No basic social services that are needed for our people can only be provided if we raise the required revenue. And so I've always told my staff, it won't do any good to take money for your personal gain at the detriment of people when they are suffering. We think we need to help to transform our country, provide the basic social services that will help to improve the livelihood of our people because many of our people are suffering. To put money into our pocket for our own personal gain, it means in life, and we all know, no matter how much you want, we can never be satisfied. And it won't do anyone any good to keep robbing the Liberian people of what do them. And so I've always told them, we need to learn to be honest, because your integrity is the key that will speak for you. Like you have said rightly, you have worked with me. We have worked together. Like you said rightly, I have interacted with her. And she know I stand. And you know what I stand for. I'm earnest. I try to continue to do the right thing. Because it won't benefit me to rob our people. It's just good to be earnest. And there's people will speak of your good integrity. And that's what I try to always do. I work with all of my managers. I try to ensure that we work collaboratively. I work with the staff to ensure that they do the right thing. They will only have problem with me because when they do the wrong thing, I take action. And I work closely with my immediate boss, Commissioner Tallery, informing him of some of those unscrupulous behavior, impropriety, and corrupt practices that I discovered, informing, and he writes, the each arrow and also inform the professional ethics division to take action and that's what i usually do thank you very much let me let me go ahead and let's bring in let's close up on this calando case uh because uh i'm reaching out to george calando by the way he's contemplating whether he should come on and defend himself this is what we do on the spoon talk but let's close up the way forward what you and your folks at lra what's the conclusion to the george calando issue my immediate boss commissioner tari uh, uh may mention to management that the the ac the common ac assistant commissioner for res attack so all the acs are called acs or we, we mean assistant commissioner that the ac actually discovered these things he reported to me we informed hr and the professional ethics division they investigated and people were found guilty for the actions he said it was not right and he stood his ground but remember that commissioner tari is the commissioner and bennett honorable bennett is the deputy commissioner general for administrative affairs wherein also that uh and um, um honorable montgomery keeper montgomery is the deputy commissioner general for technical affairs so they are above honorable honor uh, uh, and commissioner uh, uh, and that is salary and so he can do what he can in his purview but they feel that they are higher than him and so sometimes they don't want to listen and, and bennett and honorable bennett have even uh, hushed the racist voice against a uh, commissioner salary and and even brought him in, 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 into to, to, to discredit his 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 good earned repetition in front of other staff, and he can attest to that. You know, there are there are some good people in Hillary, but there are some bad apples that are there. So, what's the conclusion with George? So now, what's the price value of his property? Uh, you guys register what? Did you guys give the document to the bank that George was requesting? Uh, what's the end game here? What what you I mean, what happened then? the 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 task clearance went out to honorable george Galano. the me the minute i discovered that informed honorable commissioner uh, that is to our salary he then invited the msd to a meeting and the trees shows that the task clearance left the system immediately we put in the the code 
and it was determined that yes, the task ever left the system, and immediately he revoked it. Immediately, uh, exactly, he revoked it. So and the task and, ever and, left the system. With which amount? How much was with the, the value? Task? With the value of two, the, usually the tax terrorists will not show the value of the property, but the 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 the, the property bill, the, the the notice of determination carries the property value of two point five. But then it shows that the taxpayer uh, tax terrorist means that the taxpayer is clear of his obligation, and not the dime was even paid for him to be so, clear of his obligation. No, that's why I want and us so, to understand, and librarian need to understand. Mm -hmm. like, let's just take our time before we go to the next case. The task clearing had a value of 2.5, correct? The task clearing will not show the value. It will only state that your you as a person, your prop, your you have paid your real property tax, and then this is a clearance. It is the the determination, the, the bill, the notice of determination is the bill that they use also to show this is the value of the property. So they carry the determination that shows the value of that amount on the bill of 2.5. To, uh, to uh, test or confirm that the property was 2.5. So again, who discovered this error or this I on, corruption? I unearthed, I unearthed it and I brought it to the attention of my immediate boss, Commissioner Tallery. And then and that's how it was sent for investigation. So right now, is this state you say you'll revoke it? Why is the task value now on that property right now? from your office, from your entity? The 2.5 is staying in the system. That's why oh. we revoke it. Yes, the 2.5 as the value stays in the system because we cannot change it, but we revoke it. The task level has been revoked, but the 2.5 value will be in the system because it's, it was under investigation. And so we're going to change the value. The bill was printed, all the supporting document were valid to PED, and it was determined and they investigated it and was also determined that yes all of the fraudulent activities occurred even the staff that the, those staff that were involved received brought from honorable uh, uh, or uh, from councillor uh 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 calando and when when councillor calando I called me, know, on, how do you know they received brought because they admitted to the professional ethics division that received money from him so it's the professional ethics and division that conducted the investigation, not me. I well, only unearthed it and provided the supporting document, and they went through the investigation. Did they? Did your entity speak to George Calando? Did they question him? Well, it, it, it was uh, another institution I wrote to the Labrador Revenue Authority, and the Labrador Revenue Authority responded to them under the signature of commissioner general thomas dona that indicated to them that the receipt that left lra was a fraudulent uh, task clearance uh, the, the task clearing that left LRA was fraudulent task clearance and was revoked and that communication was being served to the 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 institution or the lawyer that requested to get clarity for lra who's the lawyer and so that document uh, who's the lawyer? And the 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 law the law firm, and in fact, it was under the signature of Jonathan Masiko, who he wrote before even I, I I before I started proceeding around this. Which matter. law firm? I've uh, I well the communication I think he wrote under the the law firm of the International Law Office. This the firm that he works for. The International Law Office that Fonati Kofa. Law firm, exactly. am I correct? Exactly, exactly. And, and the lawyer name is Jonathan Massacre, Councillor Jonathan Massacre. Okay, so before we end on this, my last question, then we can bring in Dualu. The issue here is that can George Calando use that tax clearance in any other place? Since it's reflecting because he has been revoked, he can't. And we have the records, so we have the letter that we, it was being revoked. He can't because when you revoke it, there's no way. Once you go into this into LRA portal now and put in that number, it will show that is he doesn't have a task clearing at all. Because he has been so, so ladies and gentlemen, we are speaking to Assistant Minister Commissioner Assistant Commissioner. James. Assistant Commissioner, thank Commissioner. you. James Alpha Jabba from the LRA. 
we want to say please thank you for joining us this is huge we'll be going to the next case that involved one bar we have we have that case we want to hear from uh the assistant commissioner likewise but please bear with us as we run our commercials we're going to take a 30 second break on this commercial because today is her wedding anniversary we got to squeeze it in because we are obligated to do that for our own sister uh if you have the commercial ready to nelson you can please play it otherwise we can proceed till you get it ready uh today is her wedding anniversary we want to send a shout out to her it's very important i don't think nelson have it ready yet we're going to bring it in let me let Duado and on this one then we will have to talk about the bad case there's a bad okay. case coming up as well mr okay. Duali. quick question for you commissioner it seems uh, what most people in liberia tend to devalue or lower the value of their property what's the rationale behind honorable kalando wanting to up the value of his property because the higher the value the higher the taxes now in the past people up the value of their property when the government is about to use imminent domain or road connection in that area so they can get a higher amount from the government is that the reason what's the reason you think mr colonel want to up the value of his property you're muted people up the value or increase the value when they want to use or they want to go to the bank, for example, for a loan. And so they want to, the, for for example, the bank will look at your your your, your property as a collateral. And they want to, to, before they give you the loan, you need to have the kind of collateral that they can use it as a security against the loan. And so people increase their value to be able to meet up with requirement of the bank. Also, people increase their value, for example, they have a, a court case and then the court is telling you you need a security you will provide a bond and the bond value should be for example at this amount and so in this case with Colano Colano have a have a court case with him concerning the bank and so the, it seems to be the court requested a value and that's how come he the value of his property were increased to satisfy the requirement of the court of 2.5 million dollars Thank you, Stanton. I have a question. Hey, Dr. Uh, uh, Chinaway Richardson, go ahead now. Uh, what would you like to see happen to resolve this case related to Kalando? When, when Honorable when Councillor Kalando called me uh, some few days ago, he said, people told me that you have a name on Spoon TV and I I know you, uh, why are, are you putting my name in the public? I said, during my, my review, it was discovered that your property value was in the system of 2.5 million and our people did not follow the procedure. He said he paid them, he gave them money to make payment and the payment was never executed because I told him, as far as concerned, the system shows that the receipt in the system is fraudulent. There was no payment made, but receipt was being developed and put in the system. And so as far as we are concerned, it is his property and his name that was being brought into the system. And so he's equally responsible for that. Do you think the employees the LRA are responsible and then something should happen to them? Like somebody breaking somebody put it in fraudulent receipt into the system. Do you think they bear any responsibility and should they be working at LRA? They bear full responsibility, and that's the reason why they should be dismissed. Because they brought the integrity of LRA at stake. All of us integrity. Because they even they even acted unfair to on, on uh, Councillor Carlando. If for any reason Councillor Carlando should have passed through the process and they never educated him, and so he was equally wrong and they were equally unfair to him, he gave them money to make payment and they did not make the payment, but rather brought in fake receipt in the system in the system, took out fraudulent tax clearance out of the system, thereby also affecting him. So they are equally liable, and that's the reason why they should have been dismissed. 
Okay, thank you very much. Let's talk about this. Uh, welcome to the show, Maxwell. Let, let's talk about this next case. It's very important. Email, uh, you know, from Darlington Tally, uh, L-R-A-G-O-V. You can see, folks, you can screenshot it. Uh, we have all these documents I would like to share with the public. Sent Tuesday, November 14, a few weeks back, maybe two weeks ago, 2023 at 11.08 a.m. to Sumo Calipli. Now, it is important to know we want to bring up this other situation. Trust all is well with you. I was following up with AC Calipli late last week on the progress of the Abu Kaka Bar case but he indicated much progress has not been made because he has not gotten a response to the email below. Can you please respond? Now, can you tell us about Abu Kakaba case? Then we will display the other document, sir. Thank you very much. Abu Kakaba has been in our system for over five years before I even joined the LRA family. And whenever my commissioner, Honorable Darlingston Ward Tallery, and myself go to LBRO when we're passing by the way of Kiri Street. You always say, ACJB, this property in the corner going to the garage, this property, is it in the tax net? You need to see whether it's in the tax net. And he told me this over three different times. I call my, my team responsible for Central Moravia to actually give me feedback in whether that property was in the tax net and what was the value and what was the classification of the property. I couldn't get the kind of feedback from them. And so I decided to go on a fee and do my own due diligence. And when I went on the fee, the first thing I decided to do was to take the photo of the property and send the picture to my valuation manager uh Pachibu. and janitor Pachibu, i told him to please check the system the information i gathered that that property was for one abu Bakar bar he should kind of tell me whether that property was in the system and what was the value of the property and they should assess the property and tell me what is the current value of that property in addition to that they should also inform me the classification of that property when it was done the property for abu Bakar bar was in the system as a residential property and residential rate is 0 0.0025 and that property value in the system was 225,000 us dollar when they value the property that property value shows over 600,000 and that property was a commercial property so it should have been treated in the system as residential or rather a commercial property of 1.5 percent as the tax rate so if you have about 1.5 percent multiplied by the value of the property of 600,000, you will see that the tax amount of that property around 9,000, unlike for a residential property of about two thousand dollars or pretty close to two to three thousand you can see the difference in terms of the 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 owner value of that property determines that we're generating far less revenue thereby thereby affecting our revenue oh, I, I wrote a communication to abu Bagar bar informing him that the property will run the classify and we were going to reclassify that property and retroactively allow him to pay for the difference on that property I wrote a, com a communication to Commissioner Talry. He agreed, and we acted upon that. He was informed to pay. He decided not to. He raised an issue and said that he was not going to pay. I forwarded his, his complaint with the support of Commissioner Talry to our legal division. And our, our legal division called my attention that the property in the system was a residential, and then why did they see a commercial property? And they saw two commercial property. Interestingly, the reclassification of a property from residential to commercial. And then they said there was another commercial property in the system for Akubu Bakaba referring to that particular location. And I said, it's not possible. Just to discover that Victor C. 
collaborated with other staff and brought in that property in a system as a commercial property with a lower value of the same residential value of 225000 to fraud the system. He told Abu Bagaba that he can erase the commercial property of the 600000 from the system and then he can bring in this new property in the system on the value in the commercial property, bringing a new commercial property for the 225000 and which he did. Without any supporting document, no appraisal document, he used one of the staff in the return processing unit at the banking hall of operation, one CNN, to put in the value of 225000 US dollar, thereby causing conflict of the two commercial property in the system. And so the legal department was concerned, why are we running with two commercial property and for one property that we're referring to? And so I said, let me do a background investigation. How come it was determined? And therefore, I informed Commissioner Tallery. We wrote a communication for Victor to be investigated. Commissioner Tallery wrote the H arrow and copied the professional ethics division, who, who, uh, who that division is being headed by and assisting Commissioner Sumo Kalabi. Since Commissioner Tari wrote that communication to HRO, HRO have not acted upon that communication. HRO have been holding the action to forward seem to PED, which is the Professional Ethics Division, to act. The Professional Ethics Division responded and said, up to this time, they have not gotten any feedback from the HRO to allow them to act. Commissioner Tari made a follow-up with the HRO and the HRO said, oh, I think I slipped on this and therefore I will ensure that I lace with Calapi since Calapi is copied in this, mail to, in this email to act. To my utmost surprise, thinking that it was it was the meeting they were calling me for, not knowing. They called me for a different meeting to tell me that Victor wrote or complained against me for insulting the function. So it was, it was something already planned because Honorable Bennett didn't want to send Victor C8 to, to PED, which is the Professional Ethics Division, to be investigated. So he decided to change the entire story around to say Victor wrote a complaint against you for insulting the function and you are insulting Victor function and Victor should be doing his work. And I asked him, how can the Assistant Commissioner for Real Estate Tax Division, who is responsible to manage and supervise the three managers who run the, the enforcement section, the valuation section, and the accounts and records section will be in solving Victor's fun function when Victor is just a senior officer. I'm responsible to receive the target for the month and ensure the teams have access to the target such that they will go on a fee, will spread in the, the number between the five different teams and they will go and collect the revenue. I had three different strategic meetings. Victor was told concerning being part of the meeting. He did not show up to the meeting. We had a strategic plan. We determined the teams that was able to go on the fee because I've just come back for, for leave. And Commissioner Tari has said that the performance for October, we got left for leave for October, that the performance in terms of collection was very poor. And I needed to re-strategize to make sure that we... We had two months on November and December to meet up with our already right. tacking. And so I put the mechanics into play to meet that. And Victor was accusing me wrongly. Th thank you very much, Commissioner Japa. Thank you very much. This story just continues. We're just going to wrap this thing up because all the email you have sent is just one story to another. Let me ask you, though. The Commissioner proper, Thomas Doe, now, in one of your emails, you said this thing started prior to him being sick. How long have you been? all of the office and all of the country. What were his involvement in all of these stories? Did you talk to him? Uh, Honorable Doe, uh, I'm Thomas Doe now, Commissioner General, I've been sick pretty close to a month now. Before his illness, I personally briefed him concerning especially this situation with Victor C. And, but you know, the step is such that I can't stop, start with Commissioner General. I have to 
work closely with my immediate boss. And so that's why I inform him, but it is the responsibility of my immediate boss to forward the complaint to HR and copy uh, the professional ethics division who would then uh, uh, act upon the instruction of the HR to proceed. But in the case of Victor, HR have never given the professional ethics division the go ahead to proceed. I don't know for one reason, for what reason, and that was the reason that was that was what prompted the problem, because Commissioner Bennett decided to protect Victor, and that's why he said in the meeting, "I will ensure that I send you to to PED for investigation," all because he knew that I was pushing that Victor must be investigated. He said, "This is the plan for you and Honorable uh, 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 Tallery to send Victor to PED, but it will never happen." And so he started getting emotional. So he, he, and that caused him to start insulting me and start okay. intimidating me. And I said, I think the meeting was training in a different direction. Thank you very much, Commissioner Njapa. So uh, the situation still unfolding. Uh, there is no resolution to all of these different cases. And uh, how you look at the system so far under the George Manawea government? Do you think the Liberians home and abroad, the people that are paying the hard-earned taxes or other individuals, do you think they have been treated well? from one case to another and the situation how you think this can be resolved for the lra you know sometimes when you when you serve in a capacity as president you have your people who are responsible to play their own role and so those people that were appointed to positions to play the role instead of them doing the thing what is expected of them and so they don't do those things they connive with with staff they try to, to, to support other staff in the wrongdoing. And then at the end result, it reflects on the president because he is the one staying in the shape. But not necessarily sometimes the president is aware. But sometimes they get feedback. But to what extent do uh, and is the president taking action against some of his people to, 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 to stop or to curtail some of the, uh, the, the wrongful uh, action or the, 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 the improprieties? is the main issue. So sometimes they are held responsible because they fail to act. Uh, thank you, Prince. You can ask your question. Uh, then we'll wrap this up because this is a long, never-ending story. And at least the folks have heard from Commissioner Japa. Prince? Well, I don't think I don't think at this point I have I have a question for Commissioner Japa. It's just I just have to say thank you to him for stepping forward and being courageous enough to let the Liberian people know of the things that are going on at LRA. There are many Liberians who are out there in ministries and agencies that are aware of the mob practices, but do not have the courage as uh, James Japa here, who has come to the Liberian people to report these matters so that they are aware. Public accountability is a very strong thing. And there are many people that are going to antagonize him because he's come forward. I would just simply say to you, sir, kudos to you, you're doing your national duty. You will be rewarded. I can say that because Liberian people will know you. Spoon is one of the big, if I Spoon is the biggest network in the country right now. And they are all saying that you've come to Spoon, you've brought documents, you have laid out your case eloquently, factually, and they are very aware that you are honest in your approach in seeking a solution to end the malpractice at, at LRA. So thank you, sir. I, I, uh, my highest honor and respect to you. And I'm sure the Liberian people are respecting you right now as well. Can I squeeze thank one question? Thank you very much. My brother. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Commissioner Jabba, um, this just tells you how very archaic our system is. And uh, there's no for reform. Uh, it seems as though we still, we have not transitioned from that cashless way of, of transacting business. People go on the field, they get them physical cash to bring to a central vault. That is a, that is a 12th century BC, uh, uh, you know, way of collecting money. Uh, that said, if you were to see some reform, just give me a few that you'd like to see done within the LRA. 
And so, uh, uh, Commissioner General Thomas do not have begun the process. By December, we will not be using the the CITAS and TAS any longer. And though those systems have its own shock, they, they have their own shortcoming. We have developed a uh, LITAS, and LITAS is a web base and uh, it is, it's, it's integrated such that you can e easily find a taxpayer payment, you can do a reporting, you can do the balance, and it's easy to use. It creates the condition where the taxpayer now can be able to go online and, and do their own application. They can go online and do their own filing. They can also make payment online and several other things. And so what he's been trying to do is to make sure that the system is more effective, wherein you file, you make payments, you, you access all your information online. You don't need to have anyone at LRA doing that for you because this will help the situation of people fronting the system. Passing through second person, third party, is killing us. A lot of revenue should be generated more than this. The one billion dollar which we usually talk about, I can tell anybody, just real property tax, that we usually say is a low-hanging fruit. If we strengthen our laws around real property and look at strengthening the enforcement portion of it, because the, the, the real property is fixed. The land cannot move. The building cannot move. And so why do you think that we can't get all of our people registering their property and then ensuring that they pay? Look, I had an opportunity, and I always like to say this, that I went to America when I, when, I, when I used to work with the Ministry of Finance and Development Planning. I led on the Pro Poor Agenda for Prosperity and Development. I developed it. I worked with Madame Salif, government recruited as an SES professional, senior executive service professional, to build, give back and build the capacity of our country. And I work with hold on the interim poverty reduction strategy, the poverty reduction strategy, and the agenda for trans transformation. And he's a witness. He was part of the team that was sent in the county as county development officer. And the intent there is to help to transform our country. And pretty tell me why others are trying to muster courage to help the country, others are defrauding the system. And Honorable Doe has been trying, Thomas Doe now have been trying to see how we, we can stop this situation wherein taxpayer or pass through or staff to go do transaction on behalf of them. And this is the reason why the system is being corrupted because people put money in the pocket and the, the taxpayer strongly believe that they went into the they went to LRA and make the payment. Not knowing, you will see the payment in the system, like they pay, but no, no real money came in the system. But Thank with you. the new system, we are trying to ensure that it works more effectively for the people of Liberia. Thank the Dr. Richardson. Squeeze it in real quick, yeah, because yeah, we got in his closing, he can do this in, in his closing. So, in other parts of the world, uh, property value is based on things like security, road, uh uh electricity water those things are provided by the government in liberia can you just help us understand and you can include this in your conclusion or when you come back can you just help us understand how, what factors you guys consider when you are determining property values or taxes property taxes and value so what we, what we've been trying to do in recent time was to develop an app around valuing property and in the development of this app because we don't want intervention of an valuation officer again with a taxpayer. So develop the app where in the information that you give us, the system will be able to determine your value of your property based on the location of your property, determination of the access in terms of access to road, access to healthcare, schools, and several others variables that will determine the value of your property and so that will create a condition wherein your property will be fairly valued so someone who do not have access to role health care and 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 education the value of the property will, will, will not be the same as those that have access to those those basic social services that will be fair 
And so you may have somebody in a rural area that do not even have a bathroom, mm -hmm. that do not even have a, a kitchen, compared to somebody who in Morovia has a bathroom and a kitchen. The value should not be the same. Because the property value should be determined based on the availability of all of those things. And so we're trying to see how best we can now de we, we de we develop the app and to see how best the app will be more effective to factor on those variables to make sure the value is properly determined and give fair value to our tax bill. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Commissioner, I want to say thanks for joining Spoon tonight. A very interesting conversation, by the way. We hope to have you back because it is important to educate all Liberians the importance of their home values, the property, and every other business is here and there. Um, while you leave in though, we, we pray that you be safe, man. Uh, are you concerned auditor death and folks within your your services and all of you, what you do, those that were killed or murdered, the allegation that they, they were killed? Um, are you not afraid that folks are chasing you? I hope you are finding ways to protect yourself and secure yourself, though. I want you to speak to the nation tonight concerning your own safety, if you if you prefer. You know, I'm human, and so I'm equally afraid because I, I, at the time I've just joined the LRA family, and then the situation of uh, Albert Pidich. And Albert Pidich was somebody and myself who went to school together. Albert Pidich and myself graduated together. Albert, Albert Pidich and myself worked in the LBDI together. So I knew Albert Pidich very well. Gifty, Gifty were assigned to the real estate tax division to propagate the, the information to our taxpayers. So she was directly assigned to me. I knew Gifty, I knew Albert Pidich. And, and when I reflect on the situation of Albert and Gifty, though I don't know what happened, what, what really was responsible for the death, but I also feel that my life is at risk, especially on unearthing some of the improprieties or malpractices or corrupt practices taking place at LRA. I know I'm threatened because once you try to unearth the corrupt practices, there will be people that will go after you because they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. And, and imagine, look, people who will, will, will try to lie on people and protect other people because they are equally corrupt. They are corrupt. If they were not corrupt, they would not support corruption. But because they are corrupt, they're trying to protect their people of personal interest so that they too cannot be seen being corrupt. But if they were, if they are corrupt, they will equally protect them. Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Let, let me just say something. And just yesterday, if you will look on Facebook, on the Rebellion, sent a text. He, 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 he crafted something in the Masonic statement. And he stated it concerning the, 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 the worshipful master, the master amazing. And he made reference to three names. And if you carefully review the statement that he sent, the conclusiveness of that statement means he will struck me down. That statement he crafted was referring to me in a messianic statement. And I responded to him that that statement of him saying you're going to crush me down would never work. I believe in God. And God is first. And there's nothing that I know that he will do to crush me down. Because God is above everything. And God knows that I'm doing the right thing. Because our country needs to be safe. We need to be protected against the malpractices. Because a lot of our people are suffering. Or because the basic social services cannot reach them. And so we need to stop these things by threatening people going on Facebook and using words to threaten people thinking that we'll get a threat because we're trying to unearth the unscrupulous behavior and mock practices that are taking place in our country. Thank you very much, Commissioner James Afik Jabba. We say thank you for joining us on tonight. As always, we wish you well and we pray to see you again.
It's good having you, sir. Thank you. Thank you also to the management of Spoon, specifically to you also for granting me this opportunity, all of you for participating on this uh, 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 Spoon talk and to the public for listening. Uh, I want you to carefully review and think through what I've said and to, to be the judge. Don't look at what LRA have stated by suspending me, but to look between the logical reason for why they did what they did. And God above will judge them for what they have done. To bring my repetition. Are you, are you a brother? Amazing? Yeah. I'm amazing. And that's what he didn't know. And so I, I, I knew the interpretation, the meaning he wrote it. And I responded to him immediately. It sounds like you're incriminating Thank you. the, the craft. Wait, we gotta go. We gotta go and, no, it's uh, not that incriminating the craft. But the statement there has an interpretation. Thank you. The statement has an interpretation, and that's what I interpreted for him. Thank you very much, Commissioner Java. Good seeing you and good having you. We pray to see you again. Have a wonderful evening, sir. Thank you so much for this opportunity and thank you to all of you and to the public for listening. Thank you. All right, folks, we want to say thanks. That's uh, Commissioner uh, James Afa Jabba from LRA. Uh, on the other side, after the commercial, we will be discussing the after conversation will come forth. And now we will move over to Ministry of Health. These are the two important stories we have for you today. But today is a wonderful person wonderful person wonderful person wedding anniversary for 25 years so now let's go to our commercial salute you they were you stay stood by me you never look down on me so i got you kiss you double you Remember the time I was up in You used to call my dry around with my kettle. They on the season that you have when they make it tell you my number one juice. Help me where you back. Hold me where you back. So I'ma hold you now. Nah, 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 yeah. You love me where you back. You love me where you back. So I'ma love you now. Yeah. Come and worship with us. Come and worship with us at Global Impact Ministries International, where the nations gather to worship. In search of a church where there is integrity, accountability, excellence, opportunities with pastoral care, and the fear of God? Well, then come and worship with us. Global Impact Ministries International is located at 801 McDade Boulevard, Collingdale, Pennsylvania. Global Impact Ministries International is a place of worship and spiritual growth for you. Come and join us on Sunday for our divine worship service at 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Also, on Tuesdays, there's Bible study at 7 p.m. And Thursday, there's a Power Night service at 7 p.m. For more info, Call 612-702-2418 or 215-594-9103. Also, you can email us at globalimpact777usa at gmail.com. Come and be blessed.
All right, we want to say we are grateful to have all these many commercials coming in. It is necessary at this time. You understand that this is where we are. This is who we are. We're going to promote your businesses out there, your small business, your wedding anniversary and everything. And we're going to tell the world who you are. Now, it is important for us to go back as our sister uh, Aliyah celebrating our 25 years wedding anniversary to Prince. We wish them well. Well, but let's get back to the conversation, folks. And we say thank you for joining Spawn Talk again. Mr. Dualu, let me start with you. LRA problem. What a mess, Mr. Dualu. I, I, what I'm going to say is the government encourages this mess by not strengthening the institution to make sure things like this do not happen. Let me say this for, for her instance. The LRA want to collect more taxes. They have to demarcate the city, zone the city, and provide a dressing system and create a database. If Mr. Dualu has not paid his taxes, it's something you can look into the system. Look, um, um, Colonel Gray mentioned this. We have agents in the field still coming to talk to my brother Prince Maxwell. You, you can manipulate him in so many ways. So we have a lot of work to do. The LRA is operating in that fashion. And just another thing, though, I'm going to say this. Most people don't realize this. It's to the benefit of those who work at the LRA to maintain the system as is because this is how they make their money. And Liberia loses. Look, I ask a question. There's a reason why I ask that question. The percentage of people within the system is less than 15%. The reason why I mention that because I spoke to a very high-ranking commissioner at the LRA. He said, listen, we can get people in the system. Sometimes you go to a government official and they say, man, get up from here. Why should it even be that way? Do you know many cases, if you try to pay taxes in Liberia, sometimes you have to bribe somebody in order to pay your taxes? I am not joking. You have to bribe to pay your taxes because this, the, the, the process is so convoluted to the point where it frustrates the living hell out of you. And we are our own. Look, we can generate a one billion dollar. Look, just do a, a, a guesstimation. If Morovia has approximately 200,000 structures within a city, factor in the other 15 counties. Let's just say each county has an additional 500,000. I mean, an additional 50,000 per county. And each person from that county is paying just $50 per year, not per month. Each structure is just 50. We can generate a billion dollars every single year without even bringing a sweat. Now, when you factor in these major commercial properties, the government doesn't have to go out and borrow $50 million from the Saudis to build the airport. There's a lot of things we can do. So the process can be home and we can streamline the process very quickly if we are serious. Thank you. You want to close on this, Prince? Yeah, I mean, we, we Dwalu has said it all, basically. You know, zoning, demarcation, putting in place better public policy, better financial management policy within the institution, making sure you upgrade the institution with technology so that it reduces the, the human corrosion and the interaction of, 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 of people to reduce corruption. There are many things that, has, that, will, that will have to be done. The most important thing here right now is the fact that in Liberia, we have to figure out how we address our community settings. Most of these issues that we face with taxes in Liberia comes from the way we build our communities. They are not properly demarcated. So as the result of that, anybody can just use the system in any way they want to. The second part of that is we've been very comfortable in allowing clientelistic practices in the country. We don't try to break it apart. We don't try to intervene. So we just encourage that because I know you, I can help you. So these are, these are the things. It's sickening to to not really dive deep into this because the first thing is you have to dissect the entire institution. You have to go all the way back to the issue of legislation. You have to go all the way up to the issue of the Senate and the House of Representatives in order to start looking at these things. So as to start fixing the laws first before you even get to the public policy part of it. So there's a whole lot of work that has to be done. Let's wrap this thing up, and then we we'll move to our uh, Minister of Health conversation. Um, I, I, that Dr. Nandaito, Minister Woodacolli, your sister, your, 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 your best friend, your sister, your wonderful friend, you guys grew up together, Dr. Wilhelmina Jala. Uh, it, it's kind of embarrassing with the information we have, how they have destroyed the Minister of Health. 
in every other corner in every counties. Let me put this thing up. But talk to us about Daito Wilhelmino Jala. Talk to us about Nobu or, 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 or Howard, Joe Howard Taylor sister. How they have used your position to destroy the Ministry of Health. We will talk about the other folks that are there, likewise. But do us a favor today and just talk to us. What do you know about that ministry? One of the main ministries that have destroyed the country health system. Minister Wodokoli. What was the question? Uh, I didn't get you clear, you were breaking up. Okay, that, oh, so hold on, let me repeat the question. Dr. Richardson, you can get me clear? I can hear you now. I'm hearing you. I'm, talk, I'm asking you, Minister Wodokoli, Minister of Health. Yes. What's going on there? What do you know? The name, Noah Howard, the sister of Joa Howard Taylor. The name, Wilhelmina Jala, your best friend from since childhood. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, well, it's not making me laugh, Dwalu. This is serious <laughs> conversation. My, my, um, well, I mean, uh, Jala is not my best friend, but I've known her for a period of time. And um, actually, my expectation of her was very high because when she built that clinic, um, um, they hope, I think, hope, I, I don't know the name of her clinic real good. I think hope for women. I was very proud of her, and um, I was glad that she, they appointed her as health minister. She actually, actually let us down because since she became the minister of health, there are a lot of, a lot of things that went on so wrong. It was so bad off until the ambassador, the American ambassador, uh, McCarthy. Had to take a time off to go into the villages, into the counties and villages to see where the money was going. Can you imagine if we were pumping money into the health ministry and it was so bad that it was doing bad, no drugs in the hospitals, no drugs in the clinics, and, and people were just dying, babies dying, women dying, men dying. So it created a, a concern. And it took somebody from where United States of America, former ambassador McCarthy, to go and do a research to find out what was going on with the funding that the American government and the European government and other people who are contributing to world's our health system now. For me, she should have been fired long ago. Honestly speaking, she should have been fired. But and and the president ran the, the, the government on sympathy and he ran it on friendship. So that that created a problem for him and got him where he is today. But the health system is bad off. It's bad off. She they ate all the money, they squandered the money and 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 they they misappropriated the money. Like when poor people see, they say you stole the money. When big people see in Africa, they say you have misappropriated the money. Yes. So I'm using that term, but it's the same as stealing. When you take the poor people's money and, and divert it to your own personal clinic, all of them got drug stores. All of them, including the JFK doctors, the doctors from all over in Liberia, all of them got drug stores and clinics. So how do you expect JFK to function? How do you expect for Cali Hospital to function? How do you expect for SOS to function? All the hospitals need to be well equipped so they can be able to serve the Liberian people. But they took the money onto themselves and the president, George Weah, decided to keep all of them for six years because they were his friends or, 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 or special friends. So this is the problem. And there has been a problem. And so this is where we are. Thank you very much. We are about to share some document uh, from the, and this is, this I've not been seen before. This is big. 
uh, I'm going to share with you guys. Um, I think we should discuss it tonight. This is from the Global Fund. It's a new document coming. I don't know why Prince is Prince laughing because he already have a copy of this document. Listen, talking about the Inspector General of Global Fund, the International Healthcare Organization. They have given huge support to Liberia. You know, went to Liberia, conducted and review on how the government spent the money from 2018 to 2020. We just have all these documents and further into 2023, they formed millions of dollars intended for malaria, HIV, TB programs were diverted. All these different things, TB, malaria, HIV, everything. Now, what makes this interesting also, when you talk about permanent individual, the sister of Joa Howard Taylor, no Howard, when it prepared themselves, like Dwight was saying, we are going into the interior to have this that program, to build that clinic, to do this. But they take the money, the allegation that they just take the money for themselves and they choose not to do anything. We have come across different documents that we will show you here bit by bit and we want to share everything on facebook for people to see the full document that's how i like to do my thing because i cannot give you all the information here but once i share on facebook you can read through it and make your own decision because once it's on fa facebook it's public it's everybody information i will not be caught and pasting and uploading this document and take away our time uh, so again i'm going to ask nelson once we should discuss this put everything on facebook let it have bring people see it on the spawn page. Put it there. And let the people see who took the people money. Tell the people get so tired. And some exchanges and in, 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 put all the email uh, information there likewise. Let the people see it. Dualu, I, I think you have this document. I think it's in the chat room. If not, yes. let me try to put them there. Yeah, put it back in there. But Santa, let me let me say this, if you allow me. Uh, the mistake, and, 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 and my mom will call his book today. My mom will call his book today. The mistake we continue to make. Doctors, medical doctors, are not managers. This continuity of always taking a medical doctor to run the health ministry is so ridiculous. It's so asinine. It's taking away from the proper operation of the hospital sector in Liberia. Look around the globe. Doctors do not run hospital. They are not managers. Look, the hospital... You have to be versed in understanding the personnel, of finance, of operation. Doctors are not trained to do that. They're trained. Though. Do you know why Angela focuses on running her pharmacy and she doesn't focus on the personnel and operation of the hospitals across the country? Because this is beyond her capacity. Does it mean she's stupid? Doctors do not run things in that fashion. They are not managers. You're looking for MBAs and people that have run these kind of operations. But we continue to take the hospital setting year in and year out. And we give it to doctors. Doctors are not managers. They want to heal a soul and go to a wound. But every single time we continue to make this mistake, this is why they like Sajala. She doesn't know what to do. And we cannot continue to make this mistake. Look, Stanton spoke about the money. Look, doctors do not track money. Doctors to track wounds and, and, and viruses and, and diseases. They don't track money. They don't know how to track money. We continue to fail our people every single time with this nonsense. Let's hope for the Honorable Bracker gets this and have proper manager running the health ministry because the health ministry has to be run like an organization that it is because it is an organization. Thank you, Thank you very much, Dr. Richardson. Yeah, um, you know, it's it's disheartening, you know, to know that the Minister of Health has misappropriated, and I want to laugh because uh, we will obviously have, have kind of diverted or stolen money. My question is, where did they divert the money to? Maybe tonight uh, someone can answer that question for us. Uh, but you did say that the money was diverted from malaria, HIV and other illnesses. I wanted to wear, um, and then of course, I think the conflict of issue and um, the conflict of interest got to be addressed in our country. You cannot be a minister of health or you know a minister of education. They have your own schools. Health have their own clinic. They have their own. Yes, because when you're in a position of power, you can influence people to go to your your clinic or your pharmacy or your school, and you know. It, that that is just not great. That's not good at all for our country. 
So I, I think that our, whoever the new government, uh, Joseph Buckeye's government, has to address this conflict of interest issue for me. Uh, so the first set of the document in the chat room, I'm going to forward it to you, uh, Madam uh, Wodokori, because you don't have it. And actually, please, just tell Nelson to give it to you. I'll send it over to Nelson to post these things on Facebook. But I hope you can take your time to dive through them. The document is just coming, just coming. Nelson, can you please share with Madam Wodokori? And guys, it's in the chat room. Now, let's talk about this issue. Uh, if you want a few seconds, we can give it to you. Ed, let me hear you talk about this thing while we're uploading the other document, which is so damaging to our society. You know, besides a um, few other, other departments or uh, you know, structure in our country, the Ministry of Health is one of the largest beneficiaries of um, you know donor money, including Bill Gates and and some you know marvelous philanthropists are all contributing because this has to do with the human life. Uh, if you have someone there, as Dualu said, who does not understand management, there's a reason why Spoon is so successful. It's because of simply because of management, and not that. There are not other contemporaries around Liberia, but the way the, the, the organization, the network is managed, is properly managed. Everywhere is working. Now, you cannot give, a, when I met Wilhelmina Jala in um, 2008, she was complaining bitterly how she was making only $1,000 um, uh, and the, then it was Guanigali, I want to say uh, Minister of Health another doctor, older guy. Uh, she was complaining how he was very corrupt and yalla yalla all the nine years. You know, this issue about Liberia where when we think that we're not there, we complain and when we get there, um, we should we should be exceptional um, from the rest who, you know, who we are succeeding. I see this as, as it's it just the, the, the name of the game. Everybody who gets there, and probably I blame it to our laws. Look, I remember the during Madame Selig time, there was a, a Dr. Coleman um, in the issue of some $13 million that came from the EU, maybe 13 or 30. I, 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 can't, I can't remember the figure. But that's how, that's how unfortunate we've been as a country. There is no need for JFK to go out of drugs. There is no need for any public... Um, you know, hospital or facility, um, not to be able to deliver our mothers, our pregnant mothers without hindrance. There's no need because you know what? Even malaria, malaria gets funding. Anything, even to reduce maternal mortality, infant mortality, money coming in the system. So you need to have real managers that will manage those system and you know and we have to reform our system and some of us who are public policy people you know it, it hurts my head while I hear look I don't need to be an engineer to to run uh, um even um what, what you might call it I don't need to be a a, a a guru to run Ministry of Finance I don't need to be a manager yes and I'll bring all the, the expertise around and make sure I deploy them and monitor the, you know, and evaluate the outcome. Yeah, that's all you can do. So thank thank you, Ed. Let's let, let post this thing. And again, Nelson, I'm asking you, don't forget, put it in the, put it on all of our Facebook pages. When we talk about this ministry, there's a reason why we talk about them, because Liberia deserves better. We are not perfect, but as we all strive towards perfection together, we can make it happen. Let me put this up, folks. You can zoom in. You see, when you get a check, the, the green the green sound, just zoom in and just read that paragraph 130. I, I want you to just take a look. Just zoom in and read it. Take a picture. I'm not going to be in a hurry. All right? Uh, first of all, let, me read it, let me read it out because I can see it. Thank you very much. Hear it. it says, OIG found that 50 payment vouchers, totaling approximately 377000 921 supporting documentation was either missing, falsified, inconsistent, or conflicting for the reason described below. OIG found that there is no reasonable assurance that the activity 
took place or that they took place as described. Basically, that vlog, the Edipo okay, man. So hold on right there, now. That's why I want us to, we'll take it step by step. We stay here, but uh, we all of here about 7 o'clock. That will be 12 o'clock, like brunch time. So, uh, you know, we got 10 and more minutes. Am I correct? Oh, probably, probably. Yeah, approximately. Probably 10 and more minutes. So, yep. so let us work our way through this thing. Okay? You can have it. I'm not even going to postpone logo on it. Come on. Do I do? 377,921. They are saying that they falsified the document. Yep. No reasonable assurances. Nothing. No supporting document. None. Uh, can you turn off the orange phone in the office, Nelson, please? We got on a bad feedback. Nothing whatsoever. Yes. Here we are today talking about how broke Liberia is. And the people say, you oh, know why? You're suffering from malaria, HIV. You're suffering from TB. We want to help you. Thank Some you. of these documents, why are you going to speak? I want to share this with you because I sat down here and you know I, I'm I, the, the, this thing this thing is one of the worst in the history of our country. It's in the context. Context. Yeah, go ahead, my brother. Go ahead. With the exception of JFK Hospital, no hospital in the Republic of Liberia got more than three hundred seventy-seven thousand in the national budget. Let me repeat. With the exception, this is how much money these guys stole. No hospital, all the hospitals that were in Labrador, no hospital was there that got the kind of money that they bought and stole. That like, yeah, you won't play to see that money out. Like the first 50 voucher, the even yeah, but you even see everything, yeah. That no, way you can see. Was looking out. Yeah, you see everything, yeah. Some of these documents, folks, I want you to come closer when we talk about that. A little minute, Jala and no how no, no how and Dr. Kete. Oh, whoever at the Ministry of Health, we call her their name, and you'll decide. This is Joy Howard Taylor's sister. No. Something about this Joy Howard sister that you see here today, she's one of the deputy ministers. She's dead. Look at this document. When the people make all the falsification about the money coming in here and there, who made what here and there? They collected $29,138 on May 5th, 2023. That they were going into the interior to get something done. They were going to the interior of Prince Maxwell to, to, to talk about funny, funny, you know, when they want money, they they want the money. Huh? Workshop, we're going to do workshop. Yeah, we're I don't want you know, people. They say appeal to release, to release FARA, F A R A fund. Now, it's something you must understand about what took place in my Gibi. How far is my Gibi from Monserrado? Not far. But you ain't seen nothing yet. We want to help you understand. That honor Jose Yima Banka. I will send it to you. Don't screw your eye, my brother Dwadu. You that you not spying in class too much. Let me just put it in the chat room. I see you screw your eye. Is there already? Because but stay tuned. The people that are in the radio, they can't see the one. They say I want they want to in the middle of the put a year A. Really? This amount will be used to carry on the completion of full health health facilities. Where? Where facilities? Yeah. Renovation Where? of Yes, center pit. Center plates. Yes. It's in a chat it's room. It's, it's in a chat okay. room. But if you get the money, get the money, get the money, center. Authorize. Now, this is important, right? This is important. Authorize. Now, we got to talk about these different individuals that, that are involved here. When you talk about Dr. Sienna Jackson, mental, that, uh, I mean, Mr. Lasana M. Kroman, who are they to know? Who are they to the, 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 the Minister of Health? No, How is you use a revolving door to eat money? You understand that now, now this lady, she's Joe Howard Taylor, man. Nobody can get on away. Nobody can stop her. She's up there. She's the vice president's sister. This is Joe Howard Taylor. This is pure Joe Howard Taylor. You can say friend. So, but who are her games member? 
Why are they doing all these things? This is why I say we are pleased to present our compliments and respectfully appeal that you authorize the release of the amount of $29,138. Now, why they want this money? Why she approved it? And Dwight went ahead to say this amount will be used to carry on their completion. So understand now, they have taken first money. I want you to understand. So now they want to carry on the completion. They want to do first. They didn't, com they, they didn't complete the work. They're saying this amount. We carry on the completion. Chapter 3, $29,138. The Magibi County Health Tim Farah quarter three 2022 earning, which was deposited into its account. This mm -hmm. amount will be used to carry on the completion of four health mm -hmm. facilities. Four, mm -hmm. not even one. Renovation of placenta pits. Pits. Amen. Incinerators and Amen, art brother. pits, supportive administrative uh, subdivisions, and purpose and purchase a fuel for operational use. And purchase of fuel for operational use. You so see, when the people put this something up, when they said this, it was so quick. Uh, why, why she didn't sign? Why she didn't sign? Why James Fokker signed for her? Is she, okay. is she... I'm going to share with you guys the rest of the document that I have here. This, you see what they say here? Understand this here, Remy Gray. In this document, look what they say. They say, can they see a touch breakdown of expenditure plan for said funds yeah so you have another page attached and we got that okay we, we we have this i'm going to share with you guys the reason why sometimes i don't put it in the chat room because we get gibson in the chat room we can't trust gibson all right so now put it in the chat room gibson will go ahead and do something i guess you know my brother wishing well you know i'm kidding but let's get back to this thing do i do i am disappointed in the system yeah we Center, are today. How, how are you how are you disappointed the U.S. ambassador went on his ambassadorial tour of Liberia just a few months ago before election. He came back and he reported to Liberian people that there were two key sectors in Liberia. He realized that there were massive corruption ongoing in the health sector, in the educational sector. He said he went to some clinics and some schools who said they, who the budget said they had received money but when he got there, these people said, we never received no money and nobody even built nothing here. The, man, the, the ambassador came back and he reported that to Liberian people. Nobody follow up. So this is just a symptom. The symptom was sitting out right here, right? Where Senator Delon had the, 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 bear, the, the, bear money, the bear mounting hearing. We saw the same system at play, the same failure on the government part at play. When Senator Delon asked them, did you guys do monetary and evaluation of the hospital that should have been built by the concession agreement company? They said, oh, yeah, you know. So it's a, it's a same sex and service center. The government was just simply incapable and they allowed corrupt officials of the government to slip through and steal public funds. That's it. And those public funds, those, those money that was stolen, those individuals that were involved, carry high profile needs like the one you're calling consistently right now uh, you know to me um the the people that have the audacity to threaten other people that want to do good in society right. this case relates to what mr japa was saying a little bit you know that if you're trying to keep receipts or if you're trying to you know uh not falsify a document or not be inconsistent you know, they, they will say that, you know, you the good person and try to want to get rid of you. But there's something about the people who falsify documents, especially the money is not theirs. The people who are inconsistent is knowingly inconsistent. I'm not just saying unknowingly or unintentionally. Uh, the people who basically give conflicting stories to uh, make sure that the money match up or to make sure that they fraudulent, they defraud the Liberian government. You know, it, it, it bothers me a lot about the people who are responsible for this i think they should be legally liable i agree okay? because because they are responsible for long-term mental suffering 
in physical suffering for uh, uh, for Liberia. I mean, the kind of suffering that their action led to is not even measurable. We don't know how many people didn't get their medication because of them defrauding the Liberian government or taking the people the, the, the people money. We don't know how many people, how many families were worried. The mental health, the emotional worry of your family being sick. And you don't know whether they'll be better or not. Lying to the Liberian people say that they, they, they're completing a placenta pit. That's for newborn mothers, okay? What kind of babies died because they didn't have uh, somewhere to, 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 to put their placenta correctly? The, the waste product, how, what they say incinerator, incinerator is used to put medical waste, you know? How, how many people die because they put just any kind of waste product into the environment? You know, it's just, it, 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 it worries me a lot, but I hope that- see, Look, it worries all of us. Look, Yawana Jala, welcome to the show, Mama. But let me say this. Here's the thing. There's something happening in Liberia that excites me every single day. The Liberians are so eager, so eager for this developmental push that if the president, whoever governs this country, become serious about accountability in government, there will be like a storm. And for me, nothing excites me more than being alive and being able to see this, that my country can transition from this place of disgrace and shame to a place of prominence, it gives me hope. Look, we all want that thing to change. We take nyama nyama people. Those are you want correct my English, you go correct it. If you can speak better than me, can that's all. We take nyama nyama people there, eh? We get them beat beat out of them. We put them on the head. All they're doing, they're just stealing. They're just stealing. And the president zero. And the president said, "I think what I want." And the people won't want to protect the system. And the president are protecting the people there. That whole plan will get sweep in ten years and build proper institutions to govern this society it just takes one man in the executive mansion because i know the legislature cannot do this i know the courts are completely corrupt but we can make the court righteous again we can make the legislature righteous if the executive demands this but honorable Baka, if you listen to me sir and you want this country to truly change and you say you know her own dr francine runs this operation she wants true accountability in the system and i will protect her if Dr. Francine sends a message and says Dwalu is cheating and you protect Dr. Francine and you elevate her, you give her a, 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 an award for upholding the system, you will see this wave. But we don't celebrate our best and brothers, right? We celebrate people. Look, okay. do you know why Sir Jose can never win a losing in Mozzarella County? It's obvious. Not because Sir Jose is an exceptional senator. It's no. because Sir Jose does something that most people... But at least the men steal, but the men bring them to all. Tell me, any senator ever to bear role or ever to get a greater role on their salary? It's similar to what told us nobody makes more than $7,000 a month. How much you eat it before you go do something else on the side? The nonsense has to stop. Before we die, can we leave Liberia in a better condition for our children? Before we die? That's all I want. Dwalo, let's just take it back. Let me, let me just say to Liberian people, and they need to understand this. All of us need to understand this. Liberia healthcare system has now been classified as a national security threat. I will say it again. Liberia healthcare state system, the status of our healthcare system is now being classified as a national security threat. Meaning our healthcare system in the country cannot even take care of Liberians. It cannot take care of Liberia. It cannot take care of the human capital of Liberia. The system is corrupt. There is no health accountability. There is no health transparency. Dwalu, you spoke on something very, very important. We certainly need public health administrators or public health managers that will be taking over the Ministry of health and social welfare, not doctors. Doctors are meant to be in the hospital taking care of their patients. Now, you also spoke about presidential will. There is no doubt in my mind, we need massive amount of presidential will this time around. We need a massive amount of presidential will from His Excellency President-elect Joseph Waikai to be able to team down this level of corruption that have entrenched itself in our system. Not only that, we also need the incoming cabinet to be 
very, very robust and very honest in their dealings when it comes to these things. The U.S. the, the, the outgoing U.S. ambassador said it. Every time they trace corruption in Liberia, it's always traced to the legal county. They take money and say, oh, we're going to build well. We're going to build hospital. We're going to build clinic. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And when you go into the Leeward County, in the, the Leeward villages, all these people, our people, who should be benefiting, they do not have anything. And, 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 and Colonel Remy Gray said it as best as possible. The healthcare system of Liberia received the largest sum of donor funds. Why, why is it that it is not up to a level satisfactory enough for the Liberian population? Simply because we have these people that have uh, embedded themselves in the system and sucking the lifeline out of the system. Second thing, that the last, last thing I want to say about this is the, 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 the idea of uh, divesting policies in Liberia. We need to figure out how to strengthen our divesting policies. You can't have ministers and uh, directors coming into the government with businesses and they're still head of their businesses. We have to break that out. We have to separate them. If you want to become a minister, if you want to become a director, if you want to be a public servant in the government, you cannot be running a business, a private business on the side. You have to leave your business, especially at a higher level. Well, I'm about to leave. Uh, let me just give a small comment on this. And and, and I think um, um, Madam Salip was very was very effective uh, in instituting a code of conduct into action. Uh, and we have the laws on the books uh, to address some of this conflict of interest uh, in other situations. If we can only go back and revive those laws because uh, we, we all agree that this government that is going out um, violated every law, you know, on the books. Um, so therefore, uh, you know, we don't expect them to even do the, the right thing at the end at the, when they're getting out. As a matter of fact, they don't even want to be checked on those activities in the past, let alone do the right thing. So people are having a feast, a good day, you know, on the on the field, unchecked. And I think uh, uh, the incoming government should really, you see, when, when, we, when we talk about audit, people think it's, it's, um, it's, it's to address the issue of stealing. But it's more so to address the issue of accountability. And we cannot take a country over without knowing what we're taking over. Look, when... I was a, when I was a, you know, a soldier at a certain place, if we go someplace to take over a command, I want to know every single bullet that is there. You take inventory of everything. Mm -hmm. If there is one missing, I want to know why. Mm -hmm. I want to see the report leading to that one missing bullet. Mm -hmm. We don't have that system in Liberia anymore. And, and as a result, everybody comes in. They just put their hand in the cookie jar and take as much as they can grab. You know, and, and I want to believe that, you know, Ms. Ajala could be the, the center of investigation. Look, I could not be running a police force and don't, don't, don't track some of these things down. I, I'm Absolutely. telling you. Absolutely. I'll be able to, to send sting operation and catch some of this thing. Why Spoon is doing it? What? Spoon is not even a police um, a organization, but Spoon is doing it. It's not difficult to do. You just need to set the right mechanism. And, you know, in the absence of the, the police force, at, at least we get Spoon. Not because I'm on Spoon, but Spoon, spoon is doing a lot of things. That, Absolutely. That, Most that, definitely. <laughs> Most definitely. You know, that, that helping our society. And the common men, they love this. Empowering us. Yes, okay. uh, you please step for going to leave my ear. If I go leave me now, let me yes, go. Man, it needs to be yellow. If I go, leave me alone. Yeah, if I go, I'm going to put you live. Yes, you speak, yeah. Go mm -hmm. ahead, uh, Honorable Wodo Cody. Well, I spoke on, on the health issue. Oh, uh, you're asking. I didn't, I didn't know if you spoke. The makeup of the country. What, what are your overall view of the makeup of the country? What's going on right now? With our what country? is my overall view of what? 
the makeup of the country in terms of the governance process, the way it's going. How are people suffering the way it's been going with the health ministry, the money, and what they're eating free, kolo kolo. Well, Dwalu, your voice is too big. I can't understand you. <laughs> the people working out money, no doubt I wanted to make a comment. You know, to me, the hallmark of professionalism. Is... I'm understanding you, Dwalu. <laughs> you know, you got a base. I know, I know. <laughs> the hallmark of professionalism is inventory and documenting your your experience, you know, professionally. And I'm hearing in those letters that those people couldn't even do that, you know, correctly. Then how are they there? You know, how come it is taking years to for anybody to say for a spoon at least to say something? You know, are people just complacent with what is happening? Are people just enjoying the kickbacks that you know nobody wants to say anything? I mean, it is is this yeah, but Donald Richardson, right? Yes, our problem. Mm -hmm. This not only would have been a jala. Mm -hmm. It's not only you know the deputy minister Noah Howard. Though they they, they use their name and the proximity to the high high president vice president. Imagine that's the vice president's sister. Nobody can touch her. Nobody. Would have been a jala directly with. George Wanna we are in Samuel Twitter. Then the McGill, the George We are, the Samuel Twitter. You remember the COVID money? Yes, I pay so. No, you remember the you remember the, the stolen land, the stolen the, the sale of the land money in Brussels? The same thing. I remember Leo with the Brussels too. We're talking about what no, the same thing. The same thing. There's no it's the same thing, Stanton. It's the same thing, Stanton. It's the same thing. Let's deal with the health issue. Let's work out the foreign issue you're talking about. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah, every day you would bring the Brussels thing up. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Whenever we bring us something in the mail, we bring the Brussels. He won't go too much. The Liberian people need to know. But but I I am saying this. All right, Prince Maxwell. These people that were protected by President Weah. Of course. Samuel Twer. When that Nathaniel Maggie was chief of staff to the president, he protected them. The three greatest leaders in our country, President Weah, Simon Twain, and Nathaniel Miguel. Nobody can come close to Wilhelmina Jara, this woman. They will never give you a can of the COVID money. Never, ever. You open your own private account. The people talk about money that came in, money for the Liberian people, money for hospitals. They care less. So when we demand transparency, when we demand this thing, people say, hey, you're too high. No, I am not too high. The people have put out the Global Fund report, and I have asked Nelson to pull it up. Part of the Global Fund report. Look at this thing, Dwalu. Look at this one. And it's important for us to see one point something million dollars. Jesus. Look at the comment. And if we go through the breakdown, the thing that hurting people mind and pass so much that the old man is dying. 1.1 million dollars US. Total non compliant expenditure. Look at the comment. Total recommended recoverable. 1.024 million. Mm-hmm. You have to go through the office of the Inspector General for Global Fund as they report. You, you see, they say confidential letters mm -hmm. of findings. Mm -hmm. We have the entire document, folks. Corruption. Look at the amount. These people cannot account for the money for HIV, for TV, T TB, malaria. They cannot. Corruption. I would say, Oh man, but you know, Jack consider now. You know, I am man. You know, you don't want to put me out there. You, you know, that me alone, a cemetery and help who did this thing together. Corruption. Reported date November 10, 2021. HIV, TB, malaria diseases. You hear that? All contagious diseases. Yes. Yeah, people are dying, man. People are dying for this thing. 
Corruption. I don't know that stage four malaria. They almost die. Jeremiah Pankum mentioned the clinic, I mean, the hospital in Nima County with so on people like leprosy. I don't know, we still have leprosy in Liberia. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. We 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 were fed up. People we sent uh uh when we're doing our distribution, we mm -hmm. we, we, we we identify ourselves with that group. Look at the case number, the case number, look at the case number. Look at Minister of Health and Social Welfare. Mm -hmm. The Swiss Technical and Swiss Public Health Institute. Tropical Tropical and Public Health Institute. Mm -hmm. Those are the local funding agents. Mm -hmm. I mean, we Come want on. you to see this thing. We want you to understand the amount of money these people ran away with. Corruption. I know somebody will say, but Stanton, what can we do? No, Stanton, I cannot stand when you hold the president to where am I get responsible because in actuality, the buck stops with them. Yeah. As a leader, you should be able to at least, when somebody asks for money, before you approve it, give me an itemized, an, an itemized list of what you need this Ew. money for. You need to be able to critique, be a hands-on leader. And this is what I'm, 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 I see that is missing from this puzzle. They were, maybe they didn't care. You know, maybe their family members were all living in Europe or the United States. They were getting better health care than the people who are back home, our family members who are who are in need of this care. So this is why they let it go. I mean, you will not bring a budget to my office or you will not bring a, bring a, 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 a paper to me to create and you will just, it will just go like that. It will not happen. Corruption. Corruption. I mean, we 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 in refilling with everything yeah then you then you know I just don't like to I let my librarian people to understand where we're coming from yeah. when we talk about this thing and we say Jose Yima Bwaka Jose Yima Bwaka must 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 we're not asking this time the librarian people are demanding so, I mean, they are demanding he must demo democracy does not ask it agitates look. We'll give Omar Bwaka some time to take a seat, to sit down. But the people, look, Samuel Duwar says something, and I want us, all of us that are listening to think about this. How will posterity judge us? What do we say to our children? Nothing will worry me so. What do we say to our children that we, we didn't do nothing? The library see so we turn it over to you and looking war war generally. English corrector, you can call my English again. Looking war war generally. But this, this, is, this, this is just a, the tip of the iceberg. While we sit here and contemplate public policy remedies to the massive amount of corruption that's damaging our system, D. Maxwell Sarkimia is preparing 17 memes to be sent on a foreign mission. Why at the same time, why at the same time, our diplomats in the field have not paid rent for three months and they have not taken salary for three months? Mm. Imagine that. Mm. Three months they have oh, not paid rent to for us. What is Samuel Twe doing? The same, the same scenario play out in 2017, and it caused many diplomats major problems. Three months, no right. salary. Three months, no rent payment. And then the Minister of Foreign Affairs wants to appoint 17 persons in the foreign service. What kind of ministry are you are you holding? I think it's an exodus place, uh, Prince. I don't think it's so much appointment. I've yeah. said it over and over. Do not appoint anybody in the foreign service because that is not his responsibility right now. It is a transitional responsibility. It needs to go over to the next government. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs will be focused on inauguration and what has just happened in Sierra Leone. Not putting people in the foreign service. Pay the, 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 the diplomat's salary. Pay the diplomat's rent. So they can be free and respected. But the priest, they even compromise. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are you calling coming? Uh, she she got nothing to say. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm sorry. I just. I so just she said she got nothing to say. I just like. I think this was Oh, oh the guy, my man. Try to me up. Pay the diplomat's oh. rent. Pay the diplomat's salary. Come on. Stand down. I didn't Go say. Again. I didn't have anything to say. Go ahead, my man. Go ahead. Okay, I said to you previously, I've already spoken on the health ministry, unless there's something specific. But what can I just suggest something? Because the last time we had a couple of names that you gave us, Tantan, and we were supposed to uh, uh, deal with a different ministry, ministry, but I, mean, I think we were there about four, 
or five, and then we'll come back again to health, health ministry. So all the other ministries that are corrupt and contaminated to the teeth, I'm just waiting to be to to, to discuss that. You, you, you're right, man, you right, Minister Wadokali, but we can do only two, three hours on the show. Sometimes other news come in, the call breaking news. And I know we're going to go through this ministry. Okay, you are quite correct. We got to talk about them. That's why we are back to the health ministry. But what I'm seeing here is so scary. I'm about I to think... share something with y'all again. Okay. Joseph Boaka and Pleo. Joseph Yuma Boaka and put him foot down. Joseph Yuma Boaka said, We are launching a this, oh my God, decisive campaign against corruption. And wow. Joe Boaka has unequivocal the pledge to reclaim misappropriated funds. That's what I want. That's what the I bureau want. officials have brazenly devised various deceptive schemes, ostensibly in support of the impoverished or private sector, only to channel funds into political favor. Yeah. yeah. These so-called loans initiative purportedly aims at fostering businesses and job creation have instead become vehicles for patronage. Leaving the hard working citizen without employment opportunities. Hmm. My man, they probably, they probably come in, they probably come to, they probably come to change the crazy. They probably come to change the crazy out of town. Exactly. They probably come to change the crazy out of town, my librarian people. You make no mistake. Yes. That's what we want. Yes, Uncle. That's what you say. That, 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 that is why. Fraudulent loan scheme one. George Banner, we are small business proper development firm. That was a scam. Yeah, it was a scam. That course. was a scam. We didn't have ate all the money. And then they put Two. that into another job. He That's ate true. all the money, gave fictitious names, book up. Uh, 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 but uh, I'm going to listen. Let me just 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 James Cody, Manage Finance Ministry, Private Sector Development Initiative. PSDR. It was managed by James Cordy. That's the worst one that, that that's the place Cemetery used to go and play with the librarian people money. That PSDR. Cemetery had no oh, restriction. Okay? He had no restriction on that. Robert L. Johnson, 30 million direct investment in Liberia. Mill Jones, profited doctor. 5 million loan scheme managed by foreign ministry, Mr. D. Maxwell Kamaya. That's your place, Ms. Maxwell. Of course, of course. That's your place. Yeah. Of course, that's the reason why the, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs needs to be with it needs to be looked at with Kum. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs needs to be looked at with Kum. There are look, listen, Stanton. There are very hard working ambassadors in the foreign service, and there are corrupt ambassadors in the foreign service. There are ambassadors who are also corrupt and also participating in politics in Liberia. When the Ministry of Foreign Affairs stated clearly in its handbook and guidance that no ambassador should interfere in a domestic affair of the country because you're an ambassador. And some ambassador went on a campaign trail. The government need to weed them out. Of course. Because they broke the law. They're, they're not professionals. And these you people got photos all over the internet. You know what making the people mad? What making Global Fund mad? When Global Fund gave the first grant in 2004, $24.3 million. This thing was signed in Chicago. When they gave that $24.3 million in 2004, the people trusted the system then. And you guys can go ahead and check it out. It was done that uh, Jeremiah Wright. And uh, when they came together in Chicago, that uh, White Taker, they all said honor Obama, but they began to understand that something stupid was happening. When they started giving money to the African nations and they came across, they called the nation Liberia. When the people gave them money, coming to Joe, we are government, they said, well, we get free money. People were trying to fight against HIV fight against TB, tuberculosis. They were trying to fight against malaria that is so worse in our country because our country demographic. The people went after us. They gave us money. Joy, we are saying, well, we can eat the money. Go back and follow the story of Wilhelmina Jana. Her mother was a nurse. Go back and read her story. Oh, decent woman. The people in the family begin to understand, but we don't know what happened with Wilhelmina Jana. 
We don't know what happened with the middle general. Then you are right, Maxwell. You took the vice president's sister. Then what about Dr. Kete? Who is he? Dr. Kete. Let him at the Minister of Health. You can't leave anything up. So I want to ask the question. Here comes Joseph Yema Bwaka trying to find his minister. Bam, Minister of Health. And the name where the middle Jara is influenced, you are keep her. The name, Noah, how are influence you should keep her. The name, Dr. Keter influence you should keep him. The name in front of you, you name them. Let's go down the line. What will Liberian people say? Keep them. See, Which one of them? They don't expect to be there. They don't expect to be there. They don't expect to be there. They themselves recognize that. I mean, they recognize it. They don't expect to be there. Liberians who are in, in America willing to come and serve their country. So Absolutely. They don't have to keep these corrupt people. They don't have to keep them. Look, 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 ma'am, ma 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 let me say something to you. Me, I'm going to tell a brain post straightforward. This is not personal. This is professional. I left the embassy of the Republic of Liberia in Belgium four years ago, so I have nothing against anybody. Isaac Yenabo left his post in Belgium and went to Liberia to go and campaign for George Weir when the Ministry of Foreign Affairs regulation is that no ambassador should get involved in the domestic affairs of Liberia. Stay in your post. He paid his way and went to Grand Jire. There are pictures on the site of the, the minute of the, 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 the executive mansion. He was there welcoming George. We are in his country. He's not sitting there in Brussels doing his job. I will say this to the pictures. I've, I've given the pictures to, to, to Spoon TV. Now, in that, go and look at Liberia uh, uh, international trade with Belgium. Since 2015, it has diminished. Why should we keep a man as an ambassador like that here? When I work with a diaspora, in Belgium, have complained to the government of the Republic of Liberia for nearly seven years that this man is not qualified to be in this position here. That the big, the, the bad just we are government taking out of here. Nobody cared. And then we worry about investors going to Liberia. We worry about people not have Liberia like, having attraction. These people violate the laws of Liberia, like they don't even care about it. Look, it, it needs to stop. It yeah. needs to end. I want people got to uh, people got to say back home. They say I have home. nothing against that gentleman, but it needs to end. Somebody in like brush go up spine and say, you know what? We are tired, Isaac. There are too many people that have come to us and told you are a bad leader. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has to record on these things. I beg you, let's talk about let's talk about this other data. <laughs> okay? It's very important. They are all at the Ministry of Health. Dr. Robert Koto Webb, they own the Meth Link Clinic. Okay? All these people that own their own clinic. Of course. Because I'm, I'm kind of confused. They're from businesses. They're money laundering outfits. That's all they are. They're outfits. I, I'm, I'm really, really confused as to all of your own. That, how you will run the cleaning and uh, how you will run the hospital? How you will do this thing for the Liberian people? You know, I'm not joining JFK. Let me, let me break it down for you. When the people get out, small malaria, draw the men steal all the go put it in a clinic. End of story. The people go, they hold the position for personal benefit. And then at the expense of the look, you can smear JFK from the mean role. The last thing that place is. For the mean role? Yeah. You know what they got looking for me say? If he's still red, because that's people looking for me say, JFK right behind you can smear JFK from there. So no, so, no, 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 no. I, I'm serious in the mama. I don't smear JFK from over there. That place no, 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 no. the much worry is that you for shooting, right? No, but I just want to correct you on that point. I'm I always going to JFK. My kids were here for America. They spent four years at least to go to JFK. Even though they steal all the drugs and everything, but from the time they renovated JFK is not clean. 
my aunt just passed away there the other day. They clean the last day. The clean. The 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 um the intensive war is clean. Even upstairs, they're trying their best. Yeah, but but but, but Minister, like, Minister, Minister, they don't have the drugs. Minister, what are you Minister, what are you calling? Minister, what are you calling? Do I know your friend? Oh, you are Minister again? No, I'm not Minister. 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 I'm yeah. Mistress? No. <laughs> ah, but you, <laughs> you see how the woman get people out of me? I said, Minister, she said, no, I'm going to say, Mistress. All right, Samora, ma. Let me call you Samora, ma. But let's yes. do this. Do I do? Yeah. That your nose. But my, my man. Let me my nose is still a burger king that were two, two miles away from me. Hey. That, um, that, 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 that Samora, ma, nose. So I don't blame you. Listen, the me building. To the road, it's, it's probably 500 feet, maybe a thousand yeah. feet at the most, right? From the main road all the way yeah. to JFK. I was born in that hospital. I don't play. Uh, oh, I'm, 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 I've been there even tomorrow. I'm, I'm going there. I want to stay. I want to stay. There oh. were families. I'm always there. The place that thing. No, no, I'm maybe they don't clean it now, but there were families. Maybe when crying. you are in Liberia, but it's clean, it's been clean for a couple of oh, years now. It's clean. Tango. The only thing is that they will ask you to buy a company. Yeah, they were family complaining. But BFK is clean. I don't want to lie. Uh, there were uh -uh. family complaining that the people died there. And they, 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 but there were families yeah, complaining that somebody died there when they came into the mall, the body were getting ratty. Sometimes they had to bury them in more They couldn't take them by the interior. We were hearing all those cases. If they don't feel the S bower, they weren't put it there by that good thing for all. But JFK, I know from 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, these places were it was smelling so bad. You could stay in right uh, But I'm telling you, now they don't face it, no problem. Now, it's clean. My kids were here for four years. I brought them in for America so they can learn the culture. And yeah. they were here for four years. That was the only place they went. And up to now, I still go to the visit people. So your children had learned the culture for there. four years. So, so, the place so, so your children, that's what you say. Your, your children learned the culture for four years. You think now they don't know Liberia culture. <laughs> no, <laughs> they don't know And they keep you willing to come back. They, they love Liberia. <laughs> but let's go ahead, know. folks. We want to say thank you for joining us again. We wish uh, our sister Alia and Prince a uh, happy, happy 25th wedding anniversary. We want to oh, say it's a good thing that they are celebrating a wedding anniversary in some part of Africa. We also like to say today is Bobby Boston birthday. The 28th of November, we want to say Bobby Boston, happy, happy birthday to you. All those of you that celebrating birthday, wedding anniversary, whatever your case may be, we wish you well. We can go into this thing, but whenever I ask Nelson, please put all the documents on Facebook. Nelson holds some back. So I'm telling you, let Nelson put this thing on Facebook for you can, so you can see it. These documents are damaging. These documents are one of the worst things ever. The people are reporting. <laughs> uh, you see, if I'm gonna say you that with a minute jala friend, that what if I'm gonna say it to you, uh um Madam Yeah. Uh, no, I, 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 no uh, look, I'm a Christian. No, 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 I, I you want me to truth. pass a message to you. That's all right. I will say the truth. I will not but, lie when but, there's no I'm I'm not gonna no. I will just say it like it is. That's but, it. But, but, that but guys, jala is not my friend. But when she does wrong, I would say, of course, they have squandered the people's money. Have eaten it. Yeah, but they took a lot. Yeah, yeah, that they took a lot. And, and let me say this to everybody. This is a sad time in our country. But there stays hope. We are very hopeful. We are hopeful because Liberia will be better. We are hopeful because thank God that mm -hmm. Joseph Yima Barker is not who George Mano we are is. Joseph Yima Barker is the man. Every day when you talk to him, you feel encouraged. He empower you. He talk mm -hmm. about Liberia. He said, think Liberia, love Liberia, build Liberia. And the people believe in that message. Yeah. And the people would, look, listen, Jeremiah Kuhn, Jose Yima Baka, they will fight a good fight. 
And, and, and I had a conversation with it. Jeremiah. Had a conversation with Jeremiah Kuhn today again. Yesterday we talked. Jeremiah Kuhn, hair just getting just all over the place. He said, "Still, no, we got a lot to do. Do we have a lot to do?" He said, "I have to drop. I have to drop these things. But I got to take myself from the shadow of Senator no more and do the people's work." That's the vice president elect. He said, I want you to hold me with He said, Stinton, I want you to go on the show and say, Jeremiah Kuhn did this and did that. I want you to hold me responsible and call me. Doru, Jeremiah Kuhn said, call me. When people say, Jeremiah Kuhn do X, Y, and Z, call me, I will come and speak. He's the, he will be the people's vice president. We pray for it. He will not hire himself. He will not go in the or pass your home. We will look for him. That's what the leader does. I spoke to him yesterday. I spoke to him today. He is saying, Stanton, if you feel that it is why let's call me, let help the Labyrinth people understand. The man is moving crazy. Jeremiah couldn't get two cell phones, three cell phones. But he will make himself available for the Labyrinth people. Look at Joseph Yima Bwaka. He said, nephew, what I get to gain about Liberia? I eat my small rest, I do the people business. I personally asked JMB, will you fly private jet? He said, I'm private jet and the other jet can take you to the same place. I said, yeah. <laughs> I hear right there. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why are you right? I said, and private jet and the other, and the other plane said B. I said, yeah, he said, I let B plane. And would tell me that, yeah. <laughs> hey, get amazing. How you doing, man? Because you're going to spend all the money on private jet. Then you go beg for money. Then the people see you with private jet that you pay yeah. for. Yeah. Now, what sense that make? That's nonsense. <laughs> Probably love his joke. He wants to see things done. People are angry. Oh, you know what? There's that. No, he will go. It's not West Hunt, Dwaru. It's not West Hunt. <laughs> and it's not West Hunt. He will tell the Labyrinth people everything. Some, you know what? Let me let me give this information quick. I wanted to hold this back because if I don't say I should hold it back, but I would not. You know what CDC planning? Because it's getting close to home now. Today is the 28th. They are hiring here yeah, dead at the business. Joe, we're not check up from them. That feeling. <laughs> they want to bring the high employment. Yeah. And they say, oh, Joseph Bwaka, I ain't get money to pay. You get money to pay. It's seven. It's yeah. seven seven. That's yeah. what they want to do. They want to bring the high employment. Look at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Look what I heard today. Even a uh, uh, man, a uh, girl. Ten to nothing, easy fix. That's not half fix. Anybody high over the last 12 yes, months? Yes, it's not a half 17 fix. persons, hmm. 17 person additional. Kimia well, wants to send in the foreign you service. You're not even qualified, you're not even being properly you know vetted. Happening? You know what happening right now? And NPA, they're yeah. hiring a lot of people there too in all the places. Yeah. Maritime, yeah. all over, they're putting their people. So you know what happening right high. now? At the embassy, yeah, there's no heat. You know that it's cold right now, right? On the east of coast. Of course, of course. There's no heat. There's no heat at the embassy in Washington, DC. I say, y'all go there. No heat. The ambassador come here and say he get money. But all the money that the generator, the they send it to him. Money. They send it to him. The deputy chief of mission does not also have heat during the of winter. Course. The of deputy course. chief of mission. Of course. You know, when we're saying the same people say, but why are you going back? I'm going back because we want to hold Joseph Yiman Bwaka responsible. That he can hold those people responsible yep. for destroying yep. our country. He will order them. To pay bills. My swear, come here, yeah. They my swear, come here, my swear, uncle. This prince, my swear, uncle. Yet and still, he want to bring him all his family members, all his friends. He want to True. hire them. He want to put True. them home. He want to talk True. about this. It will not True. happen. If you not go possible. There, we, will, we will take it from there. Not possible. It will not happen. It will not happen. You know, he needs, as I said, he needs to stop. He needs to stop. He needs to halt that appointment. It is not his time. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs needs to be liberated. We are tired 
former diplomats and current diplomats are tired of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs having the baddest reputation in Liberia, selling passport. No heat. No heat. No payment. We tire. We need a good minister. When you have when you have people now seeking to be minister for minister of health, let me say this to you. People think that because they're from Lofa, they can go and be minister of health. We say our own rule. We dig behind you and we dig in your record. We tell the Liberian people who you are. Because it is important. You can be from Grand Gida, you can be from Bomi, you can be from Maryland, you can be from Mozarado, anywhere in Liberia. You can even come from Ghana, and you won't be a health minister. We said this to you. We know your record. You cannot own your own private clinic and go be minister of minister of health. And you also, cannot own your own private hospital and do so. No, not it should not even happen. No, it should not happen. It's it's it's, it's bad. I, I'm serious. I'm telling you. And but I want to appreciate my fellow Liberians. These people are fighting because they want to see the best part of Liberia. They are sharing this information because they want to see the best part of Liberia. So you know what the people then doing this in Duadu? The directors and ministers, they close in the office with two different keys and locks. They the set win their own key, but then they already get all the documents. Patrick Sudo, mad at hell. How are we getting the information from the Liberian National Police? He's still sending email out. They stay taking people phone. They stay asking a guy a question. Patrick Sudo say, "How spoon get all this information?" Patrick Sudo, you send it to us. You send it to us. So I want to say to my fellow librarian, thank you for joining Spoon this 28th day of November 2023. We appreciate you. We love you. We will do everything by the grace of God to tell you the truth. Nothing but the truth, so help us, oh God. But, but, but Stanton, imagine this. Stanton, imagine yeah, this. Okay. You sat down there. You sold a diplomatic property. You aided and facilitated a diplomatic property sale. And then you come out wrong behind this. No, no, seriously, so, so imagine this. And then you come out wrong behind this government. It was my one in this. Then I no, saw it, was, it was Isaac Yenemo. It was him. It was him. He facilitated oh, the entire process. How can okay. she oh. sell the embassy? Hey, That's the point. Hey, Mama. That's the point. Mama. Mama was deputy foreign minister. You remember when they saw oh, that yeah, property? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Hey, minister Wodokar, you get it, tired. Please. And then you say you want, you want, you, you want, you want, you want work with, a, you, you want work with, a, with, a, with a new government because what you feel? No, account for the sale of the land and the corrupt practices in the embassy. I'll tell you something right now, the message, the message you want for the new government? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting all kind of information. The men running behind everybody right now. Yeah, everybody yeah, begging them. The brave people will never agree to that. Never okay. agree to that. Oh, uh, Nelson, can you bring in, uh, begging, can you bring in the minister that will beg him, Prince Johnson, cry and say he wants a job back, Nelson? Before we trying to do our closing, I think we have it here. <clears throat> Nelson, you got it? That's very good. Bring him in. Yeah, now. Nelson, not there. You going? Um, you going to eat? No, you going in the. Okay. Hey, you want to have a restaurant? You going in the restaurant? Listen, the issue of which one must be spoken to. I will do it in my closing. Go ahead, Mister Dwalu. Oh, I'm a close. <laughs> you say you want to do your closing? Go ahead. Oh, uh, the oh, no, you want, you... I'm trying to show the video, Mr. Duadu. Oh, okay. I have, be, be I have two videos I want to show, but okay. I want you to say something. It's important for us to show this video. That's good. Why are you looking Yeah, let's just take a quick commercial. Let's celebrate this woman 20, 25th okay. wedding anniversary. Okay. Salute you. They were cool, but I you knew. They also had a time I went to where you still stood. By me, you never look down on me, so I got you. KZW, remember the time I was up in You used to call my dry rail with my kettle. They only season that you have when they make it tell you my number one juice. Help me where you back, hold me way back, so I'ma hold you now. Nah, 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 yeah. You love me way back.
Come and worship with us at Global Impact Ministries International, where the nations gather to worship. In search of a church where there is integrity, accountability, excellence, opportunities with pastoral care, and the fear of God? Well, then come and worship with us. Global Impact Ministries International is located at 801 McDade Boulevard, Collingdale, Pennsylvania. Global Impact Ministries International is a place of worship and spiritual growth for you. Come and join us on Sunday for our divine worship service at 1030 a.m. to 1230 p.m. Also, on Tuesdays, there's Bible study at 7 p.m. And Thursday, there's a power night service at 7 p.m. For more info, call 612-702-2418 or 215-594-9103. Also, you can email us at globalimpact 777 USA at gmail.com. Come and be blessed. Thank you very much. Thank you, folks. Again, want to be grateful to God. That's the commercial for tonight. The last play of those commercials. I want to play this, which is important. But Duardo, I want you to see this. We followed this story a few weeks back. Hmm. Um, oh, Tango. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know how far you're going to go, but it yeah. is important oh. that we discuss it. Uh, criminally accused lawmaker, bond representative, Mevin Cole. Did he win? with crime and we can hear you Duaru. so oh. you want to speak on this briefly Duaru. this guy during the election period he did a lot of stuff and now they are saying they're charging him mr cole has been doing this for the entirety of his tenure at the legislature this is not the first case this is not the second case it's happening over and over he's used his position to literally go after people in Bond County where he represented. So I don't know why it took the police so long. It This is the same thing we talk about every single day in our country. But since I don't want to do on Marvin Cole, hopefully the police follows this through. It's coming to park. I won't speak about the issue of wish hunt. And this is important to me because you mentioned the issue of wish hunt. But remember, the Miami telling you, say they're doing wish hunt. They are using a bad thing. They wish hunt mean witchcraft. Hmm? When witchcraft eating your children, the money was the favor after the witchcraft eating. They, they roll in witchcraft, eat the money. When the witchcraft, you're not supposed to run beyond the witchcraft. When you run beyond witchcraft, that good thing. The reason why they call themselves witch that some, that good thing you must run beyond witchcraft. That don't wish on. Wish on a good for la bureau. They think where you can be taking with play, play, play. Our children ain't dying. Then we want to say that we say, oh, we don't want to make Peter Paul the feed bar. So we want to say that all of all. You got to run beyond them. If you run beyond your children, they will die. I was from a girl who began who would join this one my brother began Zogo. That when you want so I mean, I rather than run behind the waist crowd, eh? They did not run behind the waist crowd, eh? The waist crowd, I'm gonna run behind it. They're not bad to you, that Gucci. That one, I won't tell you. Wish on that Gucci. <laughs> so, wait, uh, so, so you say that bad thing. Okay. That Gucci. That Gucci. All right. So, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's try to get this. I'm, I, I, it's nothing back because he got a video. You know, I had a thought about. uh representative Cole that they just uh you just showed yesterday on the show uh we had representative mensa on the show and i'm you know she, i'm glad that she's a female representing a district she appears to be doing well for her district but i remember her saying something that kind of sat with me all night that just because a representative is elected that means that they are doing well in the district and she didn't think that she needed to be uh, district watch. I think that was the word that she used, and I, I I couldn't understand what she meant. That's why I asked, "What does she mean?" This is a classic example of why you need to keep your your colleagues accountable. Marvin Cole was getting elected. He was in the house with her, but see what he did. Somebody needed to check him. Somebody needed to evaluate what he was doing, and to bring it to light. And this is why, just because a representative is being elected. That does not mean that they're working in the best interest of the people. So I, oh, I wanted to say about that. 
And I would do our closing. I can do my closing as well. No, I ain't gonna say your own. Oh, okay. Well, I so was gonna. You, go ahead you want to... Okay, go ahead. You're not closing, though. Huh? I close out, Dweezo. Let me start when I got it close. Yeah. Then okay. we go. Who you ask it? You ask yourself. <laughs> Okay, something that caught my okay, heart. Yes, well, the best, I'm sorry, man. So, what it Thursday would be Jose Ima Baka birthday. Yo, you ain't yeah. talking about it. Fool me. Yeah. Okay, we're saying birthday treat on Thursday. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the puppy um, looking sharp. It's meeting today. You are looking so sharp. Yeah. Hey, imagine a big meeting, Mr. So what call it? Uh, sorry, sorry. Or uh, Samara Ma. Sorry. Let me say this. I, 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 imagine. <laughs> Imagine, yeah, she said I'm a girl, Samarama. <laughs> I'll get a, I'll get a Omaha town on this show. Everything. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> but listen, though, this is what happened, folks. Say what you want to say. Something about Jose Yuma Baka. They're probably looking so sharp. I beg you, I got to show the picture. I have to. And I hope that the Richard Singh can see very clearly today. This oh is the best Lord. Please put your glasses on. I hope that the richest see and everybody out there can see very clearly. Then we we'll sing the song. I can see. I like, I like the glasses. Now. The rain is gone. Look at this picture. Look at this picture. President elect Joseph Yima Baklokbo Bwaka Keke. President elect. He met the delegation for the United States Embassy. Look at this picture. Look at his vice president. Look at the chairman. You, 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 I want you to just imagine. This is what George Bernard we said he missed a lot. Do you remember? He was speaking. He said, this is the thing I would miss. The presidential gathering where people can't see you. But Joseph Yuma Baga is on a mission. Whether you black, you white, you Indian, you Hispanic, wherever you are, he will welcome you and do it in the interest of Liberia. He will do it because imagine he wants to leave something behind. Now, when you hear the name Bwaka, you say yes, one of Liberian greatest president. They had a very close up meeting, very clean clock meeting. So this is not a joke, folks. This is not a president that will run away for 48 days. Dr. Richardson, I know you get your glasses on. You are seeing the transformation right now. You are feeling, you, listen, you feel good when you see a good person that has the country at heart. You feel so damn good. You can sleep in peace. I was speaking to some people. They said, "What do we get full? We get full. We are so happy, and we're going to bed in peace <clears throat> because we know we have hope. There is always hope for the hopeless. He will never leave Liberia. Neither will he forsake Liberia for forty-eight days. He will never turn his back on his people." Jose him my boy as a nephew, I want to go to bombing. I want to just, you know, go on my farm, oh, my wife, bombing my wife and myself. It, it's ever He's not going to Dubai for 48 days. What are the men going to do to Dubai? If you see Jose Yima Bwaka in Dubai, it's to bring goodies to Liberia. Not 50 billion carbon deal, because you know that was a lie. I've been to that house in bombing. A quiet area. So if you look at Joseph Yuma Bwaka, you feel so damn good that Liberia have come to a place that folks can recognize the country called Liberia. Everything you see, you see that which is right because Liberia deserves better. Better, better. I, I mean, let me just do my closing. Because I feel so good. 
<laughs> After drinking my pepper soup and eating my rice and butter, I feel so good that we have come to a place and we say we're proud to be a Liberian in our life. We, we, we feel so good that when you talk to your leaders, you feel encouraged. And when you leave from me, friend, you say, damn, I didn't understand anything. Not a leader say, go ask the finance minister. I cannot speak to it. Not, Not a leader say, go ask the youth and sport minister what loose I can win a game and what our page is so bad off. Not a leader that will tell you, say, go ask the health minister why there is no medication in the hospital and clinic around the country. You should know why. And that's why we are very, very grateful to God that we fought with everything in us. Everything. We fought. We killed the Goliath. Yes, sir. We said we come against you in the name of the almighty God, the God whom you have defied this day. That on this day, you will recognize there's a God in Liberia. That on this day, you will recognize that the God of Liberia sleep not. I want to say thank you for falling spoon. John spoon every day and understand this is your station. This is your network. They have tried to fail. They will try, they will fail. God has set a table before you in the presence of your enemies. They will live to see Labro rise. They will live to see Labro become a better place. They will live to see Labro that the children will not sell toffee and bread and water between cars. If they need to be in school, they will be in school. Thank you. Thank you. They will live to see it. I look at my 12 year old. The man come from school. He got computer. The boy know the internet. He know how to move. Like your children. Even my my, my, my 11 month old grandson, the picking know how to put his own TV on the on the on the, on the, put your own show on the on the TV. Go look at that Richard's grandson, the picking know how to dance his own music. Then I was babies 10, 11, 5, said he said, buy your candy between cars. Why they should be in school, after school program. And gender minister care less. When you ask the parent, but we get it, we got to go hustle. You think the mom get job, the pa get job, the children go to school and daycare. You think they will send the children to go hustle? Now what do I do say? We got to invest in the people. And we got to hold the government responsible. But God is alive. And God will see you through. I rest for tonight. I want to say thank you. Let God bless everybody. We will be back again tomorrow. Trust me, it's getting bad out there. It's getting bad because we'll be saying the truth, the truth that people need to hear. And thank God that Dwaru spent six days, five or six days on vacation. I don't know what he was doing, though, but I'm telling <laughs> you, I know. I want to say thank you to Honorable Jamama Watercoli, uh, former Deputy Minister of the Commerce. I want to say thank you. Now she's a private citizen doing her own business. One day she will tell us about exactly what she's doing for us to promote it. Thank you very much, Jamama Wodekori, all your support. I want to say thank you, the good friend, the nephew to D. Maxwell Kamaya, Prince Maxwell. I want to say you're welcome, <laughs> Prince. Uh, we, we appreciate you on this show. <laughs> <laughs> well, so thank you to the doctor. That's a special person, Chinua Richardson. We want to say thank you, Mama. It's good to have every one of you. We made our brother Fagon today. He's somewhere eating some Ghana food. He couldn't be here. We made Gibson Jerry. We wish him well. You know, he was in well. Mommy will be back tomorrow. And every migrant had to go for class. We are grateful that Fadika is, he has left probably Liberia. He's on his way to the United States, or he will be leaving. We wish him well. To all of our team, Madam Titi Khan, the CEO, Damon Slanger, Nelson Kolai, uh, Yeke Z, Aaron Kuben, the entire network staff, we want to say, we love you all, Liberia, love you best. Folks, it's important for us to announce. If you go for your rest tomorrow, please, 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 the rest is yours. Do not, do not want to try to cut circuit in the line.
that my brother let you can stay in for me no be patient the weather is good go in there with your phone they call your number you get your back arrest you leave 250 bags we want everybody to be there madam titi is announcing the distribution from the rest will start at 11 a.m 11 a.m please don't go there six o'clock in the morning 11 a.m everybody will start getting the rest <coughs> then online if the 250 people finish don't worry those names that were not called you come back saturday you have another 250. if that other 250 finish don't worry you will come back monday and wednesday again of next week because the foundation those in the diaspora giving 1100 back arrests so please be patient it is yours don't worry about it be patient to our group of 77 you don't need to go to the station those that are in lprc on lprc road you don't need to go madame tt the truck will take your food to you thank you to everybody that comes to the future. we love you but jesus love you the best it's time for us to help our fellow liberian thank you folks i am done I'm going back to drink my pepper soup. Thank you. Sage Mama, do your quick closing. One minute each. You can go. Well, I wonder if I stand at the beer where I'm doing my, my closing, but since it's not here. He's right there. Oh. <laughs> He's always I'm doing this stay thing. loud He's and clear so you can hear it. Because for me, I'm the kind of person who would like to just put the dots, the T, cross the T and everything. Yesterday, my nephew, Stanton Willerspoon, was brave to tell his aunt that, oh, y'all ran here two months to the election. You, Fatima, and they. And I went with Lana at this field. I said, I will set for him. I will deal with him decisively tomorrow. So I'm going to deal with him now. Like, people, you listen. Then my nephew stand on with us from here. He need a help. We want man to call uh, 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 Jerun. That man can complete the me for every day. Oh, oh man, let him move Jerun. Let him move Jerun. When I heard the man, they started talking about JMB. Oh, JMB came up with JMB. I said, ah, why the man will be talking that kind of thing? We got to win election. I got to go help. Y'all like, listen to me, market with me. All the young boys listen to me. I said, I got to go help my nephew stand on with us from and the other people, and the other people, and they are diplomat. And you see, Prince, that diplomat. Dr. Richard saying she diplomat. So I said, I mean, stand on God here. Be more, we can get talking straight, 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 we can not here. So I can't no help you. Oh, yesterday, you told me, say, y'all can't have two months at a time. Y'all know JMB will win. No, I want to tell my nephew. When I was running in Tupelo, all the market women they know me. I went to plenty fee market. They know me, they hear me right now. I went to FDA, called 540, way beyond, and uh, 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 what you call it, FDA Hill. Then I went to where? Uh, Dupo Road Market. One by one, from one table to another, I was running campaign. I didn't have to come and tell my Uncle Joseph, I'm running campaign for you. I told them, you ain't vote for me, but I'm going to vote for the papi. I'm going to vote for JMB. And they were dance. They said, my daughter, you're on the right track. So we all been doing what we have to do, small, 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 small. Until I decided when Jerome started doing the thing to my uncle, I said, No, I gotta go help Stanton. Now, the reason why I came, that the reason why I came running back, I used to be on spoon before, but I left because I'm busy with a project. So I came running back to help my nephew. Then my nephew go put it in my face. He said, I only had two more. I see them before I came. No, I wasn't talking to you. I think, I think I'll I'll talk to I was talking to Dr. Richardson and Fatima, not you. He said, if Dr. Richardson and Jemama King, two months before the time, and Fatima King are talking for Fatima. I'm talking for Dr. Richardson. I'm talking about Amarakone. I'm talking about. Uh, 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 we came late. But the kind of work we did in the background, it was sufficient to make him win. Everybody in Liberia, yeah, all of our day work. Yes. But Stanton was here talking, 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 talking. I said, let me go help you. Oh, then I can be B more yeah. or a B in He said, I can't two more. My boy, I listen. I power making make it today. I can't two more. No, and there wasn't about you. And 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 Jamama, not you. I just telling you. If you hear your name, I take it back. Ente, 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 I take it back. Not you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, hi. Thank you, my nephew. I will hear you. Here. Joe, where are you? Wasting time, and I hear you. That me will hear you. Thank you. Thank you. 
I beg you, Mama. I owe oh, you. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. That you take it by my heart, go down. And yeah, yeah, and the flower finish with my people. It's really, Then I bought my gay women. Everybody in <laughs> Liberia, the flower finish between me and my nephew. Yeah, oh, honestly, Lana. Okay, oh, so the let flower me... finish. Thank you. All right. Now All right. So let me <laughs> let, let me close. Let me close mine. Uh, to the Spoon Network audience and to Liberian people. Uh, some of you said my voice was a little bit loud because I was passionate about that. I'm sorry about uh, my voice elevating because it was very passionate. It's something that I lived through, but it's not personal anymore for me. It's professional. We're talking about the issue of corruption here. Most of the generation that live in Liberia today suffer or have been suffering because of corruption. The quality of life in Liberia has been reduced because of corruption. The government standard has been diminished because of corruption. And it continues to plague our nation. I said here yesterday that when you go to the international partners, when you meet our international partners, and you look at all of the statistics around Liberia, there are two constant that is always there. Liberia is a poor, one of the poorest countries in the, in the world and one of the most corrupt country in the world. It will not be of service for me if I sit on this privileged network and I don't talk about corruption. And it will not do Stanton any good if it doesn't encourage the consistent provocation that corruption has brought to Liberian people and lash at it. I thank Stanton and Spoon Network for giving all of the panelists that have been here, even before me, the opportunity to lash at corruption because it has damaged our society. We want Liberia to be better so that Liberia can be better for our children. It is not personal, it's nationalistic. To those who are going or may want to go to meet many people in the diplomatic service, go and ask them, they will tell you, Things are not okay there for them. Right now, as I speak to you, they have not received three months rent. They have not received almost three months salary. And these people are living in foreign lands, serving their country. And believe me, their service to country is no joke. If they are put out of their homes, it's a disgrace on us, each and every one of us Liberians, not just on them. We need to protect them because they are serving us. They are very, very, very good ambassadors in the foreign service. And they are bad ones in the foreign service. They are ones that are there will do anything because they don't care about the nation. They care about themselves. And I know one of them, and I call his name Isaac Yenebo because I know him. I work with him for five years, so I know the person he is. The government that is coming, His Excellency Ambassador, Blackers government need to investigate the sale of the diplomatic land in Liberia, I mean, in Brussels. The Senate of, of Foreign Relations Committee need to join the government in investigating why that land was sold in the first place. And all those who are involved in the sale of the land need to be investigated and recalled immediately because of that. That was a corrupt act. It did not go through PPCC. So we need to make sure that we end corruption by making sure that we stop these kind of people from doing the wrong. The diaspora community here do not want his representation anymore. And the government, like the voters in Liberia, need to listen to their people in the diaspora and make changes. Please, it is incumbent upon the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to adhere to the principle that it stands for. Mr. Minister, please do not appoint the 17 people that we are hearing you trying to appoint. It's wrong. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Father Francine. I have three uh, things to discuss today. But first of all, I'd like to say that it was an informative show today. Uh, I think the theme that ran through uh, the LRA uh, presenter and the information that we provided by the Ministry of Health um, has serious implications for all Liberians. Uh, there was a theme for stealing, uh, justice, integrity, and 
collecting revenue to uh, improve Liberia. And we can see that if we were doing the right thing, collecting uh, adequate revenue, places like uh, our embassy in Washington, D.C. will not be suffering to pay their rent. And oh, I mean, I'm sorry, not to pay their rent, but suffering to, to pay their heat bill um, and not rendering service to Liberians. Uh, and this is just an indication that, you know, this senior business affect all of us. Is you know, even when you're not in Liberia, here we are all the way here. What if I want to go get my password renewed? Who am I going to talk to? Who will answer the phone in Washington D.C.? So I think this is every one of us business uh, corruption, stealing, uh, the engine massive embezzlement, squandering. All of those things are very important to us. Um, the other message that I want to talk about is the international um, community. You know, I, I, sometimes I have mixed messages about this uh, organization like Global Fund. In 2004, you are giving us money. You are eating the money. And you continue to give us money. So why? You know, I, 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 I'm begging to know the reason why. I want us to look at this whole issue of what are they getting out of giving us all this money and you know we keep on stealing it i'm not saying that they shouldn't give us money because it helps bits a little bit you know but the people steal the money secondly when they see the money it looks bad on us liberians again because who will want to come and give us money what well, international organization will look at the report from global fund or when global fund uh mark us as you know people who are corrupt who's gonna want to come to Liberia to give us money. Um, lastly, I know, uh, Stanton, I like your passion and your faith and, you know, your your hope that you have and everybody else's hope that you have in the president like Bokai. I think, you know, it's very helpful for all of us Liberians to, to be very, um, like elated right now about this current government, one of the things that I believe that all of us have in common is that President President Weah is gone and he was definitely bad for Liberia as we have pointed out several times. However, I would like to see more, less of some of the flowery statements because you know, he's gonna track money down. He's gonna, uh, you know, uh, get more money from people who are stealing and all of those things. I want to see timeline and specific ways that he's going to get a, go about getting our money back from the people who stole our money. I, I, I'm and maybe I'm jaded or maybe I'm biased because I've seen a lot of these speeches. Personally, we I was very good at telling people <laughs> what does she think and how does she feel. Other God, other uh, uh, presidents were very good in giving Liberian fire speeches, but at this point, I want some hands-on specific measurable timeline of how the implementation of collecting money from these people who are stealing from us will go and what will be done to them. I, I'm sure that will come in due time. Um, lastly, I want to speak to Liberian women. You know, uh, some people say you make up 49% of the population. Some people say you make up 50% of the population. But all in all, Liberian women are very important to the success of Liberia. I'm talking to you because I know you have done things for our country. You know, when our country is going bad, you have stood up. You have risen up to the test of time, Liberian women. I, Liberian women, sometimes when I think about you, you remind me of Esther in the Bible, and I want you to continue to do that. Be yourself. No matter, sometimes you don't have, you know, money. You are marginalized in the society. You know, people, you, rape is the second highest uh, crime in our country. But continue to fight for our country. Continue to use your beauty your humility, your courage, your critical thinking skills to support Liberia. Ask the question, don't be complacent when you go to the Ministry of Health and you see the people taking money. You, Liberian woman, I'm sure that you'll be able to rise up. You have the opportunity to do that in this government and other succeeding government. Thank you. Thank you. And Stanton, I'll just about closing, let's say one minute very quickly. Okay. To the audience, we love you as always. Thank you for always showing up. But on a serious note, I must say this. Our children must be better than we are. We have a responsibility to build a Liberia that is representative of the kind of lifestyle we want for our children. 
And that takes investing a tremendous amount of money in the lives of our children through education, through health. The children of Liberia must be made first. This is so important. In order for them to thrive in that society, we must create opportunities in Liberia that are going to ensure they meet their full potentiality in their own home country. I understand this. I sit every day and I look at my country and I see the generation after us. They are not going to be better than us if we are not investing money in the proper places. I will continue to say this. Dr. Francine asked a question. Why do they continue to give us money, the international community, when they seen before that we squandered this money? Dr. Francine, the answer is simple. Because it's called influence, what they do is they give us money, knowing full well, government officials are squandering this money, they can influence the decisions in Liberia and they get something over our heads. If we have to take that away. If we are going to chart a course for Liberia to define our own destiny, we must have total control of the decisions that are being made in Liberia by ourselves. We have the capacity to generate our money home. The Kenyans have done this. 100% of their domestic allocation is generated domestically. If you give us something internationally, that's good. We appreciate it. But we should not depend on this because we have the capacity now to generate locally. But I'll continue to say this to you, Liberians. Our children must be better than we are. If they are going to be better, Liberia has to be better. Every single one of us has a responsibility to ensuring that. Once again, man, to the audience, Dr. Francine Stanton, my, your mama, my brother Maxwell, it was such a pleasure as always. Thank you very much. That We got something to kick by real quick. I want to hear you guys talking about this. We, it's over, but maybe just nine, one, two, three, seven minutes. Let's do this first one. It's important real quick. Uh, which one we should play first? Let's play this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm in. I You see there, but the assistant minister back in France, Johnson. You know, he went and got on his knee and begged Prince Johnson. That's one. But this is what actually hit me hard, Duadu. This one hit me so hard. And 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 I, I it, it touched it seriously. Let's just play it. This is our way of saying we're going home, but let's just play this quick. You know something, some of you just here fooling us. You're not doing all justice. People have no odds here. No idea how it takes for a city government, especially our CDC, we know. Especially our CDC, we know. CDC don't go for victory. CDC, we know 2014, CDC don't struggle for victory. It's a wake up call to CDC next, maybe 2029 or something. To be told from the look of things, the people really beat us. The people voted against our way. Medals of anger. Yeah? Some of our people have been since 2005. We have not been white in government. But because of the love we have for this party, that's why I kept us still going. You need to be honest to tell people the truth on me. You know how some of us feel it right now? You know how many homes going have issues? Parents going out of job? Hell yeah, no, me. I need to be honest, me. You know something I can openly say? I'm one of those pricing who, who do not have a pricing or pricing in the CDC government, but yet and still, I have still been committed to my party because the love for my party since 2005 up to up till now i have not gotten government job i have not worked in this government i will say it here today open it the only person i help me in this government for a certain time is the commission the commissioner minister uh, commission namwe apart from that nobody in the cdc government i have ever gotten help from with that being said, I still stood my ground as sedition. Some of us talk about personal, personal money. The one who's supposed to put food on our table for our children to eat. We say that our party, that we give them second chance. 
the representative that have been in power, Solomon Josh, and just cursing people for no reason. And Scarra Gray, and what people never even expected to. Add. Oh, God. You, Jesus Christ, I don't even know how to really see this. I want CDC we know. Like United Party came against us and they saw it to the very, very end that we came down. Are you killing me? I, I can't even get out of my, my, my apartment. I cannot even get out of my apartment. Three fucking days in a row, you get any idea to know what's going on? The people in this government were fucking mean to the Liberian people. Tell me, Minister Representative Senator, fucking tell me, people, I will, I will, I swear to God, if I will express myself, yeah, only hell one will, will stop me. Only hell one will stop me. Me, people, spot this our government for no reason. For the dirty, dirty behavior the sport they cost me. There's another thing will go, will go, will end, they will never, because they will never have peace. They will not have peace. They spoil the government. They succeeded in spoiling this government. Minister left in community. You don't even know the fucking minister. Are you serious? Are you serious? You come from the slum, the party in one position, and you feel that you have you have a wrath. You ignore the people who put you there. You are ready for sorrow to the party. Oh, you are ready. It's more. Your head was super. You can't run a song. You can't run a super. You can't run a super. It is what it is. I'm sorry to say we had to play as it is, but uh, when I heard the young lady crying, uh, I was taken back. Dwaru, you heard them. You heard them so bad. Dwaru. Yeah. It's not, it's not about hurting them, though, but I'm going to have to say this very quickly. Loyalty must be reciprocal. There's the, the Bobo gets on a bit English. They call it quid pro quo. This for that. You cannot be loyal and it's not reciprocated and you remain loyal. This is the height of lunacy. One year, two years, they not do nothing for you. They don't have to give you government job, but they have to create something called an enabling. They play where it can be good, so you can grow in a play. That the English way they call enabling environment. They not do it for you, but you say you are loyal. If loyalty is not reciprocal and you maintain that loyalty, you're crazy. Something wrong with your head. The government has to provide for you. When I say provision, I don't mean them will go buy a bigger role, but they will create somewhere where when you're living in your country, your own self dignity won't be there. It did not dare you say there's something wrong with you. Something wrong with that girl. I don't feel sorry for the kind of people. They deserve <laughs> what they got. I actually feel sorry for her. <laughs> well, let me you from my mom. <laughs> you know, as I was listening to her. I thought you were going to have the gas. I thought you were going to say you feel happy. <laughs> I, I say to Adu, you know she's <laughs> which I think a lot of the seditions or people who follow this government, I think they are going through like it's in now because who would have thought, like she said, somebody who came from nothing and got something and started to treat their people so bad. It's not it's 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 not something that you think about. And you know, you were thinking about loyalty, Dwalu, I was thinking about hypocrisy. I was thinking about deception, deceit. You know, people in our culture, they tend to do that. They tend to be very, very deceptive. You know, they will have, I think they always say, uh, what, black hat, white teeth. All of those things have to stop. That's what I took away from her story. She yet yeah, said she was loyal to this one party. The whole party was deceiving her by not giving her what she wanted. Okay. So you feel for her? I feel for her, you know. Hell I feel no, hell no. There's no like she have to go through this. And it, 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 oh, it, well, it, power. All her year hands. number one, nothing. Year number two, nothing. Year number three, nothing. These guys are building their homes. We've been telling them three, nothing, four, nothing. These guys have been running away, traveling out of the country with their girlfriends and they're like people money. They're women, 
traveling to Dubai, traveling all over, bringing Gucci this, Louis Vuitton that. In everything, you want me to sit <laughs> there and say, that girl, I'm joking. That girl joking. They get just to Eugene in Nangwe, you should help her. Look at Eugene in Nangwe, you should help her. You can leave that for give you two hundred dollars and pay and buy a house for almost five hundred thousand in Dubai. That me my fee for her, I'm fee for her, man. The only thing she got, the second chance, the second chance she got is to tell the Labyrinth people that yes, indeed, God has sent a savior, and that savior in whom we all, we all were pleased, have brought unto us Joseph Yuma Boyga to lead this country. Well, and that's his going. She's going through a stage of grief right now. So uh, she, she's going to say a lot of truthful things because she's going through that, sta that, sta that stage of grief. And a lot of seditions are going to say truthful things because now they are no longer in that bubble. They're not out of the bubble. The bubble has burst now. I mean, oh, I get like crying, man. That they can now see, they can now see the blood we are. Recall me. Let me pretend, recall me. She ain't crying. They can now see the blood we are coming for what they really want. Exception there, you. Yeah. I got in crying, Prince. That guy no, said, no. that guy told you somebody, have... say, really? The person said, yeah, she said, we call me. I believe that guy's story. These people then must understand. Comes 2029, they will leave from behind the CDC. CDC didn't help them, they will, they will not help them. The reason why I play this, I want every one of them to understand. The president stood up in this church and said, you still get hope 2029. We are here. We going anywhere. You didn't do it for six years. You will never do it in your life. So they get no hope. After the church service, look at some of them leaving. All the eye, Kruk was all kluji. The eye was questioning. Oh, the person was speaking. <laughs> all right? When he was speaking, the Dwadu, they, guess what happened? They got up. They walked off. Then they can't say, do it in one year, that church will be empty. In one year, that church will be empty. empty. You already. You already empty. Everybody going to Nobody must say I feel for her. I'm feel for her. The no, for her. You didn't see the people yeah. then jumping, giving person and wear 24 years. This one knew it was coming. They knew it was coming, This one live around Chancellor time. Hold on, giving Chancellor almost 100 years to rule the country. <laughs> yeah. in a situation for people, sometimes it's hard for you to see outside your body. I, I agree. Yeah. The beauty they're of they're a in free bubble. society, there's a beauty of a free society. A man yeah. must have the opportunity to bear the consequences of his action. Of course. It's, of course. Uh, me, I know. Yeah. No, uh, yeah. I, I, I agree. I agree. I agree with Dwalu. Uh, I agree with Dwalu. Quite on the topic, just quite. I mean, she's bearing the consequences. You see how she's tired, she's in denial, she's going to in just one conversation. No, yeah, be home more. Ah, do I be a kind of person that you're just No, no that's not what you're saying. I'm saying that. It's true. 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 It's it's not paying debt. It's, it's not, not paying debt. Paying okay, yeah. pain, 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 pain makes you reflect. Yes. They, they, they now have the opportunity to reflect on the lapses of their government. And this time around, they won't be quiet anymore. They won't sit oh, by. Just say, you know, all that you know, I don't you say, know, you know, yeah, Joe, we are saying. Oh, all that thing you hear they say. They don't leave. Let me say it. Now, let me say that to you, that so All that you hear, Joe, we are saying. All that you hear, they saying. Guess what happened? If Joe were to win this election, he wasn't going to hear it. They were going to celebrate. He wasn't going to hear it. Amen. There was no way to hear it. You got to understand this. That Vlad. That Vlad. That get crying because you know somebody coming to get her money. Let me tell you, all this. All the sedition and a blah, hmm. they're waiting to go hustle. I respect them. I love my sedition friends, but you know why? It is finished. Everybody's for the girl, the girl. A for the girl. A for the I really some other year. It had, it had to happen. It had to happen. The country was going in the very wrong direction. Don't pay for the crimes. Don't pay for the crimes. A for the girl. Now, the first thing we mean, if, if I do something to my wife, I don't do pay attention to something, it should not consequence me. I'm not going to take, we, we, we saw 
narrow minded will forget in two minutes. But when you consequence me, I was like, oh, I can't do that again. Well, you guys, the consequence is this. She, y'all, she, she lost. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's still oh, it's the her, her, her behavior. It must juke her and rust it, Nate. That's a racial scene. It must juke her, it must juke her and rust it, Nate. That's what we used to say when we were picking in, like, bro. It must juke her and rust it, Nate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is also Jeffy, very good. The simple lesson here is that bad loyalty should not be tolerated in Nigeria. That's it. That's it. Loyal to people who are loyal to you. That's the simple lesson. Joe, we are with Kamba. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. She know. How? Joe, we are with Kamba. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. I'm telling you. I work to do. Everybody in Africa, I work to do. We got to educate those people. But you are on the way now. The people are in the way. I agree that you know we are. Angie, Mama King. Angie, Mama King. Yeah. Angie, Mama King. Yeah. Two weeks to the time. She voted for Joseph Boyka. Oh, sorry, I said two. We are begging you, Angie Mama. I mean, I mean, two years. I mean, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I want no trouble, I'm going. I see you, I'm going, I want no trouble. Yeah, I Bye. Angie Mama, sorry, man. You know I'm messing with you. Have a good night, man. I know you're messing with me. Good night. All right. Nelson? Listen, it will be you guys gotta come early tomorrow. It will be busy. We distribute the rest. I'm so happy. I'm so so happy, Nelson. I'm so happy that the people, the people, the people, the people will be given the food. I'm grateful. I am grateful to God be all the glory. So I want to say to you, Nelson, what's up, man? What's happening at your end? What's happening yeah. in the country? We're moving gradually. The country is calm. The place is peaceful, and uh, Liberians are looking forward to inauguration. Yeah, yeah, inauguration. Yeah, that would be a very decent one. They will cry tired. Somebody <laughs> says, "See old leader," they will cry tired. What do you mean they will cry tired? <laughs> cry tired, explain tired. No they evidence. Will explain tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nelson, Gloria, Gloria had a baby today. You know that? Oh, no. Ah, Gloria, Gloria Tamar, Tamar, right? Yeah, she had a big baby oh, boy. Wow. Wow. Uh, and, you know, she didn't tell me to share the picture, so I will share it. Wow. Congratulations yeah. to her. Gloria Tamar had a, had, had a big baby boy. Yeah. Wow. We are grateful to go for her. Yeah. They were quite tired, Nelson. They were quite tired. <laughs> Tell the people we got nothing to do with that. We told them that we we're going to make them cry. We did, <laughs> but that's what we told them. We told them we we're going to make them cry, though. Yeah. What they, they, they were taking them for a joke. The 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 people still have hope because the the people who had who said they had the war room, the war room. Um, the war room crash. They were coming. They were coming up with numbers, but then it turned out that the war room. Where's the one that uh, Musa said if they if if come in we have a growing hair. Where oh, is it? Oh yeah, somebody share that with me. You got it. This morning, uh, Musa said come in when you have a growing hair. Uh -huh. We just uh -huh. want to remind. He said he will resign. <laughs> he said have a growing hair. He will resign. Can we play? Yeah. It? <laughs> let me let me try to find it. Somebody share that with me just this morning. Yeah, find and put it up. The one with the other one, that find an old video. You know the one when all my men were dancing, celebrating. They say finish. You know that one? Yeah. Hey God, that that that, that, that one too. Yeah, that went. What 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 magic doing it back there? <laughs> what magic doing? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Your name and where you call it from? Is this Spoon Talk? Yes, ma'am. This is Spoon Talk. Yeah. Um, I'm calling to see um about the announcement. What I was talking about. So I want to know how how do I go about doing that? I have um. I just want to know. We should announce. You got a business? No, a church, a church announcement. So text me. 
and I will, I will send you the information. I will send you the form, okay? Okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. All right. That's in front of it? No, not yet. Hey, Nancy, the thing, the, 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 how you call it? Now they got that woman, the one I just talked about. Musa Bility Um. Yeah. You're all up there, man. All right, let me send it to you, Nancy. I got it here. You ready for it? You got yeah. it? Okay, Nancy, somebody, you got said, it? somebody said it. Just send it to me, too. Everybody watching the show, they, they ain't gossip. Look at it, send it quick, quick. <laughs> Okay, I got it. Let her get in your pan, grow your pan, you will resign. Let you resign now. Let me see this. Why you upload that? Let me talk to this person. Hello, your name and where you calling from? Yes, Stephen, I still, uh, the phone, the phone, our phone is still sending there. I ain't reached the media. All right, do me a favor, Nelson. Can you put our phone on up here? Let people see it, the business phone. All right, we're gonna do it, okay? Yeah, the business form. I'm gonna okay. send it to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me do the form quick because everybody asking for the commercial form, and we'll just put it up. If you call me continuously, I will not put it up, so I will not answer you. Just be patient. Don't call me. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes, your name and where you calling from? Your name and where you calling from? All right, you ready to talk? The person will call back. Nelson, yeah. Have you uploaded a video? Yeah, it's almost done. Folks, we want to appreciate you joining us. Always, we say thank you. This is our easy time. You want to call and make your and say something? You can go ahead and do it. We'll take your phone call. It's the time that Nessie and myself can be quiet in the back, you know. Yeah. It's time Nessie and myself can just laugh and make fun, you know. So if you want to be part of this quiet time, this time we'll be playing some cool, easy music. Wherever you are, we'll find a beautiful song we'll be playing, a gospel song, anyone. If you want to call or sing, sing. You call in to say anything, go ahead. And this is your okay. time to call. You got it? Yeah, it's up now. All right. So play now. Telling uh uh you be that coming when I'm win. Coming when I'm win, so you only care about a seat. Really? Do you know me? A coming now win the election, have a great man here. Oh, a coming now win the election. Oh, bringing news. A coming now win the election. If I win my seat, I will resign. Oh, I tell you now. I will not go to the mansion. Oh. I will not go to the cabinet building. Thank you. Read my lip. You the man. The man want to wrap up. <laughs> to the mansion or the cabinet building? Which one? <laughs> the man confused like hell. <laughs> that must have been it now. He confused like hell. Hello. <laughs> Uh -huh. Hello? Oh, is this Spoon TV? Yes, this is Spoon TV. Mm. Oh, okay. This is Jemima. This is Jemima calling from uh, Pennsylvania. Yes, Jemima. And, uh, yeah, I've been watching Spoon TV for a while. So I just want to say thank you guys for everything that you're doing for Liberia. You know, bring your awakening to the people. Um, I want people have been brainwashed for so long. So we thank God that new voices are coming in to 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 impart more knowledge into them. Um, I thank God that Joshua didn't win. You know, I, I'm so so grateful. My um, fear was if Joshua win, that you know the other you know uh, government officials be in great danger. That was my fear because you know Jefferson Koji was making threat already. Um, that um, those who did not vote for we are, you know, they will see if they win. So we think God, God did it in such a way that if there was put to shame and disgrace. But do you think? Do you think? Do you think? 
do you think george we <laughs> should come back 2029 absolutely not i mean even pray right now that god should dissolve tdc completely that you, party you pray for god to pray. dissolve the party absolutely wow it's full of disgrace of people it's, it's it's a political cult um i'm telling you i'm pretty sure that joshua are probably afraid of some of those guys yeah okay I'm, i believe that he was so he allowed them to do whatever they wanted to do you know Thank and you. and I, I truly believe that god should not even allow that party to exist at all thank you very and I much the library people, the library people need to wake up. Stop dancing for these people. Thank you. Stop dancing for these criminals. Thank you very much. Stop dancing for them. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye. You're welcome, man. Thank you. All right. So there you have it. Folks are saying their own. They're saying, "Hello." Yeah. Hello. Yes. Yeah. I was trying to uh, get on the show. It is phone call. Yes. This is from talk your name and where you call it from. Uh Hutchison calling from New York. Okay. Talk to us. Uh yeah, okay. I'm just concerned uh about something that I saw on the internet, uh what they talk about. That's it, I sent it uh, I sent you the form that's it. Go ahead, my friend. We we'll listen. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but the rest of them. A resident of Chalatan was and died because he won the kid to win the election. Uh, have you heard about it? No, sir. Okay. I heard it. The uh, a resident of Chalatan was killed during the election time because uh, this guy. Okay, but we can uh, let's try to confirm that story before you put somebody okay. in trouble, okay? Yeah. It's good to okay. hear from you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, one more minute you go, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, um, I'm Hutchison, and I've been trying to uh, get in touch with you. Can you just tell my call, please? It's 10. Uh, I'm calling from New York. Send me the text message, and I will call you back. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome, Hutchison. Uh, Hello. Yep. Yes. Your name and where you calling right? from, please. Well, uh, my name is Gavin. I'm calling from the Dutch. Yes. How can uh, you help you tonight? I have. Yeah, I have a couple of just two concerns. You know, we were going through the list of those that want to be speaker of the house, and looking at things. We first of all, supposed to be discussing whether they even qualify to even be representative talk less of the speaker look at like um uh most ability the role font so are we saying that the treatment of bernie samoka through the code was legal but then now those guys are about to take their seat you know so what's going to happen to them and look at um look at this guy from Maggie, Natana Maggie, and then what the other guy from the u.s no uh, that way, that way, that that way, that way. Yeah. So what what happens to justice this relative? Because we know. Yeah, but you got to win now. Nah, we're feeling with Joe. We are the people say we handle no, that one. Nah. <laughs> okay. Where you going, no, Joe? Listen, no, you got to no. understand that Joe, we are still a president though. That one are true. That yeah. So true. Joseph yeah. Baga will not take yeah. over yeah. after they 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 inaugurate. They inauguration. They get the Bible. They get you the cross under the red. That one are true. But don't forget to put a. Uh, uh, huge picture you hear the rest story that story yeah what happened somebody told me that they never wanted to be a culture minister you see you know so, you see that's why you do not learn your business you're telling me i'm gonna pull Eugene rest picture up when the man was working yeah, with the rest the reason picture. why i tell you to pull Eugene's two picture i want i want to put you in front of Zazakawa where he went in nigeria time to, time so uh, do we have the Eugene picture nelson this is it right yeah, i yeah, remember yeah. Bye, bye, you trying to get me in trouble well, Mm -hmm. I may try to get me in trouble, but bye. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? Yeah, that's from TV. What's yeah, up? We have, the phone. we have the phone ready as well. You got to lower your receiver, my friend, and talk through the phone, yes, please. Yes, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just a minute, please, 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 please. Put the phone up. Nelson. Yeah, 
Yes. Yes, hello. Yes, we listen to you, please. Yes, um, I just wanted to tell you guys thank you because uh, you guys, I mean, you changed to some extent the landscape of, of, of the elections in Liberia. You have won the battle, you um, stand on, like you always say, you have won the battle, but the war has begun, and the war is that we got to hold the feet of the incoming government officials to the fire. Just as you started, let's continue it. That's the only way, that's the only way that this country will be straight up. Because if we do not do that and be lax about it, it will cause. And I just want to say congratulations and your thank you. May God bless and prosper Spoon TV. Thank you very much, my friend. God bless you too. Folks, this is the form. If you want to do your commercial or take a picture of it. Dustin, can you put it on our page, please? Yes, um, I'll upload it. I'm, yeah, I'm, just, I'm going to do it now. Yeah, yeah, just do it now. So you can find it. The phone numbers are there. And, uh, you know, someone will reach out to you. So you say, see, you will send it to me. No, it's on the page, okay? All of our pages, you'll find it. Just go ahead and tell me what you want to do and send it to Madam T.T. Khan and the business office in Liberia. They will take care of you. Again, please, that's where you can find it. We want to show Fagon picture when he was a rest setter. You see this picture, Fagon used to say rest, okay? Make no mistake, <laughs> Fagon used to say rest. Fagon was a rest setter. If I go into the rest, yeah, it may use the cell rest. The people putting in serious problem with, with, with Minister Fagon, they may come in. <laughs> no, but it may use the cell rest. <laughs> what may you do a problem? Now you pull it up. You see the main use the cell rest. Hello? Yeah, hello. I'm a lawyer yeah, receiver now. I know who you are, so you can you lawyer receiver. Thank please. you. Yes, I just did. All right, um, talk to us now. Forgot, forgot I rest at all. I, I you see, want to continue to appreciate you people so much for everything you people do to continue to keep us informed. Those of us that are not there, we rely on you people. And one thing I want to really not only appreciate, but also encourage you to keep pointing out is about these politicians that squander the government money, like Bureau people's money, and go out of the country and build and buy their real estate and then prove everything to us, to the world, that they are people. They don't love Liberia. Please let Liberia know that they don't love Liberia. At least if you are a rogue, you squander the government money and you love Liberia, at least you love Liberia, want to show love for Liberia, squander and build Liberia so that people will come and see what you are doing in Liberia. But instead, number one, they squander, they steal the government money and then they run out of the country to build. So every little thing that happens in the country now, you want to tell them, they run out, go sit down in Dubai, go sit down in Ghana, in their luxurious building. So I will really appreciate and continue to appreciate the people. Hey, boom breaker, keep pounding on these people. Let we, the lead men in Liberia and out of Liberia, understand that these people are not just rules, but they are unpatriotic. Thank you. Don't love Liberia. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, that thing, that's what you're doing. Take Fagon picture down. You don't let Fagon, eh? Hello? How are you? Yeah, boy, you keeping Fagon picture up for? That's something Fagon, Fagon did bad to you? I think I think it's a much, I think it's a much more so. Now we are. Oh, now we I'm, are. Oh, I mean, you don't even know this song, man. Now we are. Oh, Say you now we are. Nah, nah, it's on. Next thing you get us on. They make it loud. Next thing you get us on. Yeah, we gotta find the sun. Say you brought it up, but that's not the sun there. No, that's when you eat. Let's say when you eat boyo, that the boyo sun there. When you go in the zoo bush, that the sun they put you to say. In Grand Crew, Sano, Sastan, all the places. The men know what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, yes, only against Piso Tower, right? Yeah, we have a Piso Tower. Where you call it from? Minnesota? No, North Carolina. Oh, I see. I didn't call it from Minnesota. We're talking about Piso Tower. Piso Tower get a whole big, big book. 
Yes. 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 And uh, uh, like I said, I'm not, uh, it's sad to say that I'm not a politician. I was brought on board by these people. And the people brought me because they wanted something. You understand? So what we're doing now, the Liberian people just got to take care of it. You know? He right. He was brought on board by the people and the people took him from there. And the person is right. You know, he said, I was brought on board by these people. And those people took him from there. Make no mistake. This guy is a very smart guy. Let's listen to George Manawea again. Dato Dato Manawea. And uh, uh, like I said, I'm not, uh, it's sad to say that I'm not a politician. I was brought on board by these people. And the people brought me because they wanted something. You understand? So what we're doing now, the Liberian people just got to take care of it. You know? You heard what he said. I was brought on board by these people. The people took him from there. The thing they're looking for, they will get it. They will pay for it. It coming. Uh, uh, some, some, someone wants to donate to the, to the uh, rice collection, but the person said they have sale. Whether uh, there's a sale, the person will go <laughs> ask their friend to do cash app. We don't do sale. Tell the oh, person okay. we appreciate them who is on the cash app, okay? So okay. let's play this one. And the propagandists, you know, they're just talking. You know, and they all know that we cannot go to an election in this country. Maybe in other country, maybe in other country, uh Waka can defeat it's not possible. It's not possible. Waka in government are defeated and then are in government and are doing everything well. Are you gonna say? And then uh, it's not possible, can I so did you find the same question? <laughs> so what that beat job man we are in another country, not in Liberia. <laughs> what that beat job man we are in another country, not in Liberia. Yeah, but man, maybe you guys are not in Liberia. The media say they can, it's not possible. What that beat in another, you know, I, I try to feel sorry, man, but I, I get no sorry feeling in me when it comes to those things. What that beat the man in another country? Yeah, maybe in another country. In another country. That's what I meant. Say. Let's know him. It's not possible. And the propagandists, you know, they're just talking. You know, and they all know that we cannot go to an election in this country. Maybe in other country. Maybe in other country. Uh, Waka can defeat me. It's not possible. It's not possible. Waka are in government are defeated. And then are in government and are doing everything well. Are you going to say? And then uh, it's not possible. Can I say? Wow. So you see, play the seven twice. So you, you, you want me to leave from here today? They, they, <laughs> they, they seven twice on loading. A loading. So let let, 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 just play this one. Let's play this one. I don't know what I want. I see he, he get love for he not make it. He not make. I can see the love. I can see the oh shit. He not make it. I love looking. You see the love in him? He got love for like brand people? Oh, shit. He just not make it. He trying to face things? Shit.
try to fix things. Try. Where you want sure? Shit, man. You trying to get hurt, man? You trying to do <laughs> stupid, man? You trying to do stupid, man? Why you sure? Then look at Joe. We are. Look at this one. Look at. Can you can you follow him when he refused to shake uh the VB? Uh, VB. Okay, so we That <laughs> you mean Barcelona boy got vice president uh president elect Jose Yuma Barca said, but why did he shake your hand? <laughs> your wife will say, I don't know. I mean, uh, and the VP are expecting that handshake. Yes, that's the that's the diplomatic thing to do. Let let play one more time. Let play one more time. Joseph Boyga had to make joke all of it. He said, he didn't shake your hand. Jeremiah Kuhn said, it's okay, we know him. That's why we beat him. Jeremiah Kuhn told Joseph Boyga, that's why we beat him for. I mean, come on, man, unprofessional. Your behavior of a president. But you know why? That's mm. why the people throw in the team looking for you again. Baby, why are you looking for you again? You looking for you can't sit down you again. The trouble where you looking for you again. You looking for you can't sit down you again. The pregnant say you looking for you again. You looking for you can't sit down you again. The fighting where you looking for you again. You looking for you can't stop it you again. And that's what the president say that the people think. And uh, uh, like I said, I'm not, uh, it's sad to say that I'm not a politician. I was brought on board by these people. And the people brought me because they wanted something. You understand? So what we're doing now, the library project got to take care of it. You know? That's true. The people are requesting for the my video. That you on a my video. That one I would take also. But that's true. That's what the president said. Though he said it was not possible, you get it. Some of the twelve video. Is it ready? Almost, almost. Yeah, the beginning almost is there. Almost. So, folks, this is where we are. This is where we are. I want to say to you, we are moving strong. No retreat, no surrender. We are moving strong, forward ever, backward never. Look at this. Look at this. Hmm. Ego. This left. No balance. Nothing promising. Jose Yima Buakai. President elect the Republic of Liberia, Jose Yima Buaka. You go up, you can down, you can change it. So, we want to say to every one of you, are you ready? Okay. Boy, rest picture here for leave. I go in the rest business, man. If I'm going to rest it or so what? <laughs> okay, so the video here. Yeah, they all yeah. picking your wisdom. Yeah, 
Yeah. Is it up now? Okay, it's up now. Play. Ready. So yesterday when you hear me singing, oh, I'm to He said, We won the first battle hmm. and we beat them in their own battle. We beat them with a massive and immersive political cross party. <laughs> we beat them with the tactical knockout from President George Madden. We are our focus was on the president. Make no mistake, we came only to remove the president. Everybody that stood in our way, we were determined, we were focused. You had the other group come mm -hmm. in and say, we're going to make our own show. The other person come in and say, we're going to do our own thing. Some of are bringing money this way. Akari is great coming from this end. Eugene Lin and we're coming from the over, oversized. No, 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 no. We kept our eyes on the price. We kept our eyes on, oh, man. We kept, we kept focus on personal we are. No distraction. They were coming from the left, the right. They went to the corners. I kept focus. They were in Florida. I kept focus. They called my name. I kept focus. They were running. I just told the team. I said, guys, let's keep focus. They took the station to court. We kept focus. Six weeks, we were on Facebook, but we were focused. Our eyes were on to the hill to come at our help. And the target, the political target, was George Man and we are. Everything they did, everything, everything, every distraction, we sat down. I told Fagon, Fagon, we are keeping our mind and our eyes. We will be focused on John Man and we are. They brought another program. I said, we'll bring the late night show. We did a late night show. People said, Stanton, you're too tired. You need to rest. I said, my picking Nelson come to help me. Nelson can do well no. I said, we'll bring some people. The police, so I said, we'll bring the people that will speak in the data. We kept focus because the only thing is to remove George Manor we are. And where there is no George Manor we are, there will be no Samuel Twain. Where there is no George Manor we are, there will be no Eugene Lane Nambe. Where there is no George Manor we are, there will be no Akaris Gray. There will be no Solomon George. There will be no this. There will be no that. We kept focus on George Manor we are. If we can remove George Manor we are, there will be no Jefferson Koji. In this life, keep focus. They may come and say anything, keep focus. <laughs> Evening, we were focused. Morning, we were focused. Afternoon, we were focused. When they were drinking a champagne, we were focused. When they were drinking a Hennessy XO, we were focused. When they were traveling, we were focused. When they were receiving all the step-ins and everything Samuel were giving them, we were focused. When they were called in the United States government, we were focused. Somebody said, but Stanton, why you never did? No, 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 no. I always focus. 
because we needed to remove George Manawea. We kept on telling our people. We kept on preaching the message. Those that were with us, when they left, we remain focused. When they lie on us, we remain focused. When they lie on George, Ma uh, on, on Joseph Yima Bwaka, we remain focused. So play that thing again. When Samuel Twain said they were, they were in battle, they were fighting. Play again, let the people see that we all were in this battle. Play again, again. So yesterday, when you hear me singing, That's right. Nelson, that's right. They went on the battlefield and we beat them. Nelson, they went on the battlefield and we beat them. We beat them. Because we all focus on the Goliath. Samuel 12 was nobody. Usually, Nami was nobody. Joseph Koji was picking. All the time he told to talk about Stanton and have press conference, press conference. He was picking. I couldn't even see him. That's it. When Joseph Koji is doing a press conference, people would call me and say, Oh, I said, Your leader picking. The time is season for everything. I couldn't see him. I said, That man are picking. When men were eating Bubba John, Joseph Koji was in Iran. Because I knew Fagon. Dr. Richardson, Aaron Gray, Mohammed, Prince Maxwell, Dualu, Jerry Gibson, all of us. I told the guys, you don't talk about any other person's show. Fagon can be so mad. He said, oh, man, what are you talking about? We should attack them. I said, Fagon, no. These are distractions. Because if you go after them, if you go after them, you're missing the point. These are distractions, so nobody must say anything. They say, oh, but you have Joseph Koji talking everything about you. You will call thousand people here. And I say, oh, leave the picking. Who love lies? Love the best. Love the best. You leave the picking. Oh, Stanton, you went floor that the people having big conference. They said, I say, you're leader. Every day, Joseph Koji Kara, he opened the dictionary. He read 10 different big words. He memorized it. He kind of, I couldn't, I couldn't, where? First of all, he claimed, let's listen to it for the fun of it. First of all, let's listen to it in English. Now what we do, we just laugh at them. First of all, you know, The man will come and speak some England and say, can you come on here, but why can't you do that? Do we da 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 Where? <laughs> I look at Joe, we had to be him. May you want ten president and you tell him, why you, yeah, 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 yeah. You did that your English, the people were here. We go after Stanton, we do the one with radio station, we do that one, okay. We can create our own. The man is this. You left George Mana with a message and you're focused on the wrong person. And that wrong person was Stentor. You could have at least helped this president and propagate his message. But you left him. You left his message. You left everything you say he has done that is so right. And you're focused on Stentor and Fagon and the Spoon Network. You're missing. 
your message. All that BB English, all that thing you were doing, all that thing you were doing on Freedom FM, everything, you're dancing like Jaco. You left all of that and you're focused on, you're getting 99 radio station, you're focused on only one network. That's what will be your air. Simple mathematics. Friday the seventh message, simple mistake you all. Be a fan of music, man. Simple yeah, mistake you all. You know a confession there. Yeah, fan of music. <laughs> But you know, the people couldn't get it. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Because what happened is that you were focusing on Stanton, on Fagon, instead of focusing on George Bernard we are and his achievement. Hey, yeah. I said, I look at the people, I say, hey, man, you're missing it, though. You, you, don't, you don't know how to fight for George we are. That's why when you are doing something, not, you are not so sincere. And they get paying you to do it. You would do it and it would gain no traction. Because they were giving some of them money. So they had to do it for the money, not the love. But deep down in there, they knew that Joe Manor West shouldn't be president. They knew it from the beginning. Some of them supported comments and they left comments. Some of them talked about Joe Manor, we had the cost to do all they want. Then they went by and said, We're supporting you. You know it wasn't that. You know that. You know you didn't mean to support Joe Manor, we are. You just did it out of greed, out of envy, out of bitterness. You knew that. You know, you didn't support Joe Weir because you really wanted to, because it gave more money. You were the same person causing Joe Weir two weeks to the election. Some of you are not jumped up, the, 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 the monkey from one tree to another tree. You're settled with Joe Weir. And we were still here. We were positioned. You're going to use all your terminology. You're called home and Joe. You're there. We were positioned. You're trying to take our focus away from Joe Weir. I told Fagon and said, Fagon, no, 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 we're not going to do this. We're going to, we're going to bring back this thing. This is about Joia. This is about Joia. This is not about any of them. This is not about their ministers. This is not about any of the talk show hosts. This is about Joia. And we kept it on Josh Manawia. And we won. And I dared them to say, friend, I dare them to say fine. Because we can beat Joe Weir over and over and over again. Because the Liberian people know we were telling them the truth. You know Joe Weir doing nonsense. And you say that and say, the man is the best person I said 1847. And your own. You know Joe Weir was lying. You go, Koji, that somebody you might put against. Hey, come on, man. You guys, man. Come on. Who are advising y'all? Who are really advising y'all? Joe Manor, we are if you want to win this election, my picking next let me tell you something. Joe Manor, we are supposed to open it and announce and say, I am dismissing Samuel Twain. Joe Manor, we are going to win the election. If Joe Manor, we are to say, if he had the advisor to tell him, Mr. President, you won't win the election, dismiss Samuel Twain, you did not win. And promise the Labyrinth people that you will reshuffle, you will dissolve the entire government if you win. Tell them that the Labyrinth people are going to support George Manawea. Apologize to the Labyrinth people and say, yes, we messed up. But this is the new George Manawea coming to you. Today, today, today. Samatua is no longer finance minister. Eugene Lambe is no longer maritime boss. Today, we are reshuffling the government. Samurai World College is out. And I'm promising you, this new government will make Labrua better. Yeah. The people were going to vote for George Manning. We are. But he couldn't. I George, got one thing to write him. Yeah, for who? George Goji, when he was speaking BB English. George Manning, we are fair that they can get everybody money. And money were going to answer for them. But that was a lie. That's why we beat your man and we are. We beat your man and we are like market dog. We flock your man and we are like a rainy and the dog can for us and go under the market table and you knock it and say, well, we beat your man and we are where you hurt them. Play Jerusalem Koji video. Let it hear the nonsense he used to say. Play. Sometimes you may not like me because of my stings in politics. I do not hold it against you. 
But what you need to understand, you do not need to eliminate me because you, you disagree. You don't need to misinform the library people. You may not like me. It doesn't mean that we don't have those who admire us in this country. Anytime you see Joseph Koji saying something, he put a head and he can look at the one of the words that he used it. He can write few big, big words then. Because you got to remember that. If you play the thing from the beginning, he'll put a head down. Then he look at one of them and he misinform. Then he look at it again. Amaya, you know why? You don't have to go to school to do what people do. It's common sense. You miss the mark. You went ahead and start talking yabba, 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 yabba. If you say John Manor, where I was a the better president, you're supposed to fight for him. You're supposed to tell the Labrim people what making of be a better president. But you're left and you're talking about Stanton. Who's Stanton in the politics? Who, 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 me, me, me? you left it, you're running behind me. Why are running behind Joe Weir? And I promise the Labrim people that we together will take Joe Weir all. And we did. So you, 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 you mess this thing up. Now you're going to be jobless for life. Nobody will hire you. Business that you get, it will chase you. Because we're doing slash and dies, slash and dies. When you were running behind me, I was after job man aware. I was exposing job man aware. I was talking to the Liberian people, telling them that job man aware can never ever be president again in Liberia. I was telling the Liberian people, but all you were doing, you were just after Stanton. You were just talking yabba, 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 and we beat you. And we beat you. And we will beat you again. I dare you put your foot in a senatorial race in Nimba. We will beat you again. You cannot even put nobody there. I dare you. We'll call the whole Nima Quado. We'll tell Prince Johnson and Jeremiah Kuno We'll call the whole Nima Quado. We'll beat you. I dare you. 29, 29 again. We'll beat you again. By the grace of God, Inshallah. That is that the Muslim people can say. 2029, we beat you again. Anyway, you put your foot, we, 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 we just beat you. Now nah, you're just beating stick. You can never recover. Who oh, fan players say that? You know, yeah, we here for the nonsense all day. You're crying. No, 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 no. My friend, we have come to a place in this life that you must choose your battle. Monkey play by size. No big monkey, small monkey can there. Okay? You must choose your battle. You must understand I'm not your equal. Okay? When I was bringing down your precedent, you were nowhere. You call for your international analysts. They come with a coastal and tie. You think Liberian people want coastal and tie? <laughs> <laughs> We sat here in our t-shirt. We took down your president. International panelists got a stuff in the hand. I uh, can see. Oh, my Gibby not turn green. My Gibby not turn blue. We took my Gibby. I can see where. Where? You didn't know what I bring people warm? I pick you, man. My Gibby turn blue. Where? We beat you every single day. That what we do, we make you cry. When you hear spoon, you will cry. You can make it. You can bring them from Europe. You bring them from America, from ECOWAS, European Union, UN. We we'll stay be in our t-shirt and our hoodie, and we we'll beat you. You can wear your three-piece suit. You can wear your four pro. You can wear anything. We will beat you. You can take your gold and diamond and your Louis Vuitton shades. We will beat you. You can go ahead and get your money from Simon 12. We will beat you. They kick some of them out of the hotel. They had nowhere to please. They got to get them up crying here. That hotel are there for them to stay. We stay beat them. They were in Bolivar Party. They kicked them up. We beat them. You go on drinking party, you won't can talk something. You do anything you won't do, we can't and beat you. Because the Labyrinth people say they are resolved. You put yourself together 300 times, we beat you again. You're too crazy. So I want to say this to you. 
it is important for you to understand. God got you, my fellow Liberian. Ten more minutes to nine o'clock. When you're coming for your food or more, you gotta understand. Play the seven to a video. Play one more time while before I leave. Let me just remind they got a poor calling for perfect key map. I'm playing perfect key map. So yesterday when you hear me singing, oh I'm talking Going to fight battle. <laughs> it is bad, you know. It's very bad for our country. And wow. God Himself has brought His own to redeem Liberia. You're living with the people who tell they kick the people outside of Bolivar Party. I would not tell you the story. But you all want the story, you will pay for it. All of you are saying to about the hotel that they kick them out. But you watch the first day to the second day to the last day. They kicked them out. They kicked out all the Bolivar Palace. They were looking for a place to be. They took them up crying. That hotel, what that, is that Rose Garden Hotel? What's your hotel? Yeah. Up, up, up crying. Up crying. Yeah, Rose that's where they find themselves. They kicked them out. They never have money. <laughs> Look at all of them. I'll tell you nothing. Look at Bobby. Bobby right now, she's just staying on tells. I tell, Look at Emmy. Y'all will pay for it. <laughs> I mean, you will pay for it. You want to get them one part, they want the best trees. That is sweetest one. I got video to it all when they were taking all the things off for the Bolova Palace. <laughs> I got video to it. I want so, to say, why? I will play. Who are recording that video there again? <laughs> no, but you know what? We were talking something, right? And that was a four hour play. They keep them on the Bolova Palace. Uh -huh. Joel told them, Joel said, you can sit down here whole day, you're a cousin president, and now you can support me. Then they said, Megan told all. Joel said, man, we told all. Men need to talk all. Joel told them. They kicked them out. They, I don't want to do it because, you know, I mean, witness it with one. We got to be more intelligent. Emmy, don't do that. Emmy, don't even call me. Don't call me, Emmy. Leave me alone. They kicked them out. They kicked them off fear. Yeah. They were finding place to go that night. No money. Samuel Tour ran away from them. They were cursing each other in the chat room. They get play with each other. They were blaming each other. You eat the money they gave us. The late one they gave us. Look at now, we got to leave this place. We got nowhere to be. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. This left. No banners. Fun can never finish. What did that drug broken say? Uh -uh. This this life not balance. Wow. No, this is something can never finish. Wonder, this wonder shall finish. never end. Wonder shall never end. Wonder shall never end in this life. When I saw the video, and I saw the guy they moving all the paper wallpaper and everything, and they're looking for a place to be, I said, "Hey, God, wonder shall never end." I said, "Wow, that me will be in Liberia." Me in Liberia, but you saw it now that me will be in Liberia and they keep my people up. Go ask the man from Bolivar Palace, the papa can stay call me. That me will be in Liberia and they keep my people out of hotel because no hotel room, no money to pay. That me will be in Liberia. Hey, God, they think uh, they think uh, they think uh, too much. <laughs> they think, uh, <laughs> Getting ahead. <laughs> Next thing I'm thinking, 
<laughs> that <laughs> mean we're beating Liberia and they kick my people off because, but you know what? Joe Biden knew that the end of the, they lost the election, so they couldn't make it anymore. So all they lay by and they pull it back. Wow. See, they got to try and check us. See, they're trying to leave. See, they're dragging the, the, the Brussels airline, trying to change airline. Hey, man. I sat and look at some of them. I said, Lord. That's what the Bible says in the book of Psalm 23. He will prepare your table in the presence of your enemy. The Lord will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy. They will see you eating the good, the fat. Then they would know that thou said the law. Don't pay evil for evil. But your day will come that you will celebrate that yes, I am the winner. That yes, I am the winner. If you don't pay evil for evil, let go fight your battle. All you need yeah. to do is to hold your peace. Yeah. All you need to do is to hold your peace and the Lord will fight your battle. Hold your peace, Van Pigeon. Hold your peace. 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 And let go for your battle. The battle is the law. The battle is the law. The battle is the law. And all you need to do is to hold your peace. That's all I say. <clears throat> So me the game up again. May God bless you. Thank you, sir. May God cause his face to shine upon you and our nation. Amen. God be gracious unto you and merciful unto you. I'm doing the thing that Pastor Raymond can do. May the Lord shine his face upon you. Pastor Raymond can go with it. May the Lord shine his face upon you. May the Lord keep you. Pastor Raymond, our man. Raymond Carlson. Shout out to <laughs> Pastor Rima Callison of the Lutheran, the Redeemer Lutheran Church. Yeah. That's the only part I let in the church when the brother ran to close. He said, may the Lord keep you. May the Lord mm -hmm. keep you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you till we meet again. Let the church say, <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so now... <laughs> All the G's lovers in the comment section, the people no just... Matter. I ain't even getting the whole thing yet. They run away with it. They keep your man up from the hotel. Yeah, but I, you know, I want to tell a story. Pastor Rivers said I shouldn't tell the story. That's why I'm laughing. Pastor Rivers said my man, leave the people alone. Don't tell the story. The Holy Spirit yeah. speak to Pastor Raymond. Huh? The Holy Spirit speak, uh, uh, speak to Pastor Raymond. The Holy Spirit spoke to him, right? Yeah. He's yeah, no, my pastor, you say, well, man, don't tell the story. That'd be so. And, you know, but he's right. He's right. You know. So I want to say to you, did we say the prayer already? Thank you very much, my pigeon. And have a wonderful evening. Yeah. Good night. So, so are we, are we, are we, are we doing some, some right we will, we will, we will take, uh, we will I, I don't know, out. but again, wait for me. Wait, wait, wait. Play that, play that music one more time. I try to charge this phone, it's going off. Play the music one more time. Let me go for my charger. Oh, okay. Okay. Um okay. so yesterday when you hear me singing, oh I'm talking, oh, 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 oh.
You were asking a question, Nelson. Okay, so I was I was asking because we have um about three hundred names already, and then we have uh, two hundred um, two hundred fifty bags. So if we can, I was asking as to whether we can give the people uh, we can serve those 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 names we already have. Then maybe from tomorrow we can take additional names or I don't know. What How you many names do you have? Close to three hundred, almost three hundred. Okay, so I think it for so don't take no more name because we don't mm -hmm. want the place to be overcrowded. We got only yeah. two hundred fifty bags, so don't take yeah. no more names. Yeah, and um, and I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Because there are some people that will come tomorrow that may not receive because because of the the number. They will come back. They will, they will be back yeah. on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they will be back on Saturday. I told Madam TT already, they should be back on Saturday. I mean, we announced that we'll be giving only 250. So let it just come for the rice and now um, we pray that it's all go well. Um, is there anything else, Nelson? Yeah, so uh, um, CEO, the guest who appeared on the on the uh, first, uh, on the Spoon Talk, on the, our guest tonight. Yeah, he, he went home? Uh, he was being tilled. He he left, but he's being tilled, and and he's he's expressing some serious concerns on his security. He said there are some. So, so is he okay now? Uh, not yet. Did you just not talk to yet. him? Yeah, I just spoke with him. Oh, him. Let me show you home. Just spoke with him. I just spoke with him, but I I, I want you to please check your 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 WhatsApp. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we we try calling we try calling um okay this uh don't um don't do it yeah but we didn't okay, want to no announce problem. that so we didn't want to announce that so yeah no problem that's fine yeah. just call madame tt uh i'm let me get in contact with the individual right yeah okay okay it'll be fine he'll be okay let me arrange something. Give me one minute. Just mute me. Let me arrange something. Okay. 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 So um obviously we will not be taking calls tonight for the rice. I see the lines are very hot, but we'll take additional calls tomorrow. Um about this time we will take more calls tomorrow. Uh we will make sure that. Uh, more people will be added to the numbers, and I see so many people still requesting for the prophet video. The prophet only gave permission for that now, so after that now, uh, yeah, I want a prophet video that 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 serious reality today I want bring up. So we we have. Uh okay, so we'll bring we'll bring the the videos we'll end up with the last video, but then um yeah, so once everything is done, we will end up with the last video. So again tomorrow for those who already called and we have their names uh here so for those who already called someone is asking okay so for those who want to contribute the cash app the you can you can do that on the ceo's cash app it's been up for some time now so um um, you can uh, do that. You can contribute via the cash app. There's no Zelle. So you can, if, if you know someone who has cash app, maybe you have only the Zelle. You can, um, yeah, use the person's cash app to send a whatever contribution it is uh, to the RISE initiative. Um, and interestingly, tomorrow will be holiday. Tomorrow is in fact, it's already <clears throat> the next day here in Liberia, so we can say today is holiday.
Today is November 29. Uh, today, so it's a holiday. Aina mukutei. Aina mukutei. Every book on general aspect for that thing will play. They play when they got on leaving the hotel. You want to play? Uh, don't, don't play with it. No. Don't play with it. Don't marry people now. <laughs> I mean, if Emmy, if Emmy pay me, I will play. Emmy, Emmy, send me one, I will play. I'm waiting for Emmy. It's not she send me some, I will play. Emmy don't want peace. Emmy she won't want problem. Me. It's not Emmy send, send it to me, I will play. Oh, somebody uh -huh. said, look at Bobby. Bobby says she said 100 I'm a play. Look at Bobby. Hey. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> They got some bad. They got some bad people there. <laughs> Bobby is bad to have. It's not. It's not Bobby. Look at Bobby. I can't believe. It. Hey man, they're trying to bow. That people they not set their phone to screen record. They just waiting. <laughs> oh yeah. That what they do. They just waiting. Yeah. Why the show going on? Some interesting moments. When well, people watching that Bobby. phone, they can just screen record that entire moment. Yeah, you know, before you no, look, they say, they say put the cash out up and they ready to they ready to go ahead and pay. I can't believe it. Just to see the people that moving that they display people there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> All right, let me let me see Emmy, Bobby. Bobby already said hundred uh. So let me mm -hmm. see Emmy. Let me see what she oh Bobby said the hundred. Okay. So Bobby, Emmy, they hear from Emmy. Emmy said, I'm a player, I will play. Emmy, but it's not hard. They put the people outside. They put a wonderful place to be. <laughs> Look at Marama. Marama says, I can't play, man. You got to you gotta follow your friend and cool. Jatu. Well, all the Jatu say, Nelson, stop it. See you, play. Please <laughs> play. Jatu want, me, Jatu want me play for video games. <laughs> Marie, work with Josh. See you, leave. <laughs> <laughs> Do I leave well alone? Oh, oh man. So they get it for you. They say that because you're being there, you see, yeah. I shouldn't play the video. Uh, if that I get people phone, that people phone on screen record right now. Right, 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 yeah. right now. So you drop that video. A, hello. Hello. Yes, Santa. Yeah, answer now. Put straight your voice. What's up? Emmy. Oh, Emmy, how Don't you doing? Play. Huh? <laughs> Don't play. You oh. want to be the bigger person. Emmy said I shouldn't play. Oh. Yeah, I'm in front of the late night show. Yeah, that, that cool English. Every day Emmy told and she calls, she out and she's sleeping. Don't play. <laughs> be the bigger person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Emmy, I hear you. All right, Emmy. Okay. All right. So let's see. Uh... I know when my ability is a CO 1.6. Say play. Oh, you say 1,600 people say I'm a player. Uh, let's see who's this. 1,600? I don't know what then, time 1,600 people tell us say play. No, but then, then, then they, 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 they vote. They vote. They, they, they overwhelm majority. You know, it's what we'll go by because we have. 4k watching right now across all platforms. Yeah. So if one, so, if one says K say one play it, that that means that 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 prefer key math. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for Emmy. That Emmy says something. That Emmy know how to Emmy know how to give to the cash app. So when she says something, I'll play. Okay. Where Emmy at? Uh so but you're right, oh, that prefer key math. Oh. But what a Nigerian woman on the map. She says oh, zero, yeah. zero, zero, I, I, zero, 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 zero. One plus one. I just one. going through it. Go Find it. You sent it to me before. You know we we upgraded our 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 library. So most of the. Oh, I'm out. Play. Listen to what the person say. Play for two hundred. Send it two hundred. I play. Musa <laughs> having my Gary Bennett. Hey, that that now nah, they want to get me out to play. Yeah, yeah. hey Musa. Hello. <laughs> hey, play, play the video, Go ahead, play the video, okay. man. For how much? For how much? 
For how much? I'll sell my own to 200 for the video. My man, when you are selling for him, buy him for you the bill. That video is the hottest video in town. No, no, my brother, I'll contribute to this. My man, I want your contribution back. <laughs> hey, look at Musa Harry, my girl said, Billy, they said 200. I'm not a big you, yeah. Thank you, man. Hey. My man, I'm waiting for you, man. Look at, look at, it. my man, I'm making money, oh. Bobby's yeah, dinner, where I say, look at Bobby. Bobby says she's selling 200. I remember, Bobby, oh, you wasting my time. Hello? Hello, sir. Yeah? That yeah, woman. The people that pay for the video, look at that, $400. Pick it. Nothing. They, they put it. Fifty dollars. Look at the offer. fifty dollars. I, 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 I come here rallying my own people. I rally what? my own people. Play versus don't play. But the point of really one of you, want to feel, somebody say L I B pretty queen. I sent eighty dollars. Play the video. Hey. Oh 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 oh. Look at the one. Look at the one. Look at the one. <laughs> Steve Gray Bravo, five hundred dollars. Play the video. No, 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 Send them play the video five hundred dollars. Hassan, Chroma, play the video one hundred dollars. No, I think the people that joking. I think they say the money. Never mind. They'll tell you the truth. That's it. The the money not there. I'll see you. That's it. I check in. That's it. People are joking. Oh, that's it. They're not joking. Oh, yeah. Bob wow. Bobby White said two hundred dollars. Let's see, look. Come on, let's see. Come and see. They both serious. Look, that's where you at, man. Where Nessie at? The people they are very, very serious. La, ji, la, ji, la. No, no, Nessie. Oh. They are very serious. They want me to play the video. Imagine that. Wow. <clears throat> 200. This is a serious thing. So let's see. So hold on. I want to upload, upload this video. The people want to see the video. But yeah, but that, they all got to pay. Now see, now see, Bobby 200, I cannot maybe play the video. Yeah, I will send it to Bobby privately. Yeah, that's what I would do. I will send it to Bobby. Bobby White is my friend now. She sent 100 dollars for us, remember now? And she sent 200 dollars. I will send it to her. Privately, look at somebody say for 1200. I know I'm gonna believe town on Jada. We gotta investigate this guy. <laughs> look at, look at, let's look. Look at, oh, for when I make a course, you <clears throat> I believe town. I mean, you gotta call Fagon. That Fagon guy, here. you gotta call Fagon. Oh, like, man, get a video? <laughs> no, I get a video. Oh, but it's scaring me. They turn on Jala say for 1200 I'm gonna play. If they mess in 1200 I will be forced to play. Yeah, seriously. This is historical. People are buying the video to see their friend them moving from one hotel to another. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonder <laughs> shall never finish. People want to buy information. Information is very important. That information mm -hmm. told Joe we have an power. Information. Mm -hmm. Information told Joe we have from power. You know what I think on that thing? No. That's a scary. I'm looking for Emmy right away. She I will send a video to the highest bidder and they can do what they want to do with it. Ben Congo. They bank on up again. I don't know whether I can trust him. Look at they may not pure level. Bank bank Kong 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 do so one thousand three. So Ben be that other guy. You see the Liberian people love gossip. 
Look at they love Gasio. Look at him, Christian and Josh. Christian and B. Josh for 2000. It's going up. It's going up. I has been on. My man calling me. Let me hear what my man would say. Yeah, man. Highest bidder. The highest bidder. Trying to find the math. Okay, I found the math video already. The math video. That's what look at the one. Five thousand dollars. Book my son. Hello. I'm all right, man. How you doing? My man, why people talk about five thousand? They say you're saying contribution. You see what on the book? People talk about paying five thousand. You go take, you go, you go tell your wife, you go tell, you go tell your wife money. She will pay the hell out of you to man. <laughs> you go try to over. Oh they must be working out for your money. Can send it to cash. Uh. I beg you, yeah. Uh. Man, thank you very much, God will bless you, man. You are such an amazing person, my brother. I mean, God will bless you too. Yeah, God will bless you. What you have done for us, God will... We can reward you, God will reward you. Yeah, we give God the glory. Yeah. Yeah, my man, help push me smile, play the video, to tell you the truth. Okay, I can't tell you guys, so you can see that video. Now, people can see that. God, now, what's that awkward? The reason why, the thing I had to me is that it took the garden from the hotel. <laughs> 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 Lord have mercy. They took the That's all. 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 All right, folks. I'm not going to be now. Amen. Amen. I've been there. I feel you. Don't tell my wife I say money. Don't tell my wife I say money. You did a yellow. You did a yellow card. I'm going to tell you where. You're well watching the show. You're well watching the show. The other secret is in the room. You're not going to say that. You're not going to say money. You're not going to say money. You're not going to say money. I mean, as soon as you come out, say you say money. I can't keep no secret. You're not going to say money. I ain't keep no my oh man. I will go keep secret. I die with it. I gotta tell somebody. Mm -hmm. Man, I wish to see God will bless my brother. I mean, yeah, I yeah, go there. All you need to do, you know, man, you're getting reward. We can reward you, but God reward you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, all right. That's your open heart. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. All right, look at the other person. The other the other person say, Senna just put in your life. He ain't got no video, man. Jala Akuwala. <laughs> Jala, I say you're open for business. We'll see. Hello? Hello. Ayo. How you doing? I'm good today. <laughs> How you doing? Ayo, man. What's up? Everybody said you were too hot today. You were on fire, man. Yeah. And then the thing I want you to do for all. Most of the said, if coming on, we must have run him or bring him in front. But we'll play that video. video. But we'll play. You're playing? Yeah, you're just watching the show. Okay, okay, I, I, I will send it to you. Know. I will send it to you. Okay. I have a bit. He said, if, if, you know, I mean, if coming on, we, you will not take his seat. And he bet coming in, George, $50,000. So I will play. All right, all right, you. you're welcome. All right, Nessie, so I tired. I'm not taking any more call. It's nine o'clock. What you got? So, you want to put uh, it my for Yeah, you got to put this silly money a day. I would not play the video, folks. You know, why I'm not playing the video. I know that I will send uh, Bobby money back and your money in the back. Because you know why? God has blessed us. When I go down this low, we'll leave it with them. So I don't want to play the video. If I play the video, you know what happened? Then the Lord that took us and gave us the victory 
it won't be good. So it's not good to play the video. Let me hear what team web say. What's up? What kind of potato green cooking price? Video, I will cook for the green. Me, what kind of potato green? Real oil or I go oil? Anyway, you want real oil, you want raw green, you want a cow skin falling from the pool. Everything all the time, all the time in the day. If you're cooking it on Sunday, you gotta cook I go oil. I'm doing Sunday, I'm real oil. I'll cook I go oil. I'll even go Congo, I'll cook split peas and gravy. And what for you? You play that video, okay. <laughs> you're just bad. You leave me alone, man. <laughs> no, you're leave me alone. It's not good. Okay, all right. <laughs> that's what Baba. That's what Baba people then. They just want to laugh. You see, that's it. It's not good. Hello. Hello. See That's me. Ah. Uh. What's up? Uh, uh, don't play it. I shouldn't play, right? Oh, I'll already fought the battle for you. I yeah, don't play it. They did not destroy our mental state. I have refused to listen to people. So, what the mother got to you, not to play it. Don't only the same. Your character more than those only, so don't play yeah, it. Yeah, so I'm not playing it. I'm messing with play it. All right, Chief. All right. All right. So, but what are the people that are getting money now? Then why would tell them? I'll get the money back. <laughs> that cash app gets them back. The cash app gets There is no reverse in the cash app. Everything is moving forward. <laughs> Listen, we said thank you. Play that map something like only of you will play the Nigerian woman in her map. All right, let's leave the people alone. And then put your time with Okay. Is, uh, that amount I collected 2500 naira from you yeah. and another two five yeah. making it five thousand forty one thousand forty one thousand two thousand five or two thousand that is 40, oh 000. my god five thousand naira that is forty one thousand yes, hey, you I say you collect two thousand five hundred uh -huh. plus two thousand five hundred uh -huh. Zero plus zero. Zero. Zero plus zero. Zero. Five plus five. Ten. Two plus two. Four. Forty-one thousand. <laughs> zero plus zero. Zero. Zero plus zero. Zero. Five plus five. Ten. I write ten. Mm. Two plus two. Four now. Mm. You carry one. You carry one. You carry one. Where you the carry and go? Uh. Hey! <laughs> carry one go where? Hey! Come. Wait. Who be your teacher? Okoro, carry one, go with Who be at I don't get problem with you. Okoro. No, 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 no. Five thousand. Wait, let me talk. I want to go and see your teacher. I don't get problem with you. No, 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 you can't borrow money. Who's, who says so? Who be your teacher? I hear No, who teach teacher. you? No, I don't get any problem. No, shut up. I am coming. Let me go and see your teacher. You say five thousand plus five, uh, two thousand five plus. Is it not five thousand? No, but you follow me. The answer calculation now. You go tell me how. Five thousand two thousand five plus two thousand five. When I come back, hey, forty one thousand. Come back, come back. Come back. Come back. The the. <coughs> what kind Wait. of math is that, though? I think she's right. Yeah, the, I think the, she's right. Oh, her, 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 her calculation, a raw calculation there. <laughs> zero plus zero. That's zero. Zero plus zero. <laughs> five know, plus five. That ten. <laughs> two plus two. <laughs> a four. A for the one thousand. <laughs> Not for the one thousand. <laughs> but but see you, you see, after the election, the heart, the heart, uh, uh, some people accepted the election result. Good day, sir. What's your name? Uh, I'm Peter yeah. Victor, prof, uh, famously called prof. Okay, famously called yeah, prof. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, like this now, election don't finish. They don't yeah. call, they don't pick president. What do you get to talk about this whole election thing? Because me, I'm confused. So I just want to know from you, what do you get to talk about this election? 
Uh, let me say in Sinta Simplicitas. An impression and explicit that the electoral process we have really seen the terminus of it, but the one achieves and the whole followers of Nigeria, the citizens, some of them felt lambas. <laughs> they felt babuzo by the whole process. They felt that they are with this matrimonial cacophonies. Continue. That uh, the result has been hijacked. This man! Whatever be their believability. Jesus! <laughs> I am of the ratiocinativeness Chai. and of intellectual juggernaut. Oh my god. An aficionado. Keep quiet. That the court is an efficacious instrumentality Focus. to be able to just oppose and delineate on this issue and give exuberant, effervescent, prophilic, and prodigious remedy to. The Montromitian cacophony of the citizen. Hey! I me to me, but me. <laughs> then the, cho- the court will be able to unravel who actually win. Mm. I think the Brodignagian Bugabu <laughs> of. Uh, the, 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 professor, the professor confused the interviewer. Man, Leo, you won't confuse me too. <laughs> That's is it true the permit I get that plays sweet sweet casual leader? Yeah, Professor James Dupo. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well he's sick. He died in Nimba, right? Yeah. Well he's sick. Mm, that's 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 what I heard. But um he was of age as well. Oh yeah? Yeah, he's very old. You got it. You got his song. I'm I'm think, thinking think. as to whether it's is copyrighted because that's Susie Casali. Susie Casali. Yeah, I'm thinking. Let, let me see. So copyright. I don't know what else to put on on the copyright. And I hear. Yeah. Is it copyright? Maybe uh, you're right. We got a way to do it. Maybe you're right, though. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you're right. But Nelson, um, thank you very much. Always love having you on, like the rest of them. But love to have you on to produce. We have fun. At the end of the day, I wish you well. Be safe. Yes, Until we meet again. Goodbye, folks. So the only person that sent, that sent, let me see who all sent money. All right, James Etto, Joanna, Babby, and Steven Sully, that fool. So they said how much? One, two, three, four. So you guys send money and let me send it back to you. Except you don't want it, then you can tell me. I know Bobby calling me already because she always called me. All right. So I want to say it's a good show. We'll see you tomorrow. Until we meet again. Be safe. Be good. Have a good night. That's it. This one I said, ready, ready, ready. Have a good night. Don't call me back. <laughs> no more video. You you <laughs> no, I'm not playing, I'm not playing the video. You want a my video? You want you want Prophet Key my my video? Yeah, I'll watch it, but I, you know, I'm not playing this video because it's not right playing this video. You know, we we left from that, you know, we we'll moved from that level, so it's okay. Oh yeah, yeah. We don't need to play, you know. But play perfect key video. I'll watch it. Good night. Okay. Then we get Josh. We are all the numbers. How much number lead? And I want one percent, point two percent. Because 99.89%.
When you add one percent to the ninety-nine, <clears throat> then you know that a hundred percent. So definitely, they're not even how to call it one percent in all because of that ninety-nine point, ninety-nine point, it is nine percent. So they're not even one percent. That half of one percent. So that half of one percent. When you get a judge, we are. When you get a judge, we get. So we are get out to call it, and you'll be in 49. You will be, you'll still be in 49. 49 and point, it, it is something percent. 49 point, it is something, okay, 0, 19 percent. 49. Okay, folks, uh, we want to say thanks a lot uh, to all of you out there for following us on this edition of the program. Spoon Talk, thanks to you for calling in. Uh, thanks to you for calling in. Thanks to you for, um, thanks to all of you who made your contributions in the comment section. Thank you for um, following via radio as well. Uh, those of you who have been listening to your radio, 101.1, that's Fabric Radio. 95.5, the Super FM, uh, 107.5, Spawn FM, 106.7, Punch FM, 90.9, Gibi FM in my Gibi County, Kakata, Trust FM, and uh, Premier FM in Bone County, Trust FM in uh, Bombing County, and uh, a host of other radio stations across the country. We say thanks to you for relaying this edition of uh, the program Spoon Talk. We've been live as well online on Facebook. We are there on Fabric TV, Super TV, and Spoon TV. And on YouTube, we are on, uh, we are there at Spoon Talk Live. So the our uh, YouTube handle is Spoon Talk Live. You just uh, search Spoon Talk Live. And of course, you can follow us the, there all the time. We say thanks to all of you for being a part of this my name is nelson colette i'll talk to you again have for yourselves a good night and uh you can make up time to join us of course we're coming back shortly with the late night show the late night politics and spoon is coming back very shortly until then have for yourselves a good night let me just squeeze this one in to say happy birthday to you um celestine and uh, sako you're celebrating your birthday today my own dear sister i wish you all the best as you celebrate today all right, so have a good night, guys. Bye bye. Yes, what you got to do. Spoon,